Hey, Guganic, ask me how many hours of sleep I got last night. How many, how many hours of sleep do you have? Ha ha ha, none. Because the day, day we're recording this is the day that the Cars on the Road video was supposed to go up. Unfortunately, trying to render this has been the most agonizingly painful thing I've ever experienced. There's been more technical difficulties than I ever could have imagined. The smart thing to do would be to not think about anything even remotely Cars related for the day and try to get this video fixed. Unfortunately, that's not quite how my brain operates, so... Today, what was supposed to be a celebration of Cars on the Road being out of my life forever is going to be a momentary distraction from that terrible, terrible television series by watching some some of Pixar's classics and their sequels because while editing the Cars on the Road video and scrubbing through all the, the clips in the movies, it made me want to, it made me want to actually watch these films again because it's been a while since I sat down to actually do that and I figured it was a great opportunity to do so because everybody is here right now. This is the biggest assembly of people we've ever had for an audio commentary. I highly doubt we will ever be able to replicate this again for the foreseeable future and it works out pretty Pretty nicely because Neil is a big fan of the Cars movies and I recently discovered and by recently I mean a couple days ago, that apparently Cars is like one of FG's all-time favorite Pixar franchises. I don't know how that never came up in any discussions over the last six years, but I guess that's a thing. So yeah, it's gonna work out really nicely. So we can we can give a shout Wait. out to someone if I actually can find the the thing. Uh, someone in the Discord server said I would love to see a commentary with all the Space Rangers here. You're not getting all the Space Rangers, but this is the closest you will ever get. This is the most you'll ever be able to get in a commentary. Am I a Space Ranger? I have no idea. I forget. Um, oh. So apparently I already had Cars playing because I just opened the movie and it's on the 20-something minute mark. What? I don't oh, remember this is... starting this. <laughs> oh, well, you it. didn't watch it, I assume, just to go back to well, zero, 0 at the very least... You weren't watching the wrong. You weren't watching the wrong. Imagine doing that, you know. You weren't like, watching play. So stupid, <laughs> clicking the wrong thing. Imagine, Don't, like, yeah, imagine, imagine, imagine watching episode 16 of Cars on the Road instead of Cars 3. <laughs> imagine watching, like, halfway through the second season where they're about to discover something entirely uh, plot changing. You'd have to have the brain of a breakfast food. Imagine accidentally picking the absolute worst episode you possibly could have chosen to watch. Yeah, I would never do that. Trevor knows why it's the worst episode. So he could have picked now too. <laughs> and now Gugonic and OJ also know because they would watched it yeah. very recently. Like they just finished season two. I could never like just accidentally click season two episode sixteen. Yes, especially not after we said season one episode sixteen fifty thousand times and said the words Grom fifty thousand times. Grom. 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 Tell me now. I also love how Neil has absolutely zero context to what the hell is happening right now. <laughs> I'm just enjoying the show, man. You're just happy to be included. I'm just vibing. Me too. <laughs> So the last episode I've seen is uh, the one where Hootie says it's hooting time and completely hoots on everybody. Also known as one of the best episodes of the show when it has no right to be, but it is. Yeah, Hootie, the one who knows. No one believed me! It was, wasn't it? Excuse me, forgive me for not, for not believing you when it says the episode where Hootie helps everyone in the Owl House, but it doesn't Trevor, go you should have known it was going to be one of the best episodes when Hootie was in it. Like, come on, dude. I would do the Hootie voice, but it doesn't get picked up on Discord because Discord is has is anti-Hootie, I guess. Why is it my Hootie does? My Hootie always gets picked up on Discord. Just turn off your noise canceling. I would need to hear it. One of the things that I did for the Cars on the Road video, is after I made my Toy Story 5 video and I got a bunch of comments and people asking, why are you using so many Owl House clips? I went back into Cars <laughs> on the Road and added more Owl House clips. Yeah, <laughs> let's go, Trevor. Based move right there. Just you gotta add fight. more suits. You gotta add some suits clips in there now, too. You have to be a basic human being. That means when someone tells you not to do something, you have to do it. Exactly. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. All right, so I bet what comment do you want to record without Trevor? I can't think of any. Really? That was very effective, Waffles. I'm, I'm really <laughs> Yeah, happy. Waffles used this clue, Trevor. It wasn't very effective. <laughs> it wasn't very... <laughs> <laughs> Waffles hurt himself in his own confusion. Uh. So the game plan today is to watch all three Cars movies in one sitting. But before we do that, I'm going to give everybody a brief, brief opportunity Ooh. to give their experience with the Cars franchise, what they know about it, what they've seen, what they think about it, from left to right, avert, go. Cars was one of my childhood movies. I still have a DVD for it. Cars 2, I remember... 
I saw at my friend's birthday party in middle school. That was a definitely a depressing birthday party, I must admit. Oh. But I don't remember the movie at all. All I remember is that the kid whose birthday it was had some choice words for his parents. <laughs> but yeah, that's all I remember. All I, yeah, all I remember is it was an all-out war. And Cars 3 I only saw last year when I watched all the Pixar movies. I would say that Cars 3 is the best one. Cars 2 is the worst one. And Cars 1 is there. It exists. Vroom. Yeah, I agree with Twet Trevor Lowe. There's, there's no better way to distract you from talking metal heaps of shit than to watch <laughs> talking metal heaps of shit but in a spy movie. You know, really right. good distraction. All right, Waffles, go. All right, Brooks, go. <laughs> what? I, I, waffles.exe has stopped working, apparently. Brooks, yeah, no, go. he literally, he literally, okay, yes. dude, that, it reflected so much damage that Waffles got fainted. <laughs> Give me a moment, I just got revived after Pokey, sorry. Right. Okay. <laughs> um, then, wait, you, you said you watched it in middle school? And you already forgot about it? I've already forgot about it. Until that, I could you forget it something that happened yesterday? Oh Oof. my goodness. What a burn. Uh, I'm taking his spot, man. Alright. Uh, I've watched Cars 1 probably a thousand times because of my nephew. And I have probably watched Cars 2 twice because of my nephew. And then I almost watched Cars 3 because of my nephew, but I didn't. And yeah, that's what it's really about. It's a very interesting story. I forgot yeah. you. I actually, it's not even funny. It was, I guarantee you, it was a hundred times. I've watched Cars one. It's ingrained into my memory, and it's really painful. Is it? So, by that logic, does that mean that I could potentially, this is a hypothetical, ask you to write down the entire movie on a sheet of, uh, I don't know, advanced physics exam prep homework? Dude, just it's from so memory? funny. I was actually thinking <laughs> oh about my God. that like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> See, and, I, and, and the little side story you wrote. <laughs> now, I have no context. Oh, wow. Well, I'm so glad you brought that <laughs> do up. Do you still no, own that? I, I genuinely am curious. Of course I do. Are you kidding me? I would, I would never get rid of that. I definitely love it. Oh, I, I have it. I mean, I don't. You don't have it. That's mine. It, I, it belongs to me. So yeah, Brooks <laughs> is the type of person to write the entire B movie script on an exam. B uh, brief context for those who don't know: in high school, Brooks bet me that I wouldn't be able to write down the entire script of the B movie from memory. Real money. And then, like, <laughs> he actually bet real money. It was the fool most foolish decision he's ever made because that the money I earned from that was what I used to buy FG's Christmas present that year. So see, I profited from that. <laughs> And that's the story of how Trevor paid his college tuition. Dude, I basically, I basically <laughs> bought FG a Christmas gift. Let's go. What was the Christmas gift that year? I actually don't remember. It was a necklace with your, with your, uh, gem. Oh, it, it was that one! Oh my god, how much did you bet on that? Enough. Plus another ten if you wrote a little sad story that was non-canon. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor was like, fool, oh, I'm three man. steps ahead of you. Oh, I was yeah. playing checkers, Trevor was playing chess. I, I distinctly remember when I was I was writing it, like, so, I, I, you kept checking it, or at least I kept bringing it to you throughout the day as a progress check, and I showed it to you, and, and you, you almost didn't believe I was doing it, you grabbed it out of my hands, you were like, alright, hold on, man, this has to be, like, readable, and then you looked at it, and your eyes, you just had this look of pure shock on your face. And you this went, is a masterpiece! It's readable! How is this possible? Dude, it's, <laughs> I've never seen, I've never seen such small writing that I could actually read. It was insane. I, I know you want to tell everyone what the little side story was about. I do not want to tell everyone what the little side story was about. <laughs> What's the subscriber special where you'll leak this short story you made? <laughs> Uh, five million. <laughs> after he dies, oh. after he dies, okay, if even. Waffles, bot accounts. Okay, Gugana, Cars, go. Uh, I don't know much about Cars 1. I remember a good chunk of Cars 2 uh, for <laughs> reasons. Yeah, because uh, yeah, it's been engraved into your a, brain. Cars 1 I watched as a kid, and I thought, eh, I don't know, I, I, I really didn't jive with it. But Cars 2 came out right after... Toy Story 3, so I'm like, as a kid, I'm like, okay, I enjoyed their past movie, I'm gonna watch the new one, and then I was like, oh, uh, that was, uh, that was entertaining, I guess, and it's got like a, a song that won't get out of my head, a track, not, not, song, that's, that's, how's it <laughs> Michael Tiyoshino is God, he doesn't make any bad soundtracks. None, absolutely none. none. We, don't, we, don't, we don't talk about that. We don't, we don't talk, talk about Lightyear, no, no, no. We don't talk about Lightyear.
here. Okay, FG, go. And, oh, and I've never seen Cars oh, 3. Oh, it's my turn? Yes. Uh, I've watched the Cars movies many, many, many times. Uh, Let's see. I've wa- I watched Cars 1 a lot growing up. I saw Cars 2 in theaters. I remember that much. I never watched it again. I technically haven't seen Cars 3, but if you looked at my YouTube history and seen the amount of Cars 3 clips I've watched, then I've seen the movie. I actually may have seen the movie. I don't remember. I've seen most of the movie, is what I'm saying about Cars 3. I, I've watched a lot of Cars in my own free will, I'm going to be honest. Obviously, given by the fact I apparently watched the first 20 minutes of this movie recently, and I don't remember it. I have no idea how we never discussed this before, but I guess you learn something new every day. Yeah! So the fact that she had to mention it was of her own free will has me concerned that Cars 2 was forced. <sighs> no, I, I asked to go see that movie. I was really excited for it. Alright, blink twice if you're okay, FG. <laughs> you can't see me blink. Uh, are you sure about that one? <laughs> blink and you'll miss Not it. Blinking. Next up, the one who actually has a car and then their profile picture. <laughs> okay, that's how I'm being introduced. I see how it is. Cars 1's obviously the best. Cars 2 did decent. And then Cars 3 is good. That's why. That's what I think. All right, short, sweet, and to the point. I like it. OJ. I have seen the best Cars content. Cars on the road. <laughs> Nothing else. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Pink picture. On the road again. Can we be on the road again? Also, also, uh, Brooke's story made me remember freaking childhood trauma because. Oh God. Uh, I got reminded because of uh, children birthday party. I got reminded that I when I was a child. And like in group two of primary school, there was a girl I was friends with and she had her birthday party and we watched Dora. But the thing is, I was the only guy there and the only reason I was there in the first place was because I had no friends except for her in the entire school. So like, I was there as the only guy. I can tell you that was very awkward. There were like 12 girls and I was there in existence. Just, oh great, we're painting freaking pink stuff on things and... I, uh, the, the trauma. <laughs> Let's watch Dora. I mean, yeah, OJ, you know what they say? Friends who watch Dora together stay together. Well, we didn't, but oh well. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen her in years, but as in- This like, suddenly took a dark turn. One day we will bond together by watching Dora and the Lost City of Gold. Have I watched that movie? I certainly did. You bet you're- Dude, was it like, was it like your last day of high school or something like that? You're like, oh, no better way to celebrate than to watch Dora and the Lost City no, of Gold. No, okay, so the, the reason why I went to see that movie is because it was the summer I was up visiting my family and also going to tour a college that was near some of my family. We went to the college tour and within five seconds I immediately knew this was not a place I ever wanted to go for any reason. So we left and we're like, well, that's- Might I ask what college it was? May I ask what, re- what was the reason you didn't want to go there? Uh, because it was just, I still don't figure out whether I wanted to major in computer animation or game design or whatever, so we were looking at a bunch of art type schools and one of the places we looked at was- Nope. And uh. I quickly realized that that is the artiest of art schools and that you you must do everything, including glass blowing. You have to do everything, every kind of craftsmanship that was ever invented under the sun. If you go to that, so school. it was a really, it was a really pretentious school, basically. So I was like, "Yep, I'm out." So now we suddenly had a four-hour chunk of time with nothing to do. So we're like, "Well, the new Dora movies in theaters." <laughs> Oh my goodness! Jeez, Trevor, I'm, imagine how that art school. Okay, imagine how that art school must feel knowing that one of the people who are gonna go there decided to watch Dora and the Lost <laughs> City of Gold. You're losing to Dora! Gold. I can't believe it! I'm losing to Dora! <laughs> <laughs> I'm losing to a kid. I'm losing to a talking Dora, backpack. Dora, Dora, Dora the, the Explorer. Explorer. Boots and super cool Explorer Dora. Yeah, this is the most sophisticated art school. By the way, this one student isn't going because they're watching Dora and the Lost City of Gold. <laughs> Does everybody have Cars 1 up and ready to play? I do. Wait, Trevor, Trevor, well, Trevor, well, Trevor well, I gotta well, ask I you I swear something. to God, it's waffles. So, you know Dora? Did you guys adore it? Adore it? Uh, let's watch the movie. I have one quick question. Are we pausing the movie when we're making commentary? Or are we no, no, not at all. We're just, we're just nope. letting it roll in the background. You well, will miss half the movie. <laughs> Neil, unless you want Trevor to pull another all-nighter, I highly suggest we don't do that. Yeah, we, we, we will never finish. We will never finish. <laughs> no, I was just wondering. I wasn't suggesting pausing the movie. I was just... Curious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I got you. Okay. Yeah, waffles. That joke was adorable. Okay. Yeah, this guy's funny, man. This guy's funny. Three, two, one, go. Finally, we can actually watch Cars. I can't believe we're watching Cars. I'm actually really excited. I will watch. 
watch this on my own. I can't believe that I'm watching it with how many other people are here. Yeah, mostly I can't I can't believe that we got managed to get the entire freaking Suicide Squad in here. The entire yeah, this, this, this will guys. never happen again. To give you guys an idea, this is literally the first time Neil and Forgetful Gal have ever spoken to each other. It Dude. is. Is it? I think There's so, no unless I'm way. forgetting something. Trevor, I think you're mistaken, Trevor, if they, they're Have like, I... really? Can, unless you can, <laughs> I'm, I'm... <laughs> No, that's not, dude, I was just surprised because I feel like I have, I feel like I've been in another call, but I don't know. Maybe her voice is just calm, a common voice, I don't know. I also had losers for breakfast today because I ate waffle. Oh my goodness. Hey, at least he picked the right movie this time. That's good. Well, right? <laughs> Did he pick yeah. the right movie this time? The Waffles is like, wait, what's this about some speed? I'm, I, all I see is a spy car. Ever ever since Grom Knight, we've, we've, we've revoked Waffles' free will choices when it comes to picking movies. It'll, it's all run through OJ's parsec now. Can't wait for the copyright strike. Oh, yeah, but don't forget to censor this entire scene. No, whenever there's a song that's gonna be copyright, just go trucks, trucks. Truck, no, truck. we just shout Grom. Grom, 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 Grom. FDA, I'd like to remind you that I was able to get the entire When She Loved Me sequence through copyright without us saying anything. No. I, you did? I, we did? Well, we. You did? Yes. I, I also I love this goddamn aspect ratio. Uh, what? Widescreen? Widescreen? Well, yeah, it's, it's just, it's just like a quarter of my screen. Oh my god, guys, we're watching Final Destination 4. What? Oh. <laughs> All right. Yeah, because it opens, Final Destination 4 opens. Would you say that's the dumbest thing in the Final Destination? What like a sh That is literally the shittiest fucking movie in the entire series. <laughs> <laughs> that movie is so stupid, dude. I swear to God. Like, there's so many parts where someone gets stabbed in 3D! In 3D! Wow. And I need it's to see someone's blood and guts get squirted out in 3D! Wow, what a great use of 3D. There's a fucking guy who gets sucked into a pool and then he's in the drain and he explodes. <laughs> the car wash? It's a dumbass movie. I forgot how many stickers he fucking had, or whatever. Yeah, oh, way, way too many. Do you don't have enough stickers? You need more stickers? I know these guys are based on real announcers or, or sportscasters in the racing world. I, I think it's Daryl Waltrip and I don't know who the other the one is but it's cool they actually and isn't i'm pretty sure is the king voiced by richard petty or someone i don't remember but i, I think know. i found out lightning mcqueen was voiced by owen wilson the other day wow uh, so whoever car did the motion tracking for the the green guy i forgot his name d did a bad job it was like pointing at the ground while the others were actually pointing at the cars oh well a nice detail about this movie is in the background you can see a steering wheel turning really fast because that's the steering wheel they used to film blues big city, blues adventure. Big city adventure yeah <laughs> that's how they filmed it right there those who had the Cars DVD will recognize this clip from the movie as this is just what they looped infinitely. That section of McQueen racing towards the camera on the main on the main menu. Ah, uh, great. Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. The one thing I don't like about Trick Hicks, I knew this is. Wait, a hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. This is already gonna be blasphemy. Is it? Was there more to that, Neil? Yeah, you said hold on, so I'm holding. Or am I good to talk? I, I think he was, he was serious. I did not say hold on. Liar! I thought someone said hold on, so I, was, I decided I thought to someone said hold on too. No, it was a verb, but who gives shit? <laughs> I, I didn't even say hold on. I said, oh. oh no, it's already gonna be blasphemy. Okay, but I was saying Chick Hicks is so unaerodynamic, it's kind of annoying. It's, he's literally a box. <laughs> like, how is, he, how is he in second place? Chick Hicks is just Ooh, no different. That's a lot of dead people. There's waffles after watching Cars 2. Even more dead. The slightest of mistakes can cause the greatest <laughs> of crashes. Yeah, someone could literally sneeze on the road. It's game it's over. It's okay. McQueen can see through smoke. It's fine. Yeah, he has hey, Prometheus anyone, has anyone, before. Has, no. has anyone seen my banana peel? Where are I? I believe I can fly. Fly. Why do cars have tongues? Let's go tongue action, baby. Yum, 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 yum. Well, they have to drink their some. That also, if McQueen didn't have a tongue, you wouldn't be able to tie the race. Yeah, there's also or that. talk. <laughs> we'll get to it. Also talking. That's pretty. Important. We'll get. We'll, we'll get there when we get there. Don't take me out, coach. I can still race. They are very casual about the sheer amount of carnage Ooh. that Chick Hicks caused. Yeah. When has NASCAR racing ever been this popular? That, that's why. It was popular that way, way back. Trevor, the carnage. I'm gonna pretend you didn't say that. Neil, how, how popular would you say NASCAR is, or at least compared to other? Um, I would say it was more popular. It, it started to die off when, like, the new cars started coming out, because there was just, like, a bunch of... It, it wasn't, like, great. It wasn't close racing anymore. It was kind of more like... There were no, like, close finishes, like, in the past. It's really hard to explain. But, yeah, it, it kind of picked up popularity again because that one guy decided to do a wall ride, but then it kind of died. 
because NASCAR recently, I'm pretty sure they banned wall riding. So they did. Okay. Yeah, they actually banned using gliders on your car. No tires, just gas. Lightning McQueen's smart. Come on, man. You don't need tires. No, he's an idiot. <laughs> Who needs yeah. tires? Who needs tires anyway? Where we're going, we don't need tires. The tires are for losers. I'm really tired of seeing tires. All right, so I'm gonna be honest. I didn't, I felt like half asleep. What's happening? Waffles, of, of everybody in this call, I should be the one to have fallen asleep by now. What the hell is your excuse? I don't care. There's only one turn to go. Can he make it? You fool! I routinely cite the opening of Cars as one of my favorite openings ever. The energy is just through the roof in terms of getting you into the, this world, but also the editing and pacing of this final approach to the finish line. You no know, matter how many times I watch it, I'm still just glued to the screen. This is like getting hit with a blue shell. Same exact same and... time. Literally exact same time. All three of them finished at the exact same. Well, two of them finished at the exact same time. One, <laughs> one, one, one of so them. So it literally, so it literally is Mario Kart. One of them was given a, a bit of an extra reach. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> a bit, just a little bit. Not a lot, just a oh, bit. Uh. That's the longest tongue in existence. <laughs> what is he, fucking Yoshi? Oh, <laughs> Yoshi! Oh, Yoshi! 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 I am Yoshi. Nang. Nang. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. That's the extent of the Yoshi stock sound effects I know. Is, isn't the voice of Yoshi, quote unquote, the music director or something? It's his normal voice, but he, it's just pitched up very high. Lightning McQueen is Yoshi. I guess you could say he really pulled the wool over everyone's eyes. Everyone disliked you, that. You really got the whole squad laughing. Huh? <laughs> you see the edit That was crickets. so funny. Ha ha. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta edit crickets in there. Dang, he has bad gas. They actually make that exact joke later in this movie. Wait, really? Oh, they I do, don't they? That. Yeah, they do. Well, I made it first, so I win. Welcome to the chicken, baby. Piston cup. It's mine, dude. Yeah. It's mine. Also, how does he have so many sponsors? He's such a dick. He does have- yeah. I've, never, I've never actually paid attention to the sheer amount of sponsors he has strapped to his body. I've seen a car exactly like that in real life, though. But see, in real life, you throw on random stickers to make it seem like you look cool. In this movie, I, I don't- I don't know. I feel like in this movie, those are all actual sponsors. People paid money to put their sticker on his car. That's crazy. It's like in real life when someone has like their entire body covered in fucking tattoos. Man, whoever was in charge of the gas station from Toy Story really made their investments pretty well to get to this point. <laughs> yeah, hold on a sec. There's a whole world. Yeah, yeah, the freaking capitalists be like, wait, there's a whole world of talking cars out there? Okay. What? From you, Trevor. No way they got away with that. Got away with what? <laughs> Dude, they oh, just flashed oh, yeah, it, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, that! <laughs> well, aren't these movies made for adults and kids? So I guess. Well, so wait, did it? Wait, what happened? <laughs> as long as kids don't get it, it's fine. Yeah, right? so that's the thing. I, I think if you asked any director of a Pixar movie, they they would never say that they made a kids movie. They made a movie that everyone could enjoy. Brad Bird specifically is pretty infamous for being very vocal about how he does not like people referring to The Incredibles as a kids movie, yeah. which is completely understandable. I, I can tell you definitively that I had no idea what what they did when I was a kid. Nor do I think any kid understood, which is fine because it's it works whether you know what they're going for or not so both adults and kids will understand without the kid having to ask mommy what did they just do they do the sequence like five times in this movie <laughs> when he becomes a literal chick magnet <laughs> a literal stop <laughs> No, the, hey, no, 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 that's not my pun, that's the movie's pun. They, they, <laughs> I don't care, stop! No, you got the whole squad laughing, Trevor, huh? You, I did, wait, this isn't my, you, this is the movie's pun, not mine. You can't, no, you I can't, can't I you're can't the one who repeated it. I can't think you'd steal the movie's joke, Trevor. I even miss what was going on, too much, too much to follow. It's, it's All the confetti. Basically, it's a three-way tie, miraculously, yeah. because he stuck his tongue out. His very, very long <laughs> and, and And that wasn't disqualified. I, I guess by all technicality, it is a part of him. That's not- why- why is this, like, the motivator for him to go fast? Rivalry between- the, the, you- you underestimate the power of sportsmen-like rivalries. Nine. Yep. Am. I think the other thing that worth pointing out about the finish line thing, they count who touches the finish line first, not who crosses the finish line first. Because mm, yeah. King and Chick blew past the other side of the finish line, but McQueen just kind of floated over it. So it's who who touches the first line of the, the checkered flag versus so who basically what So basically what you're saying is he should have licked the road. I... no, I... no. 
Mmm, delicious. Burnt rubber, my favorite. So Trevor, who's the voice actor for Chick Hicks? Because I recognize his voice. Oh, you actually- Oh, I thought you were memeing. It's Michael Keaton. <laughs> oh, okay, that's why I recognize it. He's both Ken from Toy Story 3 and Chick Hicks from Cars. Wait, he's also <laughs> Ken from Toy Story 3? Holy, that movie just got instantly better. And he's also Birdman? And Vulture from Spider-Man Home. Listen, this is why- Because I remember in the Toy Story 3 commentary live chat, you I was praising Michael Keaton for being having such a diverse array of roles that he, he kills, and you said, if you like Michael Keaton, you should watch Birdman. You should. That's a good movie. Well, I will, eventually, because it's on the <laughs> list. Eventually. It's, it's on the list of movies that you traded for me to watch The Owl House. The only reason I haven't gotten Neil to watch that show yet is because he doesn't have Disney+. Plus. Wait, which show? The Owl House. Oh. Uh. This is me after I make a joke. Like, there's actually cricket cars in the Cars universe. Well, there, there's, there's little flying bug car things. Ugh. Ugh. And then, like, regular bugs. Can, can we not talk about the world building of Cars, please? You I, brought it up! I, I, I feel like I didn't. I feel like Avert was the one who actually brought up the whole... Alright, uh, fine. Fuck you, Avert. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Fix. What Trevor asked why the fuck car you, had you a tongue. See, Avert, this is why we need the biscuit. Hey, what? Waffles, I'm gonna turn you into biscuit. What the fuck you talking okay, about? Okay, hey, Duganic, what are you allergic to? Nothing to my knowledge. There's a lot of shit God, I don't David. like, but I'm not really allergic to it. Uh, give me everything you don't like. Why are you so determined to just make everybody suffer. It's gonna be longer than like the, the average Trevor uh, analysis video. So is this a cover of Life is a Highway or is Life is a Highway made for this movie? I believe it was made for this movie by Rascal Flatts. It was? I, How did I not know this? If I'm wrong, I'll put it up on screen, but I'm pretty sure it was made for this movie. And what a banger of a song it is. Oh my god, it's Among Us on the road. Yeah. Oh, why? Why would you- why? <laughs> <laughs> what, what is that I'm random building in the middle of nowhere? I'm too far gone. This is me right now. <laughs> Wait, what do they need? What do they need farms for? Like I said, Brooks, the world building of cars is not a rabbit hole you want to go down. It doesn't end well if you start It thinking. doesn't make sense! It makes literally zero- if you actually try to dissect the cars universe <laughs> from a world building perspective, it shatters immediately. <laughs> Who built the gas station? <laughs> the cars! How do you build a gas station when you don't have arms? You have no arms! <laughs> It'd be nice if they made a movie exploring, like, maybe as humans built the world and then they all got taken over by talking cars or something. I get that you're memeing, but I think that is actually somewhat similar to what the Pixar theory says happened to, like, all the that, The yeah. Pixar theory, I mean- the Wait, Pixar what did I vote, sir? You weren't listening? No, I did not hear. I was just too much He's oscillating wrong. between listening to the movie and listening to us, so he hears, like, half of both. By the end, he'll have a 50% understanding of what we said and what the movie said. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I think I'll pay just attention to you guys then. Here's the thing, and long if I'm talking, I can get in the thumbnail. That's the only reason what? why Wobbles is here, actually. He just wants yeah, to be in the Waffles. thumbnail. He doesn't actually want yeah. to watch Cars. And Waffles wonders why he's not a space ranger. Oh. oh. It, didn't, it didn't have to do him like that. But anyways, I had my own theory for why the room burned also, cars. Although, I don't know if it's similar to reverts, but my theory is, um, they made- humans made sentient cars and then the cars murdered them all. Right now, you can see Trevor making the cars video. That would imply I got sleep. I literally have not slept at all over the past- like- Nothing like watching Cars 2 with no sleep. <laughs> yeah, isn't it, Well, th that is a way to keep you awake. <laughs> am I dreaming- am I dreaming right now, or is this actually real? See, I got sick of looking at the cars in my editing timeline, so I decided to solve this problem by watching all three Cars movies back to back. You're insane! <laughs> oh, I'm- I'm a complete masochist. I've accepted that by this point. I have- I am- Hey, I'm also a masochist. Hello, fellow. Trevor- Trevor masochist! I had all four of these guys when I was a kid as- a, as toys. They were at my grandmother's house. I don't know why we didn't bring them home, but they were up there. Wingo. And I remember Boo specifically had, like, a, it was a, a pull thing where you pulled a little, a little black cord and it would release and speed across the floor. The worst type of driver. What the, the fuck are these guys? <laughs> this is just a random del uh, delinquent squad strolling yeah. down the highway. Dude, this movie is so unrealistic. There hasn't been a single pothole. I'm desperately trying to follow what's going on. You really haven't missed much. It's basically just, it opened with a race. McQueen, because he was arrogant and tried to just keep his keep himself in first place by ignoring tires and only getting gas. He ended up not losing but tying with King and Chick Hicks. So now they have to race all over again. Yeah, now, now they're just gonna settle up with a three-way tie 
tiebreaker in uh, California. So now now McGrew's right. on the road to get to that. But in the process, he bumped into a. He's on the road. Dude, I was joking about Final Destination uh, earlier, and that thing it, fell on so that thing and like it, some literal so Final in, in the in the process, he bumped into a squad of delinquent road hazards, which as you do in the average night. They put Mac to sleep, so he drifted to the side of the road, which ended up knocking one of the bobbleheads off the shelf, which ended up opening up the door, which then McQueen got rattled off the, the ramp, so now he's abandoned behind. Literal no. Final Destination shit. I also like how just a bunch of trucks materialize out of nowhere to make it more complicated for him oh, to Oh yeah, suddenly back. there's a lot of cars here for the some reason. The truck arm in this one. How are you gonna fuck over this guy? There definitely were not this many. The, the road was a lot more empty a moment ago. Yeah. Uh, they were just barely off screen and they speed up a bit. Just the army of trucks teleport onto the scene. Is that like the same model copy pictures over and over again? In 2006, probably. Yeah. The thing is, I, I don't even really take issue with the, the delinquents showing up. If that was it, if it, it, like, it just happened to bump into them, I could call for that as just inciting incident contrivance. It's the bobblehead yeah. that gets knocked off the shelf, which then yeah. opens the door, which then rattles him off the... The ramp. I'm yeah, like, I, I right. didn't like. I, I I didn't mention anything until that happened. So yeah, literally something on a Final Destination four. Oh no, a railroad crossing. The, Whatever will we do? The A113 train. Yeah. Why are there even trains in the first place? Remember when I said earlier we should not ask world building questions it. about cars? I know, right? Why do you watch the planes movies? Then things only get better from there. Great. Uh. Also, why doesn't McQueen just turn around and go back to the highway? The downside of not having headlights. I may have paused this episode for a second. <laughs> that That is interesting. Like, he says Mac, the interstate, implying he thinks he's going to the interstate, but he doesn't turn around to go back to the highway. He goes a completely different direction and winds up going down Route 66 of all of all roads. Yeah, it's a very odd decision, but it is a race car, so it's not the smartest thing in the world. Ah uh, yes, Road 66. One of the roads I've actually been on because I've been to America once in my life. This actually feels like it could work in a Fallout map. Also, also references. I, I feel like making a reference all of a sudden. The the, <laughs> the yeah, what are you? I, what the yeah, fly what car? The, was, are you a minion from the? Be do, be do. The do. The do. The do. The do. Me has only one good movie, and you can't argue with me about that. Watch me. Despicable Me 2 is fine. I said good, hey, not fine. I the thumbnail if I went to sleep and then woke back up for the second movie. I so mean, OJ yeah. did that for Rock Breaks the Internet, kinda. I missed half an hour of it. Yeah. Right, I think I'm gonna go take a nap. <laughs> he had, the, like, the craziest nightmares of all time. But th the difference is we recorded that very late. Is in, uh, uh, what time was it even for me? I think it was, like, 2 or 3 a.m. Probably. Also, has McQueen never heard of the brakes? No, I don't think he has, actually. Like, this guy is not attempted to slow down. Hey, hey, if he doesn't need tires, he'll also doesn't need brakes. Yeah, brakes are optional. I mean, so I, I guess you could say that he thinks he's being shot at, but at, at this point, the sheriff is long since he's getting a quite a bit of distance on the sheriff by this point. They're gonna, it's time for the pulling down of the now, statue. Now it's time for really? the any percent speed really? run record okay. of destroying the road. Yeah, McQueen's like, where we're going, we don't need roads. Oh my god. <laughs> he shoots oh, yeah. it and knocks, it knocks <laughs> oh, down a bunch of pigs. Exactly what I expected to happen. The logic of this movie makes no sense. I wouldn't go that far because most of this movie is extremely simple and grounded. It's just this chunk. All the pe all the puzzle pieces that have to fall into place in order for the plot to get yeah. to get that started. Statue. Like Jesus, that that was that was like next level. <laughs> also did that guy or the that statue just landed exactly where it needed to be because yeah, of course it did. That, that was funny. Huh? It's funny, but it, ma it still He's makes no gone. sense. You lost him! I don't know what's harder to find. Lightning McQueen! Oh yeah, really? Oh my god. Hey, just be grateful this wasn't- If this movie was made today, it would have been Jimmy Kimmel. Ugh. Are, are you sure Jay Limo is any better? Or John Oliver. <sighs> she does never prosper. I said she does never prosper. Yeah, county out, county out. County out. What a terrible. Have you, have you ever seen <laughs> the Lion King remake? Oh, we gotta watch it no, again. No, you told me not to watch it, it, so I didn't. What, what, what the only thing I knew about it was that John Oliver was in the movie, and I was like, you should watch his talk show, and that was about all I gave you. Oh, it's Larry <laughs> the Cable Guy. He, he, he can't even say the sentence, count me out. He says, county out. <laughs> county out? <laughs> 
Yeah, I don't. I, I don't think that the second takes were a thing in that movie. It doesn't even. No. It doesn't even sound like he said the T. It says he said county. Out. It, it must have been a second take because they don't have budget limitations anymore. Unlike the original movie. <laughs> yeah, the original. They were so restrained by budget. Yes, that was obviously a problem. Budget. County Owl. You know, it's almost like having unlimited resources doesn't inherently mean you're gonna make a better movie. Oh, Tow this delinquent road hazard to traffic court. We'll we talk later, mate. <laughs> later, mate. That's funny. Later, Mater, us whole peak comedy right there, McQueen. Has anyone ever made an edit of this movie where Phoenix Wright is Lightning McQueen's attorney? There probably <laughs> is. Probably. Yeah, there's a Phoenix Wright edit of everything. It's not even a Phoenix Wright, it's just a Phoenix Wright car that rolls in through the doors. I'm... Oh, no. Now I'm sad. I want him out of our town. Case dismissed. Boy, I'm pretty good at this lawyer and stuff. Sorry I'm late, Your Honor. She's gotta be from my attorney's office. Hey, thanks for coming, but we're all set. He's letting me go. Your job's pretty easy today. All you have to do now is stand there and let me look at you. Oh my god. Oh. Uh, I yeah. forgot! This, this is, is annoying. Is just blind her. The judge guy in the Dutch version, he is voiced by a um, a voice actor that dis was deceased a few years ago. And I get reminded okay. of that. And he, oh, he I was, thought... I mean, yeah, ours I mean, was American, too! Look, the, the original one also died. That's why I thought you were... Because Paul Newman also passed away bet between the first and second movies. Wow, this got really <laughs> sad. I didn't want to have to do this, Doc, but you leave me no choice. Here comes the smolder. Pursuit team starts playing. Now, this would be more like cross-examination or the logic and trick. I mean, this, this was as contrived as Big Top. Whoa! What do you have at your store? I have gas. <laughs> Lots of gas. This is what I was referring to earlier. Oh, they didn't make the bad gas joke. See, because gas is funny. Ah, ha, ha. Oh, God. Uh -huh. Like how there's literally nobody in this room that's on McQueen's side. Even Mater was like barely there. I mean, that makes sense though. Like, he kind of showed yeah, up, yeah, destroyed I mean, their town. You know. the, the point of what I said wasn't that it doesn't make sense them not being on his side. It's just like, it's a, they have, they, there's a whole core process even though literally no one. Was it just me who heard that really that buzzing sound? That wasn't a buzzing sound, that was Doc's horn. Oh, okay. That's uh, the, the car's world equivalent of banging your gavel in the courtroom. So someone told me the reason why this is called Bessie is because of Buzz and Jesse from Toy Story 2, and I don't necessarily believe that. I don't believe that in the uh, slightest. I don't believe it either. That's a halo reach right there. Uh, that, that's reaching as much as what McQueen reached for the finish line. For the finish line. You owe me $32,000 in legal fees. What? <laughs> I used to think this was a terrible punishment, but now that I watch it as an adult, yeah, this was fair. Now that I watch it as an adult, they should have just blew up this fucking car. Whoa, 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 how long is this gonna take? Too long. Take them about five days. Five days? It's not even that long. Oh, Brooks is still here, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Brooks? Made her dis displaying his 200 IQ strat. <laughs> wow. It worked, it worked, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> And that's the story of how I got fired from my job. You did see that coming, did you, Mater? It was at this moment that Mater knew. He it was at this off. moment that I knew that I fucked up. <laughs> Dead gum lemons. Oh darn tootin' I messed it all up. Yeah, now where are you going? Just away. This road is very that, long. That's, that, Back to the interstate. I like that they calculated the exact distance away from Radio Springs that it would take for him to run out of gas. Who <laughs> think we are? Ba -ba 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 -ha -da -ha. You siphoned your gas while you were passed out? But not all of it. Just, just. So you could just, oh, so you could just, you could just kill someone when they're sleeping by taking away all their gas. Game I, over. I love that they didn't take away all the gas. They took away just enough for him to think he could get away, and then. <laughs> yeah, that's the most cruel punishment of all time. Is this kind of cruel and unusual punishment? Mm. It's community service. Uh... No, but I mean, well, the community service, no, but the, the gas thing is like giving you making you think you can escape and then draining all your hopes at the last second that is absolutely hilarious that i would do that question has the word sexy ever been said in a different uh pixar movie other than this i don't no idea. think so if, if it has i'll put it on the screen but i don't <laughs> i just imagine trevor's church typing up sexy pixar into the search board. i don't know i'm not doing that that's the last <laughs> i'm absolutely not doing that <laughs> that's, a, that's a recipe for disaster especially if you, especially if you do it for every single pixar movie because eventually you're gonna run into turning red and then you don't want to oh dear lord <laughs>
I have been awakened just because I oh, heard Oh dear lord, what is happening in there? I summoned Waffles by, by mentioning turning red. I've, I've awoken the I enemies. woke up from my nap. Yeah, he turned awake. Alright, so what about turning red? And then and then they say that Trevor's eyeballs shrunk three sizes that day. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think Turning Red was that bad, but I should know, I have oh. not watched that movie again since my first sitting, so that should probably tell you how much I actually care about the opinion of that movie. Alright, now I really need to know, know for FG's uh, home address. Why do you need my home address still? Be because Waffles has a burning, intense, passionate hatred for Turning Red. Because Waffles- Now, here's the thing. I need both you, Trevor, and Goddard to uh, eat some nice Popeye's biscuits, so uh, Brooke, so do you just kindly give me it? I know Waffles home address it's my toaster hello welcome to radiator springs gateway to ornament valley legendary for its quality service. don't mind the road yeah we're, we're under new management P par pardon our yeah, fairy yeah. dust as, as, I, as I, um, wouldn't, I wouldn't say you're free per se really if you are these two and you just wander into this town yeah with no context this is like and you is, see this road uh, like it's like a, bu like a bunch of sociopaths this is a story you tell for the re for the rest of your life you get home and, and you're like we, we wandered on route 66 and we stumbled across this weird town with traffic cones and everyone one was trying to sell us some weird kind of drug. We also saw Lightning McQueen hooked up to some weird contraption. Also, the road is like, what? And then your friends are like, Trevor, Route 66 has been gone for 40 years. <laughs> What's wrong with you, man? Are you going insane? Do we need to call a doctor? Oh god, I just remember like a web browser flash game from back in the day of like stacking the tires. Yes, 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 yes. There was an entire website dedicated to cars and it was great. I, I miss when Disney actually did that for their movies created entire websites dedicated to there were so many awesome flash games back in the yeah, day. Yeah, now the best the best you're getting now is uh, match free games. Yeah. For phone. Uh, for phone that they also release on console for some stupid fucking reason. I'm being held here against my will and I need you to call my team so they can come rescue me. Do you understand? You know. I'm Lightning McQueen, the famous racer. Please, you gotta believe me. My IQ's dropping by the second. I'm becoming one of them. <laughs> I'M no. BECOMING ONE OF THEM! <laughs> what is this freaking- I- I don't understand the you Why did they lock their doors? What are they locking it for? My IQ is dropping by the second. I- No, that's- That's my new favorite quote. Yeah, this is a good question. Why are they locking their doors? What- What- Is it even possible for them to open their doors? And if you open their doors, what exactly are you gonna find inside? Yeah, right. <laughs> They're able to lift a sticker and slap it to some other car, so... How are they gonna take that sticker off? Like, how do you do that? It's just stuck forever. All the stickers are stuck forever. I... Haha! Uh, the, the chick magnet! I don't know, maybe they could wash it off. So, like, just rinse yourself till they caught off. See? It wasn't my joke. <laughs> it was the movie that did it. I simply... Oh, totally. Yeah, you just... You simply stole it from you the You simply movie, copied know? it. I never... Wow. I, I never claimed it was an original joke. I was letting you know what was going to be happening later. Man, I gotta get out of here! I foresee no possible negative consequences from doing this. <laughs> it's only been an hour. He's done. He's done? Done. Oh my goodness. Oh dear lord, <laughs> what's happening in there? <laughs> That's the biggest nightmare <laughs> ever. Oh, this road is really good, guys, I swear! Wow! It's a great road. At least! <laughs> oh, it, it matches the rest of the town. You should really Ooh. like this road. Mather, you're a fucking liar. You kind of got to admire his just unending optimism. Yeah. Even the, the crappiest of roads, you're just like, woohoo, new well, road! You never specified what fix meant. That seemed like a very pointed comment, Waffles. Yeah, I took that from your- I took that from your deck. You know what, old timer? Let's race. I love how there's the fucking tire chemtrails in this guy, dude. Like, in this guy, there's literally just tire marks because of the floating cars. Look at the fucking- I never even noticed that, the <laughs> random tire tracks in the sky. So flying cars Wait. are a thing. Oh, I- oh. But there's a planes movie! There's actually two planes movies! Yep, I've- I've- uh, Let me tell you something, Fiafo Girl. I have seen both planes movies, and I remember nothing from either of them. Yeah. I remember both of them. I watched both of them. The only thing I remember from the first movie is I'm Afraid of Heights. Which yeah. Is... Yeah. I can set Forget Forget Law very easily because all I remember from the summer of 2014 is that it's the same year as How to Train Your Dragon 2 came out. And if you asked me that summer, I probably would have said I enjoyed Planes 2 more. Ah! You liked Planes?
Dragons 2 more than How to Train Your Dragon 2? Yes, I'm pretty sure I did. You must have been fucking insane. <laughs> yeah, you must have been fucking insane. Well, I, I I, mean, now I remember what happens in How to Train Your Dragon 2, whereas I cannot tell you anything that happens in Planes 2, except that Brad Paisley, as usual, kills the soundtrack. But what we should probably do is actually schedule a How to Train Your Dragon recording so I can reassess my feelings on that trilogy. But I remember probably feeling the weakest about the second one of the trilogy. Yeah, it's just... <laughs> but it's not worse than Planes 2. Like. It is not- it is not worse than Planes like, 2. Can't compare to Lego Movie, the best movie of the year. Didn't get nominated because fuck you. I can't believe Lego Movie wasn't nominated that year. Wait, the Lego Movie wasn't nominated that year? Nay, yeah, because of course it wasn't. Why would good movies be nominated? That- that goes against the rules. Cool. Oh dear. That's really a thorn in his side. Well, was that stinging like a beamer? I'm confused. <laughs> you know, Mater gets a lot of unnecessary hate from people. Wait, people hate Mater? Me Wait, neither. people don't like Mater? It's like how people don't think Hootie is the best Wait, Owl House character. people really don't like Mater? I think it has to do with Toy, I, toy Story 2. Wait, the, who Cars 2. Okay, so here's the thing, Neil. One of the biggest things I hear people say about Cars 2 is that they hate that they made the dumb, stupid, idiot tow truck the main protagonist of Cars 2. I see that sentiment so much about Mater. See, yeah. but that's not the bad thing about <laughs> Cars 2. Yeah, him being stupid isn't bad. Well, it's, it's like a, a lot of people- It's the entirety of Cars 2. One of the one of the things I see people say is, I like how they try to get you to care about the, the dumb comic relief character in Cars 2 and they try to make you have an emotional scene. And, and my only reaction is just, being the comic relief character doesn't make you immune to having character growth. I don't- Yeah, people are just stupid. I mean, if you don't find Mater funny, then it's fine. It's, it's whatever. But th there's like, Almost an active, vile hatred for Mater from a lot of corners of the internet. Yeah, I don't get that. He's at the very least very endearing. <laughs> Just him yelling in the background. Just slowly losing his mind. And I gotta be honest, like, I gotta relate to him somewhat, working into the wee hours of the night, slowly losing your mind. Ever, can you help me make a diss track on Bessie? Oh, I'm you're a Bessie! Track on... Your name rhymes with Jesse. Oh, yeah. You're All the right. bestie. Oh. Your rap is kind of messy. You're like, kind of like Nessie, sort of, as in the fact that you shouldn't exist. Could you imagine? I, I, I don't know why this popped into my head just now, but imagine in the final episode of Owl House, it's revealed that Hootie is actually the Loch Ness Monster. Dun dun dun! He is the one who Hootie dun, dun. Um, He's go he, he uh, was actually Gordy at Gordon Lake the whole time. <laughs> oh my god, it wasn't the balloon. He was the balloon. He ate the balloon. <laughs> that that show would really be ballooning out of control. Out of all the shitty puns you've made, that that was especially bad. <laughs> I know, right? It, that one really Damn. ran out of air. That one really ran out of air fast. Also, Ace Attorney just tweeted: Today marks 15 years since the original release of Apollo Justice Ace Attorney on the Nintendo. Games. Oh, th what a no. fitting day to watch Damn. Cars 2, Trevor. I agree. To celebrate it, we will bring it. Through all platforms. <laughs> Yay! And Trevor will have to replay it. Let's go. I honestly, at this point, I don't think I would hate it if I replayed it. Replayed Apollo Justice? Yeah, I've played too much other crap for that game to phase me anymore. Maybe, but we've also said that about other things, that, and you were wrong. So who knows? It, it, like what? 50, well, uh, main thing that comes to mind is Lion King. I said I thought it would be boring, not that I had seen other things that were way worse that Lion King wouldn't phase me. Alright, fine. Plus, I'm a, I was, I'm a bit more familiar with Apollo Justice's story than I was with the Lion King remake. At least Apollo Justice doesn't have literal shit. As a plot point. Wait, what? No, no, it's nothing. No, never mind. You didn't hear anything. It's fine. It's ignorance is bliss. You don't need to know. Okay. You don't ignorance need to know. is bliss. You don't need to know. I promise you. Ignorance is bliss. Of all movies to never watch in your life, Lion King 2019 is one of them. I've seen The Jungle Book. I People tell me The Jungle Book is great. I'll take your word for it. It the, is good. The Lion King certainly is not. Part of it has to do, I'm because I, I haven't seen the original Jungle Book, but I've heard from a lot of people that it hasn't aged super well, but the original Lion King is timeless. There's no, yep. I don't know why you would ever even bother trying to remake it. I don't know, Trevor, you could really see that they had budgetary restraints when they made it. Oh, oh no. <laughs> what? Game over <laughs> again! <laughs> That was certainly a decision he made. Wait, wait, that insult to injury. Well, I mean, he took it. He took Doc's advice literally. He turned right in an attempt to go left. You keep talking to yourself. People think you're crazy. Thanks for the tip. What? I wasn't talking to you. What? <laughs> 
good joke. That's a good <laughs> joke, bro. Speaking of Brad Paisley, that's his song in the background. Find yourself. Wait, no. Joke's all about people dying. If, you know, I feel like it wouldn't take you that long, because you, you did, like, half the road in a pretty efficient amount of time. Well, he's lazy. He's probably tired. He's probably tired from doing it one day. Look, I get all my tires for free. <laughs> Not that it, it shouldn't surprise me, but it's nice that you can actually see the tires getting inflated. Attention to detail. With, with Pixar, it's you just kind of kind of expect it at that point. But unless you're light year, I guess. In which case, attention to detail just makes things worse. That's a burn. <laughs> and that's the opposite of a burn. That's 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 called water. <laughs> Or I guess waterboarding is more, to be more precise. <laughs> what are you doing right now? What are you doing? I made it first. Such funny water puns. Mwah, ha ha ha. Funny, funny. This is not no. the verse we have had to deal with. Self. My puns are going swimmingly. Forgetful Gal is just as used to dealing with puns because when we were in high school, we were friends with someone who was an avid pun master. So we looked the pun book and there's another pun master. How many pun masters? Did that person at your school happen to have an extremely similar voice to mine for, by any chance? No. No. You did, he doesn't know about the voice changer. He what? <laughs> Wouldn't that be the ultimate plot twist? Da da da! I, I was wondering why there was a guy, there was a kid, there was a, there was a squeaker kid, it was Trevor. It was me, all along. Who's been messing up everything? It was Agatha, all along. It was Avert, all along. You know, I used to crash into her just so I could spoke to her. What are you talking about? I don't know. Hey, I know something wicked. <laughs> uh, what are you talking about? Wow. Hey, you think your puns are going well. Like a wow. Well. That, you put, that people put water in. Hilarious. I, I bet you you have a pool more jokes. You know, me. one of these days, we're gonna set a challenge that we are not allowed to make any puns for an Hell entire no. commentary. No. Ha, yes. try it. Why, Trevor, why would we ever do that? If that happens, what's gonna happen is a moment that the challenge is out, we're gonna get like a billion puns in a minute. <laughs> Yeah, Go for the world you're gonna, record. Be, you're gonna be swimming in puns. This tractor scene actually scared me as a kid. This also scared me as a kid. Like I was traumatized by these fucking tractors. The, the sound effect of Frank is like genuinely a ho the sound effect a horror movie villain makes. It's kind of <laughs> terrifying. Well, look, guys, it's it was the most popular video on my channel for seven years or something like that. Why was it the most popular video? I on have your no channel? idea. We yeah, Trevor, what what did you do to the algorithm? How much did you give Susan? Actually, what is your most popular video? Toy Story 4 Part 1, 310k views. It makes a cow noise, I think is what they're going for. Yeah. Well, yeah, because cow tipping. Oh, I saw. Uh, right. Well, right. I forgot about the. the your parts. turn, bird. I don't. I don't understand why. Like we we watched the episode three of my cars walk through. I don't understand what it is about that video that got hundreds of thousands uh, of people to uh, flock uh, to. Unless it. like a bunch of people got stuck in that part of the game. I don't know. It, it's about as confusing as Curious George episode 6 having 30k thousand, or 30... Yeah, like, what the games. fuck? <laughs> oh my god, I was in my browser, then I just heard that now I'm broom sound. I was just listening to the conversation and just randomly... <laughs> oh dear god. Woo! Alright, I'm turning down my volume. Woo! No! Woo! No! It's a tractor thing. What? A tractor no. thing. Angry mooing. I love the subtitles that say angry mooing. Oh, God. Not Frank. I don't know if my roommate came home last night. That's Jesus. I, I, that's a concerning thing to bring up right now, suddenly. No, I think she may have stayed over at her boyfriend's. Okay. <laughs> because I fell asleep early. But the door was um not locked from the inside this morning, so I do think she did actually come home and left. I could just track her. Oh wait a moment. All right. So just so that's a good note. Actually, lives it had a roommate. You already knew that. We're, we're getting you start. already knew this. <laughs> Well, yeah, but I kind of forgot. But, but, I mentioned it multiple times, I, both on stream and in, I, this, in recording. I, I can't wait for you to forget it again tomorrow, and then next time she reaches it. <laughs> Waffles, how do you have a worse memory than forgetful gal? <laughs> Yeah, how? What the fuck? <laughs> you have to like try to forget stuff. Like your brain My storage, new name is forgetful like, guy. Are you just like constantly deleting files from your brain? <laughs> like, like what is going like on? Do you have like what? It's like an inside out when the, the little blob people just keep dumping memories out. We don't need the phone numbers, they're in her phone. <laughs>
Da, 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 da. <laughs> triple then gum will make gum you smile. Make you triple then Listen, gum, we've ar- you've already smile. seen evidence that I really am forgetful. Forgetful, girl, can I tell the story of how you almost didn't show up to the recording today? No. I, oh, yeah, you know what? Yeah, sure. That, that's a, that's a, a great example of why I am my Nick Davis forgetful gal. Okay, so here's the story. So when we were setting up the recording for, for today, we, I was trying to figure out what was best for everyone's schedules. And forgetful girl told me I can do any time on Sunday. So I figured that's great. Any time on Sunday, that is perfect. So then I texted her a confirmation message a couple days ago saying, are we sure that Sunday works for you? And she said, I can't do this on Sunday. It's going to be really close to have a class between these two, these hours. And I was like, I hate to say this, but did you not tell me that Sunday was good for any time? And then she said, yeah, but I got my schedule wrong. Now I'm going to check my schedule again to make sure to fi- figure out a better date. And when she went to go back to check her schedule again, she said, I think I gaslit myself. I actually am available all day on Sunday. <laughs> I love how you're just giving this story while Mater's just going hog wild right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it kind of fits, actually. What Mater's doing right now is representative of my mind during that conversation. <laughs> Who has the worst memory? Me? Not me. Or a forgetful gal? Or a goldfish. Waffles. No, our memories already rest the goldfish. You don't need to worry about that one. Don't goldfish actually have good memory, though? Like, didn't that get, like, myth busted? I think, I think they I can think remember up to a so. month or so. You're talking about the piston cup. I've been dreaming about it my whole life. I'll be the first rookie in history ever to win it. Private helicopter. No more rusty old cars. What's wrong with rusty old cars? I don't mean you, Mater. I mean other old cars. You, I like you. Nah, it's okay. Hey, you think maybe one day I can get a ride in one of them helicopters? I've always wanted to ride in one of them fancy helicopters. Yeah, sure, sure. You mean it? Oh, yeah, anything you say. I know that I made a good choice. In what? My best friend. Really nice moment. Yeah, it's a really nice moment. If, if yeah, only I really saw really what was going on instead of trying to to, to follow Wait, three things out there. Why am I here? Ma- made her ask why the Piston Cup matters so much to him, and he talked about his dreams and aspirations. And Wait, what's going on? I'm it was really heartwarming on. and you missed it all. No, 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 like, who are you guys? Okay. Wait, what? Wait, why, why am I a waffle? Mater asked McQueen if he could ever get him a ride in one of the fancy helicopters and he, he, he said yes, kind of offhandedly. Yes, you will get a ride in the helicopter, maybe. Did you mean it? Oh, who knows? I mean, first things first, I gotta get out of here and make the race. Mater trusts you. Yeah, okay. Was it just a yeah, okay, or yeah, okay, or... Yeah, okay. I love how the subtitles actually ampl- amplify this by making it in a different way of writing it. More capital letters. Thanks for letting me stay here. It's nice to be out of the impound and this is great. Newly refurbished, right? Yeah. He said thank you. Whoa, he's learning manners. He's learning. He's growing. He's developing. He's getting manners. Yeah. Car- cars is a bit weirdly paced, but w- once it gets going, there's, there's a lot of great stuff to be found here. Yeah, it's funny when a, a movie about a race car is a slow pace. It's kind of indicative of what the film's Third all about. Point. Yeah. But it, but it, it is... It is... Having a nice moment there? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, so I need to like eat. So I think I'll be I'll be back in time for cards too. Bye bye. Okay. What? <laughs> Doodles. So speaking of being weirdly paced, uh, chick fucking dies. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, back on the movie. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, Let's right. go back. Everyone, go back ten seconds. <laughs> we can replay that. Come on. Oh yeah, chick fucking. <laughs> chick fucking dies, baby. I think I may be further behind than I thought. Frank. <laughs> Do we need to resync then? Let's resync for a second. Okay, okay, everybody pause. Because I hit that chick joke like a few seconds after you did. So, uh, when are McQueen and Sally going to exchange engine parts? Brooks. What the fuck? What? Brooks! I'm confused. So, when a mommy and a daddy car ram into each other. This, this is where we stop. Let's <laughs> just, just, just stop. Let's, <laughs> Let's just. And then they go vroom vroom. Not vroom, like. Vroom. We're gonna hear a lot of vroom vroom. <laughs> Oh, dear God. I would like to politely request that we cease this means of conversation. Do they give we birth go. at the auto shop or what? Okay, Brooks. Yeah, I adopted you from the auto shop. <laughs> no, that's a car <laughs> rental, man. What is happening? All I asked was a simple resync. Imagine a car tells their son, I rented you from the rental store, but then the warranty expired. <laughs> <laughs> like That's evil. Okay, does anybody need my screenshot anymore or are we ready to keep going? Yes, I'm. We're ready to keep going. We're looking at the show. I I think I need. I'm uh one second. 
Oh. Wait, just... I may have just lagged my thing out. <sighs> all right, let us know it's when high, we're it's ready. High. Are you sure we're getting through all three movies? Yeah, no, no. we're vrooming. We're vrooming. I'm pretty sure we're not, but let's we're gonna, try. We're gonna, we're gonna try Trevor doesn't agendas. need sleep. Sleep is overrated. Are we ready? I don't know. Are we FG? Yeah. Let let let. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Totally. Wait. I it's forgot fine. the it's frame. It's fine. It's fine. Are, are you are you synced up to the screenshot? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Let's let's go with that. <laughs> you, you don't sound confident in that answer. I'm not. Then why don't just just drag... screenshot it then? No, it is. Or we're shared the screenshot of where we need to sync to. All all you have to do is just drag the. Okay, that has subtitles on it. I can do that. Okay, I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> I just got a comment uh, on Grom asking, will we- Why are you using so many Owl House clips in the Grom commentary, I gotta say. Asking, will we react to knock, knock, knocking at Hootie's door? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, it's a bit too late for that. Did you reply to them saying that? Unfortunately. No, because I'm currently in the middle of recording a commentary. <laughs> Fair enough. No. Oh my god. Dum dum dum! He has a piston cup? Very observant. Great, you have ice. Wonderful. Oh my gosh! Look at that, they were just being me. Time says stay up. Oh. You have three piston cups, how could you? I knew have? you couldn't drive. I didn't know you couldn't read. Well, it is Apollo Justice's anniversary, so I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, we gotta talk. You gotta show me your tricks, please. I already tried that. And look at those trophies! You look. All I see is a bunch of empty cups. Did you know Doc is a famous race car? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't believe him either. Doc's a famous race car! Yeah, sure, kid. I've never seen Doc drive more than 20 miles an hour! I mean, have you ever seen him race? He won three Piston Cups! <laughs> he did what in his cup? He did what in his cup?! There's peak comedy. Trevor's gonna be really pissed off if I do another piss joke. <sighs> I'm, 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 I'm contemplating instilling that no pun rule for cars, too. I trust him. Come on, let's take a drive. Don't you big city race cars ever just take a drive? Uh, no. No, we don't. You coming or what? And you thought he was gonna run. Okay. We haven't really talked about the soundtrack yet, but this particular track is among my favorites of the score. Also, that background there, uh, it's now gone, but... The pretty right. good for- pretty good for 2006. Yeah. No, honestly, this movie is pretty visually impressive for the time, and yeah, even- I'd, I'd, I'd say that, like, Cars Onwards was when Pixar animation got really timeless. Because the titles- This is great, when it's probably- this is probably the best scene in the movie. I mean, it still looks, uh, very dated. Ooh, uh, well- Yeah, the that, best scene in the movie is when he gets mud on his- I guess that depends, we got I mean, go. animated-wise. Oh, a oh, animated oh, yeah. wise. Okay, well, that that that's the clear winner. Yeah, like nothing even comes close in terms of technical prowess. I don't mean plot wise. <laughs> I mean plot wise. There, there's a case to be made for this is just a really nice character moment for the two of them. But it, I guess it depends on whether you consider this scene to extend into the the scene at the at the wheel well. Because I, I would probably cite the either the wheel well scene or the other climax as the strongest story beats of the film. Yeah. Yeah. This this shot right oh, here. Oh my. Damn. They, they actually have this in California, in uh, in Cars Land, in Disneyland. There's a, there's a Radiator Springs Racers ride that takes you through this exact grand reveal, and you come out of the cave. We have to do a Disney trip and record it. We do. We do need to do that. Toy Story Land, Star Wars Land, Cars Land, the whole enchilada. What is this road? What the freak? Who made this road? The last <laughs> time I went to Disney, I didn't actually get around to going on any who of the Who built that rides. road? Who, would, who in the right mind made that road? Okay, how do you even make the roads? How does that- what? Okay, never- I'm not even gonna ask. I'm gonna ask. What do you mean how do they make the roads? Did you just show the guy fixing the road? I haven't gotten to Disneyland Paris in years, or Disneyland in America, but yeah. And I, I still- You guys have been to Disneyland? And I still owe you that, um, the, the test track that you said you wanted to- Yeah, I've never been on test track either. One of the longest running things that Forgetful and I have been talking about is that she told me that on her school field trip to Epcot, they want- she wanted to ride test track, but they couldn't because they- either the line was too long or they ran out of time. No, the teacher was mean. Like, three other groups got to go, and our teacher was like, no, we can only do the educational rides. And I was like, fuck that! So I promised that one day I would take her to Epcot and we'd be able to actually ride test track, and this year we should try to do it this summer. I've- we've waited- yeah. we've, put, we've put this off for too long. We weren't allowed to go on any rides when I went for my elementary school field trip. Doc fixed me up, Flo took me in, and I never left. You charged the old batteries, but, you know, after a while, why didn't you go back? I fell in love with this. Oh. 
Okay, who the hell built this road? This road is like the most windy <laughs> shit. There's a part where the road just zigzags when you could have just simply made a straight line right there. Ah, uh, yes. Could have just make a straight, straight line. line up a mountain, please. You know what? You know what? They should just hire you as the next road designer. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, dude. I can you. You're the, smart, dude. you're the smartest person I've ever heard. Oh my goodness. I'm not even joking. You will become a billionaire. Just Yeah, it'll be a rocky road ahead, but I'll do it. Long ago, but not so very long ago, the world was different. Oh, yes, it was. I saw a PS on the mountain. Does that mean anything, Trevor? I, I think that's RS, not PS. Yeah, we're right here to spring them. Oh, uh, well, that. Are. That all right, that makes sense. I, I think I would I'd cite this as my my favorite scene in the movie. The the power of the music and the way the visually communicate the story of Radio Springs is managed to hit me emotionally every time. Nothing comes that you can handle. So on you go. It's the one scene in the movie that feels like Pixar. Caves and on you of your town. Nothing you can do. Main Street isn't Main Street anymore. No one seems to need us like they did before. It's hard to find a reason left to stay. But it's our town. Love it anyway. Who the fuck? Yeah, yeah who was that? We're in the middle of this moment, and then just the emotional ding. scene. Ding. Was it Brooks? Was it Brooks? I guarantee goddamn to you. If I would have bet, I would say it was Brooks. I wasn't uh, paying attention guys, to the waffles. Waffles. Come on. waffles is deafened. It, can't, it oh, literally it can't be deafened? waffles. All right, it was Brooks. Uh, <laughs> all right, guys. Just everyone collectively agrees it had to be Brooks. Yeah, it was totally Brooks. Thanks for the drive. Had a great time. It's kind of nice to slow down every once in a while. A lot of people will question why the cars are cars, but that is just the epitome of exactly why this movie is about. It's not. It's not that like they just wanted to make a movie about talking cars because they felt like it. The epitome, the core emotional beat of Radiator Springs and the story of this tight knit family has is entirely centered around the interstate and the politics to come. Oh boy! The, also, the McQueen's about to get murdered, Trevor. I think we should talk about that. What? What would we even call those cow? Cars? They're just tractors. Uh. <laughs> She's just trying to get rid of the snow tires desperately. And then people in Canada don't use winter tires, so they, their tires just get destroyed. Imagine having winter. I know, right? I have still yet to see snow to this day. Really? Yeah. Same. Okay, so maybe instead of me flying out to Epcot, you need to fly to Canada. I, so I've seen frozen snow. Like, I've been in Pennsylvania after a snow spell where I just see, like, a, a chunk of snow frozen on the ground, but... Snow's only fun if you're a kid. <gasps> when, when When you grow up, snow and cold is just annoying. Yeah, snow is fun for, like, yeah, when you're a kid, but then when you get older, like, and the roads are just all icy and full of snow, it's like, nope, fuck the snow. I never want to see a snowflake for the rest of my life. That's how I feel. I was about to say, you're, that's your whole, you, you, you live in the tundra right now, so how, how's your... Yeah, I had to drive in that tundra. That was one of the biggest things that my, my parents didn't want me to go to school in Chicago, was, like, you are not prepared to deal with the, the sheer whiplash of temperature that the climate there will... Yeah, like, driving, like, fucking driving at, in winter is like the biggest pain in the ass of all time yeah i don't want to talk over you guys but i'm really enjoying this thing it's, it's great that they can sh they show that mcqueen despite leaving a very bad taste in everyone's mouth initially is slowly working his way into everyone it, it, it show everyone wants to improve slightly whether it's just painting the outside of their shop or reigniting a little spark of the passion for racing that doc has in his heart God, we have to watch Cars 2 after this. No, okay. <laughs> yeah, we sure do. I don't know why you guys hate Cars 2 so much. Okay, so did, I, I did Cars I, 2 like hold a gun to your family? Like, Jesus okay, so Christ, I, I really feel like I need to make this crystal clear. I've never said that I hate Cars 2. In fact, I'm actually incredibly excited what? to watch Cars 2. I can't speak no, for the rest. No, I'm not saying that you're not excited. I'm saying I'm not excited. Yeah, I, yeah I, Trevor. I, I like, uh, I there's nothing I love more than every one of my brain cells. To I, 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 I can't. I can't speak for the rest of them, but for myself, I it's incredibly entertaining. Finally got put together. I went back expecting a big welcome. You know what they said? Your history moved right on to the next book. He's standing in line. There was a lot left in me. I never got a chance to show. Him. I keep that. To remind me never to go back. 
I just never expected that that world would, would find me here. Never go back. That's the moral of the story. You know, when, when people say that Cars is just a vapid mess of unfunny humor and random nothingness, I don't, I never understand where that comes from because there's a lot of really strong emotional beats in Cars. Oh, yeah. This first movie Absolutely. is fantastic. Yeah, I agree with that. I'm still not a big fan of the movie, but it's, it's all right. It's definitely not vapid. It's definitely not just made sell toys. And they got a lot of the cultural stuff right about the NASCAR community, too, which I find cool. Yeah, Pixar is a passion. They, they, they managed to fuse, because this this is definitely born, I believe it was born out of a, pa a passion of the old country lifestyle and Route 66 and all that, and then, then they fused that with NASCAR. I, so I, I think NASCAR is the part they actually had to do research on, and it's, as usual, Pixar spares no expense with what the research they put into their movies. Like for Coco, I think they, obviously they had the funds to be able to do this, but I'm pretty sure Leon Critch took his team down to Mexico for either a month or a couple weeks at least. I know they took a team down to Colombia for Encanto. I don't know. They may have, they're working on another movie right now that's international, aren't they? Uh, oh. I don't keep up with Disney Animation Studios too much anymore. I just kind of see whatever comes out, which recently was Strange World. Trevor watched Strange World, left the theater, and he's like, wait, what happened for the last two hours? What am I? <laughs> I've already... that, you, you're, you're joking about that, but that is exactly what he did. It's, it was one of the first, like, I had was some, just completely disengaged from what was happening. We went together, and she had no idea what happened for, like, the last half of the movie. Yeah, if you need to pass by two hours, just watch Strange World, and it'll feel like you just teleported into the future. I also love how it takes Mater, like, three years to realize <laughs> that the queen He's right in front of him. <laughs> Any minute now. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> well, you know, I can't go just yet. I'm not sure these tires can get me all the way to Cal This I love. I love this. I love the scene before he leaves for the race because it's just so sweet to see how much he's grown. Yeah, this, this whole the biggest issue I have with cars is just pacing wise. It's it's kind of slow. Once it gets going, this the back chunk of the movie is just constantly endearing and seeing how everything progresses. I just I like Radiator Springs' community. I love it in the in the Cars video game. You were actually allowed to drive around Radiator Springs, and it was an open world. And it's kind of why I haven't liked any of the other Cars video games because they all just became traditional linear racing rather than yeah, open they tried world. Yeah, to be more car. And they failed. If a car has a spare tire on their back, how do they take that off? Do they have to like get someone else to do it? Uh, yeah. That or they have the ability to just because uh, Mater blows off his his air filter in the second movie so maybe they have the ability so, to eject so it. you just have you just have to fart the end you win no you're spoiling the second movie what are you doing oh no oh no not, not cars too i can't i can't I, I, I can't i'm sure all all the intricate details of the plot that were revealed by, t by me telling you he blows off his air filter see that, that that's one of those like infinity war spoiler means where if you know you know yeah but if you don't know then it means nothing to you if you know you know oh my goodness it looks like you've helped everyone Everybody in town. Yeah, everybody except one. Hey, is it getting dark out? Uh, what? <laughs> what did he say? It's the thing! That's your cue. That's... <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of neon lights. getting dark out, damn it! Lizzie, turn on the lights! Turn on the lights! <laughs> All I can think about is like that monkey video when I hear this song. What? Oh, you don't know what I'm talking about? Uh, no, Why Brooks. is it your you- I don't- Okay, I don't even want to see you, Brooke's YouTube recommendations. Oh, I think my roommate's back. I have a do not disturb sign up, so she shouldn't bother me. She does almost ask her what she's doing. What you doing? What you doing? Brooks, what is this? What did you just- That's the video. That's the video. What- what is- <laughs> Did you have what? to post that? <laughs> yeah, Brooks, did you need to put that on my screen right now? Yes, I did. Well, that's gonna have to make it into the commentary now. Wait, there, yeah. way to go, Brooks. I'm recording my entire second monitor, so it, it, it's easy for me to put it in there, but weird. <laughs> weird is one way to put it. This movie sure loves, um, vocal tracks. Oh. Oh. That's like breaking your tailbone. Thanks, Vader. Speaking of monkeys, that's all monkey see, monkey do thing. And the tractors are still just... Dude, hanging. these tractors are literally bananas. But yes, you mentioned something about lyrical tracks, and yeah, I, I love every lyrical track in this movie. They fit the tone so perfectly. Yeah, th th that's true. Real yeah. Gone, Life is a Highway, Our Town, Shaboom, everything just... Life is a Highway is the best song, though. Mm. Good evening. Debatable. debatable. Not even debatable, it's just fact. I, I think I'm, I'm, I'm partial to Our Town myself. Yeah, I, I'm al I also think that might be... My favorite. <gasps> Customers? It's Frank! 
It's, <laughs> it's probably gonna be just a bunch of trucks showing up. It's the ghost line. <laughs> it's the ghost line. I told you the ghost line was real. Damn, they put out a lot of people to find this this man. Yeah, I mean, it's sports celebrities. Yeah. This is actually accurate to paparazzi, though. Paparazzi. I ain't bragging or nothing, but I'd enjoy you hunting him down if he tried to escape. Oh my god. <laughs> if he tried to escape. Oh Great job, Mater. Mater. <laughs> So reassuring. As proficient with words as always, I see. I was in charge of hunting down to make sure he never left. Dad gum, there was one time he he almost got away. Then I used my tow cable to hook him out of the cactus pile I threw him into. <laughs> Get back, you oil thirsty parasite! <laughs> I love you, man. <laughs> I miss when John Ratzenberger had roles and not cameos. Like he he's in Seoul. Good luck finding him in Seoul. But he's he is there. In what? Uh, in yeah, Seoul. he was playing he was playing a Soul Slug instead. John Ratzenberger, Pixar's Lucky Charm, is known for being in every Pixar film, but recently he's just been in the bat most background cameo that you have to go out of your way to try to find. <laughs> Whereas used to be he was like <laughs> It's like it's like a game of Where's Waldo. Used to be is like, oh he's Ham from Toy Story or oh he's PT Flea from Bugs Life and the Abominable Snowman and the School of Fish and Mac and all the characters you actually remember now it's not that now it's just i i challenge you to find john ratzenberger in seoul he's there it, like Vert said he's it's like there a, as brooks said i said it was a where's waldo game i didn't say i said a verb did i say if i said brooks i meant a verb you, i'm pretty you sure said i said a brooks. Verb. It's, it's fun. i think i've infected his brain a million times let's one more man you have no idea according to imdb he's listed as guy on the subway in seoul oh yo dude guy, guy on, the, on subway the subway is like the best soul character i'm i'm honestly amazed i'm still awake right now honestly I'm partial. I'm amazed. No, as well. just, just, I'm, I'm amazed you're, you're still alive. Cars 2, cars two will snap me right away. <laughs> yeah, Cars 2, it's gonna be his alarm. <laughs> what does the car say? Wow, I haven't heard someone say oh that in God. like 10 years. I know, right? 10 like, years. I literally, I literally time traveled to fucking YouTube Rewind 2011 when Matt Pat was oh, in God. I, re I remember when that, when that song was everywhere all the goddamn time and you could not yep. escape it. Hey. Are you Doc Hudson? Yeah. Thanks for the call. You called them? It's best for everyone, Sally. Best for everyone? Or best for you? Or best for you. Burn! <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what I'll say about the pacing is that it we could probably tighten it up in some areas, but it is to the film's benefit that it takes as long as it does for McQueen to warm up to the town and vice versa. It doesn't yeah, feel like this, it happens. This it feels believable this, when he leaves. Yeah, this movie's slow pacing makes a lot of people exhausted. <sighs> Please stop. That, that, what, you sweet summer child, you think you can get him to stop? We've been trying <laughs> since light year, it hasn't been working. <laughs> I will never run out of fuel. We, we, we've been trying to start stop him for almost a year at this point, and it will never work. I know, I'm just I'm just really good at making puns. Actually, it has, it's been, today's the, 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 the day of the anniversary of the server, so yeah, it has been a year yeah. since. You need, to, you need to get another calculator for the amount of puns this guy makes. Like yes, a, uh, a pun calculator? counter. I still have that. Ca I, I think it still probably has the number of puns he has. There's a pun counter. Okay, a, a, I, I guarantee you I told you this before, but I'll, I'll tell again for anyone who doesn't know. So long story short, in middle school, Neil and I knew someone who was just infamous for being a pun master. Eventually, I started keeping track of how many puns he made. Ooh, but I, do, I, do, do, do. Life could be a dream. Waffles, I'm about to pun you right now. But I believe by the end of middle school, it topped out somewhere between between four and five thousand puns across oh all my three gosh. years. Like were those all unique puns? Yes. Anyways, life could be a dream. Avert life could be a dream. Avert is probably dethroned. Life could be a dream. You <laughs> have a nice moment there, Waffles. Yeah, Waffles is over here enjoying the last minutes of life he's ever gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> life could be a dream, Waffles. Waffles. Gonna die. You're could be a dream. Holy speed, guys. <laughs> I'll say, it does not feel like it's been an hour and a half. Yeah. It does not. Oh yeah, remember, he doesn't have a pit crew. Whatever are we gonna do about that? Mm, Man, I wonder. How miserable is your life if you're a helicopter in this universe? <laughs> yeah, just, uh, you could be just, fi you be on planes fire rescue. Imagine sleeping, dude. Like a helicopter just has to go. Imagine doing anything. Anyways, why would we talk about helicopters? Anyways, are we watching planes? The planes movies are not ones I plan on ever doing commentaries for because they're just nothing. Yeah. They're planes movies. What? You guys didn't like the planes movies? No. Well, the thing with the, the planes movies are a bit too plain for my. Liking. I don't. 
ha I don't hate the Planes movies, but I, I just, well, well, I mean, when I was a kid, I li like I used heard earlier, I, I, when I was in seventh grade, I enjoyed Planes 2 more than I did How to Train Your Dragon 2, but I haven't seen Planes 2 since then, I have seen How to Train Your Dragon 2 since then, and I just, I just don't really have any big of, like, I don't remember anything that happened in either Planes movie. I just, they just didn't really leave a lasting impact on me. It's racing time! I didn't even know that the Plane movies existed until the lot of, brought it up. A lot of people don't. I also watched the Planes movies in theaters because I was really excited for them. Yeah, if we had, if we did a commentary that, we just have to wing it. Jake's not making it easy on him today. Oh. Queen spins out in the infield. That's a good shot there with the water splashing. I don't think I, I didn't come all this way to see you quit. Doc? And there's your pit crew. Woo! Pit crew! Let's go! I can't believe this! I knew you needed a crew chief, but I didn't know it was this bit. Imagine if Mac actually had to do literally everything. Yeah. I really didn't have a choice. Mater didn't get to say goodbye. Goodbye! Okay, I'm good. Nah. <laughs> we can leave now. <laughs> Oh, wait, so I'm out. They, they all show up and then they leave. Just as they literally okay. just showed up for him to say goodbye and they leave immediately. Yeah. <laughs> Thankfully, it's not that. All right, play. You can take us out. Oh, I, I also like that the sheriff is there. So currently, Radio Springs is without protection. Yeah. <laughs> no one's there. <laughs> to be fair, who's actually gonna stumble? Who's actually entering Radio not, Springs? Not that. Not that they're in a hot spot that's regularly under threat of invasion or just. Yeah, who's actually gonna be in Radio Springs and why would they even want to be there? It, it is a miracle that McQueen ended up there, just plain and simple. The amount of things that had to go right for McQueen to wind up in Radiator Springs, not knowing that the brake button or the brake pedal exists. Yeah, apparently. Oh, okay, well, I, I, I oh, guess- Oh, there are people there! I guess the fire truck is there, so, you know. Honestly, his fire- his water hose is probably a more effective self-defense tool than anything the sheriff can do. You're not wrong. You know, there's a surprising amount of C's in that audience. I didn't think that many people were on Chick's side here. Round things are called tires, and they go under the car! Ah! No, 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 no. You will have your chance, Guido. You will have your chance. We were talking about technical achievements earlier. Crowd shots. Bugs Life almost brought Pixar to its knees. This movie? Crowd <laughs> shot. What? <laughs> Dad gum, chick. He done learned the backwards racing. Getting to use everything he learned at Radiator Springs is a huge part of what makes this climax work. God, we have to watch Cars 2 after this. I'm excited to watch. I am. I, I don't think you quite understand just how excited I am to watch Cars 2 after this. Yeah, like, like I'm more excited to watch shitty movies than I am to watch good movies. That's the power of the audio commentary. Greedo. It's time. I'm also more excited to watch shitty movies. Dum dum dum, it's time. All right, here, here it comes. Best part of the movie right here. Again, this world record will be at, will be in Radiator Springs tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> their mustaches, their jaws literally drop. Yup. It's gonna be close. Yeah, the tires just fall from the heaven. Now yeah, beat the pace car. The, the melody of the big race is just classic Randy Newman expertise of musical language. And, and the way it builds throughout just both the movie and this final, even just this final race. This is it. We're heading into the final lap, and McQueen is right behind the leaders. 199 laps, and baby, it all comes down to this. This is it, kiddo. Four turns left, one at a time. Drive it in deep, and hope it sticks. Go! McQueen's going inside! Because the thing is, individually, they seem very disconnected, a, like a character-driven exploration of Radiator Springs in a fast-paced action racing section. They're able to blend them together so perfectly here that they, they feel like they work together as part of one cohesive story. Float like a Cadillac, sting like a Beamer! Oh, he's dead. Ouch. Well, he has incurred several concussions. I feel like there should- I feel like there should be, like, a rule against that. It is generally frowned upon. Well, as a, Neil, can you offer more insight as to what the rule is on, like, bumping? Because technically all I mean, Chick did there was- just... In real life, he did get penalized. What's he up to, Doc? 
I mean, some accidents are just racing incidents, but, like, if it's intentional, you get, like, penalty. That was definitely intentional. That was definitely yeah. intentional. Not to mention that a lot of accidents happened prior. You just gave up the piston cut. This grumpy old race car in L1 told me something. It's just an empty cop. Daryl is pushing him. Damn. Legal? Hey, man, he's not really pushing him. He's just giving him a little bump grab. They were talking about if that's just... legal and not the freaking thing that took him off the road. I love that not a single person, not even the ones rooting for Chick, are cheering for him to win. They only cheer when McQueen and King cross the finish line. Because he could have very easily crossed the finish line, won the Piston Cup, and then turned yeah. around to get King. But the fact that he waits, that he stops, and then comes back is what is so important about that. Oh, man. Don't embarrass me, Fillmore. Come on, baby. Bring it no one cares. No one. Not a single <laughs> no, one. No. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. They just chucked the pissing cup at him. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> Ooh. There's your confetti. First person to ever weaponize confetti against him. <laughs> Say with me. Boom. 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 Different shots. <laughs> Get out of here, Michael Keaton! He deserved the cup. Come on, guys. No, he did not. Too hard. No, on he him. didn't. Let it die. Let yeah, it die. I. Yeah, he, <laughs> he's, he's the best it. character. He deserved the cup. He may have the physical trophy, but in the eyes of literally everybody else, he did not win this race. Ah you made us proud, kid. Congrats on the loss, me bucko. You got a lot of stuff, kid. Thanks, Doc. Hey, Light. How about coming over here and talking to me a minute? How'd you like to become the new face of Dynaco? But I didn't win. There's a whole lot more to racing than just winning. <laughs> These Rusties guys over there gave me my big break. I am gonna stick with them. I sure can respect that. Still, you know, if there's ever anything I can do, just let me know. Actually, there is one thing. <laughs> <laughs> Get to the chopper! <laughs> it's amazing that the given the opportunity of a lifetime, the only thing he wants is to make sure Mater gets his helicopter ride. It's such a gradual progression of his character the whole way through. It's also in really stark contrast to Lightyear, where he's an asshole for like 90% of the movie, and then magically he becomes nice at the end. At least in this movie, you can tell at the beginning when he's talking to Harv in, the, in Mac, there is a part of him that doesn't like the fact that he's all on his lonesome and he wants that kind of connection with someone, but it's just his... He's been stuck living in the fast lane for so long that he's, he's never... He doesn't know how to slow down and try to make that form that type of relationship with someone. Oh, yeah. there, there's more to it than just I'm an asshole because why not, I guess. I'm an asshole because I can be an asshole. I hear this place is back on the map. It is. Yeah, there's some rumor floating around that some hot shot piston cup race car is setting up his big racing headquarters here. You know, I really missed you, Sally. Well, I create feelings and others they themselves don't understand and uh, blah blah. Ha ha ha. Hey, Brooks, remember that thing you were singing earlier? They gonna exchange engine parts here? I find it weird to think that Mater would- that they wouldn't have heard the helicopter. Well, they did hear it, Yeah, eventually. they did hear it. This windy-ass road. I don't know why you're so hung up on the road. It, it, like, it moves with the landscape. Anyway, movie, it's good. I think it's a good movie, but it's, like, not- like in yeah. like the top 10 or 15 maybe top it's 15 it's an enjoyable actually. movie yeah better than I remembered but I, I won't say it's great but I enjoyed it 6.5 to 7 out of 10 for me probably like a 7 I actually. get yeah, seven. it I'm fine with a 7 7 out of 10 good it's good I agree with the 7 yeah I think like 7 is a good 7.5 is really good 8 is great 8.5 really great 9 phenomenal 9.5 almost masterpiece 10 masterpiece I'm giving it a 7 I can't, I can't imagine coming out of this movie not enjoying watching it it's because so many people will list cars as among the bottom tier of pixar and give it like a one or a two out of ten and i just don't i mean back in the day i i, I still would say that the only thing would be below it would be what bugs life yeah for two yeah, thousands yeah. pixar okay the thing about this movie is that if it were released today by pixar it'd be like the best movie they made in like five years inside soul but since this is made in like 2000s where you're competing with like some of pixar's best stuff like didn't rat like rat Ratatouille came out a year later. Two years later, Wally came out. It's it's very unfortunately stitched between The Incredibles and Ratatouille. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But divorcing it from its surrounding context, just looking at it as as a as its own movie, it's there's, there's a lot of really great stuff here that it often gets frustratingly overlooked by critics at, as at large. Yeah. Well, it, it it did what it wanted to do, and it does it well. As high as some of the other Pixar movies that were released. Also good. I, you know, I can never. It never gets old watching this movie. It's always. How long has it been since you've seen it? 
I watched it like maybe a year ago. I have the disc, but the thing, the reason why I didn't want to use a disc is because I don't have Cars 3, so then I would still have to use Para, whatever it's called anyway. So I said I'll Parsec. Just, yeah, Parasec. So I said I'll just do all three on here. They actually Plus, got the Toy Story voice actor. But is it kind of Parsec or Parasec? Parsec. <laughs> I thought I thought, I thought it was pronounced Parasec. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. I called it Parasec. Well, I thought it was, but I said Parasec just because everyone else was calling it that. Now that we're here, I defend Parasec. Parasec sounds better. Uh, no. I like these. Yeah. I like these these movies that they're doing here. They actually got the voice actors back. I like how Mac. I like how Mac uh, uh, comments <laughs> on the Abominable Snowman. That's great. Oh, he, he comments on all the, the Rassenberger characters, like right here, he's, he gets very self-aware. Wait a minute here, they're just using the same actor over and over. What kind of a cut-rate production is this? <laughs> I just love that all the tractors <laughs> are lined up along the fence, out with Frank watching the movie. Yeah, well, we've watched one of three movies, also. <gasps> dedicated to Joe Ranch. Dedicated to Joe Ranch. I don't know who that is, but... Oh, well, wait, were you guys still watching the credits? <laughs> yes. Yes, we tend to do that. I closed the credits <laughs> already. Voice of Heimlich, Wheezy, and uh... Um, okay, well it makes Lenny. sense because they showed Wheezy footage. Hey Brooks, what did you think of this movie? It was an interesting movie. I, I don't I don't know what to say about Cars, to be honest. Brooks, you were probably just watching Lifetime TV the whole time. Bro, why y'all think I watch Lifetime TV? Dude, that's my roommate watching that. <laughs> Every time. Uh, Every single Every time. single time. He watches, he watches two shows, and one of them is Friends. And it's all day, man. <laughs> uh, What's the I other don't, show? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, you have to I, find the out. The only reason I know he's watching Friends is because of the... The theme the, 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 song. The, 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 gonna be this way. Be this way. Da, 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 da. That's a joke, bro. Yeah, I guess my thoughts are that uh, I definitely have immense nostalgia for this movie. I watched Cars a lot as a kid. I don't know why, but I did. It was on, it was repeated on DVD quite a bit, and I played the shit out of the, the Xbox video game. So there's definitely a very strong emotional attachment that I have to these characters and this world. I, I, I love the atmosphere of Radiator Springs. I love the characters. I love seeing how they progress. The only dings I have against it are the bit when McQueen arrives at Radiator Springs is ludicrous with the amount of things that have to go right or wrong i guess in order for him to end up in a trap there and pacing wise i a lot of people are quick to say that it's slow and it is a, a bit of a slow burn it's but it's an appropriately slow burn for the most part because that's part of what makes the development feel meaningful and earned that said, I think we can tighten up a few scenes, because a lot of times when you say this movie could be shorter or it could be paced better, people will often say, oh yeah, well what would you cut, expecting you to be able to list one or two major scenes you could chop out. It's less, but a lot of times with pacing, it's less about chopping out whole scenes and it's just about trimming the scenes that are there to make it feel tighter. And we, we could definitely do that for this, but I absolutely adore Cars. Like, isn't the movie being slow, like, kind of the point? Well, yeah, so, I mean, there's there's a balancing act yeah. to be struck, because it's it's important that it doesn't happen too fast, and that it, it is a slow burn for McQueen's character development, so that you can believe his relationship with the townsfolk, and that it doesn't, it doesn't feel too quick and too rushed. But at a certain point, so sometimes it can feel like it meanders a little bit with some of the conversations that they have, so it's just it's just a matter of small tweaks in, in all the scenes to really tighten it up. But yeah, that's, that's the first Cars movie. And next up, we have Cars 2. Which oh boy! Regarded by a lot of people as the worst film in Pixar's catalog. At one point, it was, but yeah. goddamn, confidently said that it is nowhere near it the is, bottom. Yeah, I, I can I can confidently say it's been dethroned as the worst Pixar movie like ten times. Multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not even close anymore at this point. When it came out, though. That's there's one movie down. Let's go check out the second one. Can, can you have at least like a Minecraft game in the, on the side? What? <laughs> no, I mean like, can, can I record my Minecraft gameplay and you can just have it? Why are you even- <laughs> Why are you existing? Why, why, are you why, why is your body taking up space in the planet right now, Walker? <laughs> you don't want to watch the movie! <laughs> that real estate that your body is taking up could have been used for someone else's waffles. Why you gotta, why you gotta cook them that bad? <laughs> 
That, that's kind of that's kind of deep, man. Jesus. <laughs> who the hell changed the name of the commentary team again to Dora Butching Team? Who, who do, do you think? think? Just take a guess. Scroll up. Take a guess. It starts with W and ends with awful. Who's that guy? What an awful, awful situation to be in. Okay. You can definitely tell we're about to watch Cars too. Put on Velma right now. You are not pulling up Velma right now. Why? No. Wait, can we do a Velma commentary one day? Please no. <laughs> bro, bro. Trevor mentioned Velma to me. I was, I was like, what the hell? Is Velma. I decided to look it up on YouTube. After. Why did you do that? <laughs> 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 Because I was curious. Like, yeah. I'm like, yo, what the hell is this? I'm like, why is there? Even... I'm like, I, dude, I was thinking in my mind, surely it cannot be this bad. <laughs> oh, it was really bad. And that's where you it went was, wrong. Oh, it was bad. So, Neil, I... the first, the first mistake you made, Neil, was pressing the V key on your keyboard. <laughs> second, the second mistake was typing the E key. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then, but yeah, then you made one. like, but then you made like four more mistakes until you got to the enter key. <laughs> then you made the fifth mistake of continuing to look at your screen. No, surely it was three mistakes, not four. Basic man. No. Velma is peak fiction. Uh, no, the fourth mistake would be the enter key. I have some unfortunate news to report, everybody. It would seem that we have had a casualty. Brooks will not be joining us for Cars Two. But oh um, no, such a casualty! I'm so sad. We have to postpone the entire commentary until he gets back. We He's are not. not off Please no! I have no. a stream today. Yeah. I have to be places. Brooks is not getting off this easy. Okay, he's not just gonna skip Cars Two. No, 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 no. It wouldn't be the first time he missed a bad sequel. <laughs> but he will be back for Cars Three because he hasn't actually seen. Yes, cars the 3. good one. So he's gonna come back for the good one. Okay. Yeah, so no, here's no. the thing with Cars Two. It's a bit controversial. It's a bit shit. Let's get specifically in regards to Cars Two. Let's get everyone's thoughts out on the table of what how we feel going into this. Over it go. So basically, yeah, it's, it's, not, good. it's not the worst thing ever. Fuck it. Man, I really don't understand. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's because I'm into cars, but I, I really don't understand what the hate for Cars 2 is. I gotta say, Avert is doing a really good job of changing his voice to sound like <laughs> I was about to say, I, I feel like I feel like Woody in Toy Story 3 where I said, okay, come down, but not all at once. And then they're like, wait, what did he say? I think he said all at once. Well, all and at then once. everyone yeah. just piles yeah. in. Yeah. It's just bowling pin Woo! sound effect. All right, let's try that again. Avert. So would you like to? So basically, Cars 2 is a movie about talking cars who do spy things. That's my thoughts on the movie. Gugonic, your turn. I don't think it's awful. It's not the worst thing ever put up a uh, box art of, Nir of Nirvana Initiative. But it's not good. I don't like it. Except the, the, some of the tracks. I really like them. I'm going to be honest. When I re remembered I would have to watch Cars 2 as a part of this, I was like, do I really want to show up today? Oh, no. <laughs> You're going to take the Brooks way out? I did I did it. I'm here. Waffles. Uh, yay. But you were, you were thinking about it. I considered it. I also was considering it for the sake of my sleep. Huh, let me tell you <sighs> about the sake of people's sleep. The only thing I know about this movie is that it's a spy movie, which I only know because everyone told me that's the case. I know nothing else. My feelings on Cars 2, uh, I, despite what you might think about me, I actually don't hate this movie. I, I don't harbor even a single negative emotion towards it at all. I, w I would rather watch this than a lot of other Pixar movies just because I find it so endlessly entertaining to watch, so I'm very much looking forward to seeing it today. And Michael Giacchino's score is is god tier. He's a musical mastermind, and it, it, it just makes a Lightyear's soundtrack even more baffling. Yeah, he, he's so good that he knows exactly what music to play over Mater sitting on a Japanese toilet. Well, let's... <laughs> oh my god. Well, without further... On that note, is everyone ready to press play? I am so ready. I'm um, Ready to go ready uh, debatable. All right. Yeah, sure right. We play on go. Three, two, one, go. Oh no, my computer broke. What a travesty. Oh no. You can tell this is worse than the first one already by the fact that the Disney logo changed. I feel like we've talked about it to death, but I really just, I'm, I vastly prefer the simplicity of the original Disney logo. And also, also yeah. the length of the original too is nice instead of having to wait for this. Pixar's logo is, is and then, timeless and then, though. Yeah, and then, and then you got Pixar's logo, which is so good that they have literally never changed it. The day they change the logo is the day we riot. I have a Cars dum, 2 dum, bed dum. I still, to this day, I still have a Cars 2 bed sheet. I do not, but I do still have my Toy Story bed sheets when I was a kid. Also a Cars 2 pillowcase, but I don't use that. I really want to know what, like, why this is a spy movie. Uh, I'll tell you why, because John Lasseter wanted to make a spy movie. So I guess that's all it takes. The more baffling question is then, why is this a Cars movie? 
all. So basically what happened was John Lasseter was tripping on drugs. All right, he was just, he was on everything, you know. He was on the blue stuff, the green stuff, the red stuff, yellow stuff, you name it. It was tight, tight, tight. He was on everything the stuff, all the stuff. Tight, tight, tight. Oh dear. Whatever, man, just keep bringing me that. Blue, Six, yellow, red, seven, pink, whatever. You mix blue, yellow, pink. Oh, you just bring me more of that, man. Whoa. Honestly, I think one of the biggest reasons why people didn't like Cars 2 is mainly just because it's so divorced from the first movie. Because the first movie is so dumb. The, the first movie is a very low stakes, very grounded personal character study, essentially. Whereas this movie is much more balls to the walls, much more out there. So, for, for yeah, yeah, you can say that. Yeah, that's it, kind of comes with the territory of com completely changing the genre of your series. How, how, how did it get up there? Up there? <laughs> Uh, I have no idea. Oh my god, yeah, there we go with all this bullshit right here. Cars 1 ends, you're like, okay, I wonder what these characters are gonna do now. There's like room for them to grow. Oh, we're looking at talking cars in a fucking spy movie. I, I just checked my email. You called it Life is Indeed a Highway. <laughs> <laughs> I am gonna have to restrain the urge to say this, so I'm just gonna say a blanket statement. I love the soundtrack. Look, I love Randy Newman and all, but man, he can't hold he, a candle. He's, he's no Michael Giacchino, that's... Yeah, you you definitely do not have a friend like Michael Giacchino. I haven't I haven't listened to the director's commentary for Curse 2, but I kind of want to, just out of curiosity. Is Finn McMissile voiced by Michael Caine? Yes. <laughs> Holy shit. We were just very, very drunk. Well, the thing is, apparently... I mean, I mean obviously, I, they weren't expecting this to be negatively received. John, they really thought they made Wait, something. no, my audio cut out. They, they really... My audio's back. Cool. Leave it to Waffles. <laughs> Uh, what the hell? Well, so here's I actually appreciate the level of detail they put into how it how a car could feasibly do the things that they do here. Yeah, I mean I, Neil's probably more knowledgeable about the mechanics of how that could feasibly work, but I I am at least impressed with the the detail in terms of how they how how they oh how unlucky how, how they seem doesn't doesn't that car die in this intro? How they he just died right there. How they seamless yeah, yeah. how they seamlessly incorporated oh. all the <laughs> all the spy gadgets. That would explain why I just randomly remembered that. How they yeah. seamlessly incorporated the design of the spy gadgets into the design da, of the da, 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 da. The core melody is just too good. Yeah, it's great. It, it's fantastic. It's immediately memorable. Also, the oil slick looks, well, slick. Yeah, oil on a track will definitely send you into a wall. And so he goes dead. Game over, yeah! Forgot, forgot, you mentioned, yes. you mentioned a car dies in this intro. How about several cars dying in yeah. this intro? How many, yes, yeah, so Trevor, how many cars die in this intro? Yes. The answer, yeah, yes. yes. Th specifically, this spiral staircase, I remember. Oh, God, yeah, he's only gonna blow the fuck up. Bad things are about to happen to the people on oh. this ramp. Bad oh, oh, things boy. are happening. Oh, oh, boy. That's a lot of cars. That's a lot of death right there. That is a lot of death. That's a lot no. of damage. How did that shame even go out like that? Why was- why did they just decide to go, like, completely different direction for this movie? I'm pretty sure the reasoning goes no deeper than John Lasseter loves cars and he loves spy movies and he wanted to fuse his two loves together into a car spy movie. This was a, originally, like, a scene in the first movie, where, like, they're just watching a, a spy movie about cars, and I guess he decided, yep, let's make the whole movie like that. Yeah, it's- it is really no deeper than the cocaine that John Lasseter had. You know how I mentioned in the first first movie that it's there there is more thematic relevance to the cars being cars than just we wanted to make a talking car movie yeah i can't really say the same thing about cars 2 because yeah. they kind of just are like how can we make cars do all this stuff and they don't always have a great answer we need all the cool gadgets to sell all the cool toys you know i find myself wondering if, if they, yeah he's, he's he's very dead I, I find myself wondering if they marketed cars 2 as a major spin-off movie instead of cars 2 would it have been received any better than it was it would have been received so much better yeah. But considering, like, I imagine people, you know, what people say about Mater, they still said at the time, so maybe they didn't want to promote this as a Mater spin-off thing. Cars 2 will just make a shitload of more money. Well, I'm sure that's the same reason why they marketed Life is Strange 2 as Life is Strange 2, even though it's not even kind of a sequel nice. to Life is Strange. No, they just put in random bullshit in the last chapter. Oh yeah, they, they shove one of the characters in from the first game, and then a couple pictures and, uh, 
journal entries or whatever. I haven't played Life is Strange 2, so I'll take your word for it. I haven't even played a Life is Strange game. Honestly, Life is Strange is one of those games that I can't fully recommend just because the ending... I don't like Life is Strange's ending choices. Yeah, the two of them. Don't you love good things with bad endings? Life is Strange 2, I don't know if, if I think that Life is Strange 1's ending is worse or Life is Strange 2. The Life is Strange 2, it depends because there's four of them and they all suck for different reasons. Yes, that's the thing. I also don't like it when choice-driven games make everything irrelevant except for the very last choice, so you literally just get to pick your ending. By Life is Strange 2, that's not entirely the case, but yeah, right, not, right. It's not 50%. It's, you make one choice in the, in the ending, and then how you treated Daniel impacts how each of those ending choices branch out, but it's better than Life is Strange 1 in terms of choices, but... Yeah, that's why games like Until Dawn, right? That's why those games are good. Yeah, until I love Until Dawn. It's really campy, kind of cheesy, but your choices actually matter in that game, and I really love love the atmosphere. Anyway, uh, Mater almost committed homicide several times in that scene. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, but I noticed. Uh, was that supposed to be a funny... I movie? believe so. He was so. trying to help. Something changed about the animation. Five years passed between the movies? Yeah, basically. I know it sounds obvious, but the, the models are more refined. The colors... I think the colors are a bit more striking. I, I, yeah. yeah. And, and just the, the reflections are way better. Yes, yes, yes. Ref they were way too over the top, I'd say, in the first movie. Also, it's nice to see Radiator Springs in higher quality. I thought you were just going to say it's nice to see Radiator Springs. Yeah, oh, yeah. In higher quality? What about... Very shit bit rate. Well, I have good bit rate. See, I'm just watching it off the Blu-ray, so it's more, it's lossless yeah. for me. I'm on streaming app. Disney Plus. Oh. The app I'm way too lazy to actually get on. And then you end up accidentally watching a different episode. Why do you guys keep talking about it? Like it was a one-time thing. Okay, Waffles, I'll make you a deal. I will stop referencing that if you stop referencing shoving things down people's throats, getting people's addresses, and life is a dream, and everything else. Ooh. Wait, but life is a dream? That one too? Yes. Yeah. It's one-time offer. Take it or leave it. Fine. All right. I take it. All right. The records are sealed. I will never mention it again. Can we talk? about how the Colossus truck is literally just dead right now. Yeah, like he's yeah, never he getting up again. It's like the it's like the yeah. elephant in Halo 3. Once you flip it, you're never flipping it back over again. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, the third wheel. I've never actually read what's on Mater's balloon before. Where did he get that balloon from? Uh, the Blue's Big City Adventure. I don't know. By the way, I, um, after FG mentioned that the balloons look like CGI, I went back and looked at those scenes, and they do look like CGI. Like, They're they, they, they don't, every, they don't move I mean, Trevor, like balloons do. See, I, I was right. I was like, when balloons? I was watching that, I'm like, those balloons do not look right. That would, that would make sense though, Trevor, because the, the balloons are perfectly spelling out their name, and it'd be hard to do that. Well, they sell letter balloons. Yeah, they do. Do. They couldn't spend your budget on balloons, even though it would have been arguably cheaper. I mentioned a Mater might have committed a homicide earlier. I like the idea that he just murdered the waiter so that he could take his spot. Oh, I, mur I murdered oh, the okay. waiter. Mater means murdering the waiter. It's short yeah. form. Whoever was supposed to take the shift tonight just got decked. And then Mater took his spot so he could it's like spit. hello tonight on the Mel Dorado show, oil billionaire Miles Axelrod in an attempt to become the first car to circumnavigate the globe, ironically ran out of gas. He emerged 36 days later, running out of fuel. He distilled himself from the natural elements. He sold his oil fortune, converted himself from a gas guzzler into an electric car, and devoted his life to finding a renewable, clean burning fuel. Now he claims to have done it with his all in all. You know what? I'm not going to. I'm not going to go down the whole electric car conversion thing. Did, did you, did, 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 did something just, were you reminded of how this movie ends and you, your brain started? Yeah. No, I, I remember how this movie ends in, in terribly vivid fashion. Alternative energy is the future. No. After seeing All in All in action at the World Grand Prix, nobody will ever go back to gasoline again. I, I, I just remembered what the stupidest part of this movie is. Oh, oh, did you now? Did you now? What, what's the, please do tell, what, what's the stupidest part of Cars 2? The entire freaking... Why was this the villain's plot? Why was this your way to get people to go along with what you wanted to do? You had so many other options. This was the overly complicated one. Like, why? I'll get to there when we get to there. Brooks was typing something and then he stopped. Oh, he hey, does. everyone! Oh, and now, well, now he's... Me. Welcome, Brooks. Hello, hey, are you joining us? Yeah. Brooks, you told us that you weren't gonna be here for... But yes. You said you weren't gonna be here. You're welcome to join us if you want. So can we all vote Brooks to be like, I think he's the best commentator here. I mean, it's definitely not you, so it might be bro. He is the- what do you mean it is not me? I mean, it's not you. Uh, of course it's me. I would never choose a favorite between all my fellow co-commentators. Yeah, I would- I would never choose a favorite, but I can definitely say my least favorite is Waffles. What do you mean? <laughs> what is wrong- what- uh, Wow.
Let's see how it is. Well, the thing is, you. E e what, what I really like about the team we have is that everyone brings something unique to the to the commentaries. So I don't really have a favorite. I mean, I I can say that messing up the entire commentary by picking the wrong episode is <laughs> unique. <laughs> uh, can I, do I have to make a deal for Vert too to make him stop mentioning it? I I take no responsibility for what anyone anyone else wants to mention. I can only hold myself accountable. Waffles, waffles. I'll make a deal. I'll stop roasting you if you leave the commentary for the rest of the movie. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> that's just no, that's just me. I'll stop mentioning the Disney Plus thing if you actually start logging into Disney Plus. Okay, 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 here's the deal I'll watch movies of your choice. How many? Daddy. Oh shit, for what? How'd you like to come and see the world with me? You mean it? Yeah. Okay, can, can, we, can we set this up later while we're not watching Cars 2? No. Yeah, like there's kind of like a car drinking alcohol right now on the yeah, screen. Not, not important. Not even that. He, he drank it and spit it back into the glass and then, then served it to McQueen like nothing happened. <laughs> Really, all the all the cars. E you know what? Even cars on the road. I really like the not truck related lyrical musical numbers. <laughs> yeah, I like how there's just like there's just like cars in an airplane. I you know I somewhat feel like the lanes aren't wide enough for cars to actually navigate that plane in anything close to an efficient manner. Yeah. Ah, Tokyo Tower. I don't really have any aspirations to travel the world. I just it's never been. Yeah. But if there was one place I would ever want to visit, Japan, Japan. might be one of them. Yeah. Oh, same. Yeah. So are the cars in the Cars movie, like, manufactured and that's how they- when they become alive, or are they, like, made or something? I would like to remind you that we made an agreement in movie one that we were not going to question the world building of Cars, because that only No, we're questioning the world building of Cars. No, no, like, no, but Cars on the, the road shows them as, like, dinosaurs, and then we have a- then, like, yeah, well, I believe it was from, cars? like, movie one that they were man- it's implied that they would be manufactured, so- We're on the sumo- Japan. We're in Japan, yes, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, just to make sure it didn't no, stop while I was going. We're now on the red carpet at the World Grand Prix. I see. I've missed the entire movie. Honestly, you haven't missed much. You you missed probably the the least interesting part yeah, of Cars. Yeah, you could you could you could skip the entire movie. You still haven't missed much. Right now, <laughs> you you've actually missed the most important part. Oh, did I now? Yes. Avert, you're with me, right? You missed the most important part of the movie. Yeah, the alcohol. Yeah. Oh, my cat has entered my room somehow, and now now she's climbing into my in my clothing closet. It's cool how we got Hamilton and Gordon on this movie. I'm assuming that those are represented by the yellow and black cars right there. Yeah, Lewis yeah. Hamilton's the black car, and Jeff Gordon's the Corvette. Leo. Gotcha. Wait, how do you know this? Because they just said their names. Real. <laughs> Take a guess. He just called them. Jeff and well, he just called them. Their well, names. so what? What I will say is like that he referred to them by first names, but if you if you aren't well versed, you you won't know. Yeah, the eight the eight card. No, the I know he was referencing, was, uh, but I d I did Arnold. not know this. Oh, see, I did I did not know who he was referencing. I am not I'm not up on my 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 car lore. Well, Lewis Hamilton's like one of the best, or not? I guess you could say best. One of the best um, F1 drivers on Mercedes, and Jeff Gordon's a NASCAR driver. I I'm certain that they are the best of the best in their field. I just I don't keep up with the. Uh, yeah, 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 I'm just giving context. Yeah, and, and that is Meteor. much appreciated. Because I genuinely, f I ever since the movie came out, I did not know who they were supposed to be. So now, now I know. Now the more you know, I learned something new about Cars Two today. And this, I guess, it might be better to bring this up in Cars Three. But I, I wish there was actually a consistent team that McQueen had or a group of friends he had, because the whole things with car with his friends in Cars Three really would have hit a lot stronger if if we knew them for more than just the first ten minutes of the movie. But well, <laughs> yeah. we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Hey, you mind if I borrow a few bucks for one of them drinks? They're free, Mater. Free? Well, she's free. I love free. It's free. Low, 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 low price of free. If things are free, it tends to be very expensive indirectly, though. Joe McQueen. So getting beat tomorrow. Someone has a vengeance. Part of me also wishes Cars 2 just focused 100% on the World Grand Prix side of the story. Yeah. I think part of this is this movie's a bit, like, too crowded. Well, the way I would have I would have solved this is that I would have done done what Phineas and Ferb does with Bubble Boys and Isabella and the Temple of Sap, where Cars 2 is about the World Grand Prix and Lightning's journey there. Then you make a Mayor spin-off, and you make it, you can even have it tie into the events of this movie, like Isabella and the Temple of Sap ties into Bubble Boys. So you can- Well, like Lion King one and a half. Or that. So you can have both sides of the story. I just, I mean, I, I, know, I know the spy story is directly intertwined with the World Grand Prix, but it's just tonally, it's- 
I don't know. Yeah, the reflections on the cars, they look beautiful in this movie. Yeah, the entire budget went to the reflection. Well, I mean, the, the whole movie looks good, so the budget went everywhere. Just not in a, a good chunk of the writing. Some of the writing is still alright. Oh no. Trouble is afoot. Change of plan. You're meeting the American. What? If they see me, the whole mission is compromised. No, no, I'm technical. I'm in diagnostic. I'm not a field agent. You are now. And you are in the field because... I think <laughs> yeah, the problem with Cars 2 is not that it's a bad movie. It's that it's oh, two yeah. movies I mean, in no, one. Actually, well, the other time I watched it, it just has like a 20... What were you saying, FG? I said, the problem with Cars 2 isn't it, is that it's a bad movie. It's that it's two movies in one. And none of those movies are particularly good. But they could have been great if they dialed in on them. The World Grand Prix stuff could have been excellent if that would have been the whole movie. Or vice versa. But it's... The way they try to mesh them together doesn't work out all that well. And professionalism to this competition. Oh! I'm gonna give you water! Oh! Oh! Wait, really? Wait, really? Do not eat the free pistachio ice cream! Cringe. Oh my god. Ah, he's a little excited, isn't he? How did that happen? Yeah, they, they kind of cheat with where that's shown. Like, it's it's clearly not actually below him. Yeah. Oh, and also this is gonna be... Oh boy. This is not and funny. This is, and, and, and this is gonna be when... Yeah, what? every time they add to the world building, cool. I hate it. Like, they just relearn that car's piss oil. Like, that alone opens up a whole new world. Oh, no. They have the entire fucking toilet headquarters in here. <laughs> fucking car wife food. This waterfall will symbolize you pissing. I was gonna say this is my first introduction to the world of anime, but I, as I said a lot, I'm realizing that's probably Phineas and Ferb with the J-pop Welcome to Tokyo song which oh, Summer Belongs God, to uh, You. Yeah. Oh yeah, perfect place to take off to your disguise. Sorry. I mean, it's not like you can clearly see the one that's being in use. Also, what, did I just not see all the other guys leave How does this go wrong again? It is kind of weird that he takes off his disguise before he... Before. Yeah, right before he's ambushed, right? Very intelligent. How many cars die in this movie? Well, uh, we should have a kill count. Let's just say that the, the scrapyard got a lot of new metal after this movie concluded. <laughs> Brooks' first contribution to, the, to this commentary. Oh, yeah, Whoa. He's here. Well, hello. A Volkswagen Common Gear has no radiator. Well, of course it doesn't. That's because it's air cooled. <sighs> it's very convenient that the, the secret code word is <laughs> is something that Mater would specifically have knowledge about. I mean, he is a tow truck. No, no, the problem is that he wouldn't have knowledge about that stuff. What's convenient is that it's that. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not saying Mater wouldn't know it. I'm saying that of all the things they could have chosen to have the secret message be, it's something that oh. Mater is knowledgeable about. Like, it could have been about anything, but it happens to be something that he can accidentally say to make Holly think he's the secret agent. I just don't believe you. Well, believe it. Hey! Hey, lady! Mm, this is great. Smart. You're so smart. Well, I mean, he has... Uh, he's not... Exactly. That, that, that's, it, like, I'm okay with him. I, what I'm not okay with is, well, it's still not, not that bad, but the longer the film goes on, the longer you're like, yeah, you should notice that he's not the fucking agent. Right now, I think it's fine that she doesn't think anything's amiss. But, like, in a little bit. Well, I think the part where she should have figured out that, she, that he's not really a spy is the part where he says, Oh, wait, you guys are you guys are spies? Huh. Don't worry, she'll figure out within an hour, 15 minutes, and 13 seconds. <laughs> Apparently, they, eat the, uh, they ADR'd the scene. It was originally going to be that the camera... When hit with a blast of radiation, it becomes extremely dangerous. This camera... It's actually an electromagnetic radiation emitter. But then there was some sensitivity around that time to radiation and radiation explosions, and especially this is a scene that was taking place in Japan, so we just were at the very last second trying to go in and fix a line of dialogue. So they change it to be a... This camera is actually an electromagnetic pulse emitter. Uh, so. And you know a lot about Cars 2 lore. I, I just know a decent bit about Pixar stuff in general. Wait, now that I think about it, so let's say I have Kane and that there's electric cars around. What did the electric cars piss? You're asking too many questions. I, I need to know. I don't, I'm sorry to t tell you this, but I don't have the answer for you. <laughs> Imagine not having the answers to knowing what the electric cars would piss. I, 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 I just, I... Okay, this right here. Uh... 
Eh, I feel like he will try to hide it a bit hide better than those. that. Yeah. Yeah. Because like he, he he did a great job of throwing them off all the other guys, but as soon as Mater pops up, he's like he's the most obvious. Conveniently. Tell, the yeah. most obvious tell in the world. And boom! I like this though. Like the way this show he fucking. Oh yeah, like, I, I like explodes. this shot's really cool. I like the shot. I li I also like seeing Mater on fire. Also, yeah, we literally just saw this, the car explode. How many gonna... cars were violently murdered in the making of Cars Two? Yeah. You're just gonna show Finn McMissile's body count on the bottom right. Corner. Dun 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. That means I have to count all every single one of those cars on the yes, spiral staircase. We need to have yeah. a we need scene. to have a body count. <laughs> Trevor, you've already lost one night of sleep. You don't need to lose another. No, I I'm I am going to bed tonight at a decent hour after I the only Good. Yeah. The only thing I need to do tonight is I need to record commentary for my Infinite video. Which maybe it'll be out. Maybe that video will be out by the time this video comes out. Who knows? <laughs> uh, nope. It's time to find out. The racers are locking into the grid. And then they casually murder one of them. No one ever actually dies by the camera. They're just... Except that guy. Right, yeah, except they for that guy. They just get horribly maimed. I am the one to... People speed. Oh, Francesco likes this McQueen. Shut up, Francesco. I, I was gonna try to roll my R's, but then I realized I can't do that, so I'm not even gonna bother. It's not. I'm just. Hey, Brooks, can you can, you can roll your R's, right? Brooks. Brooks. Great contribution to the commentary, Brooks. I'm I'm, I'm just amazed. All right, I think Brooks is dead. He has been annihilated. He got hit by the camera. No, Brooks was one of the cars from earlier, and I got killed. Oh. No, Brooks. Brooks. Brooks! Is there like a specific rule that like, normally like the people on like the side for these type of things would have to like dress a certain way to like represent the car idea for it? Like I'm trying to figure out if that would be allowed for them to just not look at anything, have like any of the cutters. How? And stuff. I really don't understand how it took them so long to figure out that he wasn't the spy. Because, because they're very they're stupid. All yeah. And yet they're uh, spies! Who wants, wants us to think they're very intelligent? But to answer your question, Waffles, they are all branded on the- if you look at- uh, they all have the 95 insignia on the side of their vehicle, so I'm get- that's probably enough to qualify them as being dressed up as- as being part of Team McQueen. I- I doubt they'd be forced to paint themselves to match the color of their- yeah. Trevor, didn't they- didn't they establish in, like, the third movie that you just need to have the number? Which is- uh, that's another- yeah. Plot contrivance! That's it's like Cars 3's ending is so good from a character perspective, but if you actually think about the logistics, it's it. I don't. It's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. I don't know what. It, I, I I talk a little bit about that in the Cars on the Road video. That damn well better be out by the time this video goes up. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it better be. We're expecting what it now. Cars on the Road video. Oh, I got attacked by my cat. Wonderful. So your your cat's trying to save you. Your cat's like, no, oh, man, no. don't watch cars too, man. It it was funny because she it, she attacked my my mouse instead of my arm. So it kind of was as if she wanted to stop the video from playing. Can you imagine trying to navigate a computer mouse with a car tire? <laughs> yeah, you just have to use the steering wheel as a trackball. Wow, some of them founders is really loud. Can you hear? Okay, so this shit right here with the radio. Oh my god! How does it? How did it work? Well, it who doesn't. The fucking radio. So here's, I, I, I can believe that they have the ability to tap into Mater's radio. However, if they can do that, should McQueen not also be able to hear the other side of this conversation? Not to mention, if he doesn't know how radio works, why is he even wearing the fucking thing in the first place? Unless I remember wrong. He's gonna think that he's like psychic or some shit. But you're dead. Then this should yeah, my, my death, yeah, my my death was greatly exaggerated. You know, I think this might be the only movie I've seen of Michael Caine in. You haven't seen the Batman Dark Knight trilogy? Nope, never. Nope. Oh wow. He's seen the Batman. Which was fantastic, and I somehow doubt any other Batman movie will be able to Anyone dethrone that. Stay outside, got you. Okay, that this shit. Like, why why would you listen to what? <laughs> what? I, okay, I mean, Trevor, Michael Caine is gonna be one, one of the movies that I recommended you. But also, I, I, so, if you listen, mm -hmm. if you listen closely to what he said, what Holly told Mater to do was just keep moving. Mm -hmm. and, and Mater's response to that was, stay outside, gotcha. Mitch McQueen then interpreted as Mater telling him to go outside, 
What she listened to? Yeah, I, for I forgot about that. Uh, this part. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's very fucking dumb. There's a lot of layers to why this doesn't work. Oh wait, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. I forgot. He's in uh, Nice See Me Too. I had I, Michael Caine is in Nice See Me Too. I've seen that, and the first one, obviously. Are those any good? They're fun to watch. They don't make much sense, but they're fun to watch. Now you see me too. He just told Mater to get off. Aw. It's also so the other thing. When the conversation first started, McQueen said, Guys, there's too much chatter, let's keep this line clear. Which you'd think means he was able to hear both Mater and Holly. Otherwise, why wouldn't he just be like, Why are you talking to yourself? What the fuck is wrong with you? Dad gum, did I miss our day? What day? It was the Spider Man swinging. Literally a Spider Man swing into the camera. <laughs> I really don't think McQueen should would have listened to Mater. With all his experience in the world of racing, I don't believe that Mater simply telling him to stay outside. Immediately? Yeah, that's not something. Especially because he said, Stay outside. He, he wasn't all already outside. Stay is a word you use if you are already current <laughs> doing something, which he wasn't. Why were you yelling things at me while I was racing? Why did you listen to the things he was yelling at you? Why are we, why are we watching this movie? Wait, we're already 40 minutes in? How the f yep. did that happen? Wait, what? how are we almost halfway? <laughs> that doesn't- Because this is a very short movie, apparently. Oh well, no, it's one hour and 46 minutes. It seems like ever. Maybe it's because Cars 1 was longer? I think Cars is actually Pixar's longest movie. It's almost two hours long. Is it? Is it? I'm pretty sure. If you don't count the credits, I'm pretty sure Cars 1 is Pixar's longest film. I need to double check uh, that though. And of course, as usual, I'll put it up on screen if I'm wrong. Oh, Brooks, you're back. Yeah. Hey, hey, Brooks, can you roll your R's? There we go. Can you say Francesco Bernoulli's name like that? Francesco. There you go. Where's the Bernoulli? Uh, I signed up for a Bernoulli books. I don't understand the motivation of this villain. And why this is his plan? So he could sell more gas. Wait, what company that he's the the one that he sold? Look, you mean the one that he probably made? He probably like put it into like a private shell corporation. Still owns it. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yes, my favorite Dutch cor corporation, the shell company. That's what that's what billionaires do. They make a shell company that buys it, and you know. I... Finn Mac missile, British intelligence. Co-made. Average intelligence. How did you not figure it out here? I am AAA affiliate. See, Mater never lies here. They're just really bad at their job, apparently. Bro, they are- they're stupider than Mater. So somehow. I don't know how you write a movie where everyone around- where Mater is the smartest character. But they did. Yeah, literally, the smartest, literally is. But he's not as dumb as these- I'm the smartest character in the whole movie! Na name there. one character in this movie that's smarter than Mater, go. Sally. The, the Japanese toilet character is smarter. I don't know that Sally does anything in this movie that warrants that. The plane. Oh. Right, he he perfectly eyeballs the suicide oh, squad yeah. shot. Okay, no, he's definitely smarter than Tomator if he can make that shot. That's like straight. I... Did, did, <laughs> uh, FG, did you know that the suicide squad actually took inspiration from Cars 2 for the final battle? <laughs> oh, what? really? Yes. They did? No, I'm memeing, but. Please tell me more. No, that, I imagine you're not actually memeing, and that's actually true. We just don't know what you he's think. He's seen you're the memeing. Suicide Squad and the Batman. We watched it on one sitting. One of those is significantly better than the other. That is true. We didn't watch the original Suicide Squad. And I a, refuse to show him that you one. Will, I, I will never watch the original Suicide Squad. You cannot make me watch that movie. I don't think I want to watch it. Okay, we need an audio though. commentary of the original Suicide Squad. I'm not Squad. doing an audio double commentary feature, of the original Double feature! Double feature! We're no, watching thank the Suicide you. Squad, and then we're gonna force Trevor to play the Suicide Squad game. I am unironically probably gonna scream Kill the Justice League when it comes out. Oh, I'll watch that. Yeah, we gotta do a Suicide Squad double feature where Trevor watches Jared Leto Joker. Alright, so in preparation for the stream dub, we're gonna watch the two Suicide Squad movies, right? I'm I've done. already oh, seen how them. How the fuck? Hold on, guys, guys, how the fuck did Mater write that? I, um... Uh, how the uh, actual he fuck? He used his tongue How do your pens work in this universe? His mouth. He used his tongue to just... <laughs> on the paper and then get it done. PP is this funny right there. Uh, At least we know he's okay. And now we all get to watch this, the real entertaining plot. Like that was... Oh, I gotta go to a doctor. Keep getting these sharp pains in my undercarriage. This here is Finn McSumpton Run. He's a first class VIP airport whatchamacallit. Kill me! I also consider this photo to be a blatant cheat. Oh, yeah. Because he's not blue. Yeah, this is a cheat. Also, I, li I like how the like the big thing he's gonna point out, like Ace Attorney style, is that's is like the, the type of parts. But like, look at the fucking photo. That's all there is. 
I, I, but it's all that's in this fucking called? photo. I don't think that's blue. I think that's the sheets the mechanics use to be able to lean on your car. Sure, but like even the, like the the inside of the the thing you open it still looks blue. The, the other thing to point out is that this looks exactly the same as later in the movie when they do pop Axel Rod's uh, spoiler alert. Axel Rod's the villain. If you didn't know that. Oh yeah, really. I, I haven't been complaining about the plot of this movie uh, and yeah, the villain. If you didn't know that, uh, congrats on your fifth birthday. But later, when they finally pop his hood and they reveal, it's like it's a perfect match. Because I, I, so I don't think that in that photo there are the sheets. Like when, when they pop the hood at the end, there's no sheets covering him, and it's just a one-to-one -one match. So it just seems like they artificially changed the color of the car for this photo. No, no, they use the sheets when they're working on him. So it looks like they were working on him. But, but what I mean is no no he he means that, that like you open the thing and it still and it still looks like what you say are the cheats they're just not blue anymore so I don't think that those are cheats at all I think that's what he's trying to say uh, but we'll, we'll get that we'll get there also we we kind of talked over but Mater literally just said I mean like insurance ain't like a good good neighbor Mater is there wait you mean secret agent. You guys are spies. That's the point when you realize you guys are spies the whole time. Wait, you're a spy too. Yes. Oh, I'm just a tow truck. No, he, he, yeah, he even literally says, okay. Oh, great. Now we're randomly embarrassed. It's not randomly. It's where the, the next thing is going to take place. This entire movie is just like made her like, I'm literally just a tow truck. Like, yeah, we get it. You're and no just one believing him for some reason. No, great. Now I just want to rewatch for that too. Yeah, yeah. fan. We're not here to go shopping. As if that's what Mater was doing behind the, the dumpster. Dumpster? Shopping. It's like, eh, oh, those American. Oh, those Americans. <laughs> yeah, I bought two of them dead rats in that dumpster. Oh, are you ready to see the most disturbing thing in the entire Cars trilogy? Oh, I think we've Jesus. already seen it on no, you when they posted it. No, you haven't. Stop. Why? 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 Just why? Why? Why would what? you do that? I, I, I guess it's to make an argument of why they have the eyes on the window as a design decision, but still, Jesus. That. And they caught oh, the spy right, instead! Then, that's how that reflection works. That, that's like, that's zoom and enhance vision right there. Oh yeah. I'll... Also, um, avert that image is in the Cars on the Road video. Oh, no. Okay, well then put it in here anyway. The audience needs to see it two times in one week. How? Oh yeah, I know what, what you're talking oh about. Oh my god, that is awful. Is that canon? I don't want to know. You rusty piece of junk! Get you dirty hook of me! You're that fly! I want to point out real quick. So, Finn was like, e easy, she didn't know you were my informant. Why didn't you tell her before you got here, your oh, informant? Also, what was the deal with all that chase? If it's not to raise suspicion, I, I don't know, you really don't- Why are you trying to apply logic there. to this movie? Because it's a spy movie, it should have logic for it to work in the first place. Okay, how many how many spy movies out there have logic? Do you oh, uh, all of them should. You want to watch a really great spy movie that makes complete sense? Mission Impossible Fallout. Genuinely I phenomenal. I agree. The, but the, the thing about that is you have to watch do a bunch of mid to like good movies. You you say that, but here's the thing. I think you can watch it without watching any of the others, and you'll still love it. You, you might, but you should still watch the other Mission Impossibles to get, like... You see, there, there are some emotional beats that really only yeah. land. At least Rogue Nation specifically, I think. Rogue Nation and, I guess, the third movie. My parents' favorite Mission Impossible was the third one. Uh, I've heard a lot of people love the third one. Third one's good, but, like, I don't... It's, I don't see why people would think it's the best. If I were to guess, I'd say it's probably because of the emotional core, the final section revolving around that. Or it's probably the action scene. The, bri the bridge scene as well. The bridge scene is up there. Yeah, but that helicopter scene at the end of Fallout is the best thing in Mission Impossible. Scene. The entire final act of Mission Impossible. I just want to go so watch Fallout now. Oh god. Can you, you want to do a Fallout audio commentary? Let's do all the Mission Impossibles back to back. Oh my god. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up with your back to back bullshit. If it's more than free, then no. No one human was, ma uh, was made to withstand this many talking car movies. I watched all the Harry Potter movies in one sitting. What the? I don't why? What the? Okay. Hey, so OJ, you're, you're complaining about a measly three movies when you watched the entire fucking Harry Potter series in one you, day. I, I already said that I fell asleep during movie four. Did, forgot, forgot, didn't you tell me in high school that some nutjob theater had a marathon of all the MCU movies leading up to Endgame? Who 
the yes. fuck is sitting through that? <laughs> who in the right goddamn mind is like, I'm going to sit through Thor Dark World in the same why? sitting as Captain Marvel. How long would that be? Way too goddamn long sitting. is the answer. Now we have to do all the MCU movies in one sitting. No! <laughs> There's an idea. <laughs> Trevor hasn't seen Eternals yet. When's that audio commentary happening? No, I refuse to watch Eternals again. And if Forgetful Gal doesn't want to watch an MCU movie again, you know something has gone horribly wrong. If she doesn't want to watch Whoa. an MCU video again, that movie is the worst thing I'll ever put on this planet. <laughs> I refuse to watch Eternals again. To get, to get you caught up on the lore, Avert has referred to Eternals as the eternal runtime of the plotless grind. He hates it so much. <laughs> I refer to it as a artsy movie masquerading as a action movie and doing no, a really no, no, bad it's job the other at way it. Around. It's an action movie masquerading as an art movie. <laughs> oh, okay, you know, yeah, I like that better. You know what it is? You know what it is? It's a bunch of degeneracy masquerading as a movie. That's what it is. <laughs> It pretends it's a movie when it's just a clusterfuck of CGI. Oh, so Anyway, God. we're watching Cars 2, aren't we? Why are you yeah, yeah, yeah. Cars 2's happening, by the way. I got so whipped up in my rage of Eternals that I didn't even realize that talking car spy shit. I looked it up. Apparently, it'll take you more than two days to finish it. Why? Why would anybody? You guys have 48 hours of spare time, right? Trevor's already willing to not go to sleep for one night. Let's just push Ugh. the barrier to two. I have class. Push the envelope. Class. Pfft, imagine class. Just go to your teacher and be like, hey, I need to watch every MCU movie in one sitting. My teacher would call me insane. Well, I mean, you probably are if you do do it. Cars dancing is more disturbing than I uh, could have imagined. Oh, oh boy, you would love Cars on oh, the Road. I bet you the whole thing. God. So, Mater, it's voice activated. But, you know. Everything's voice activated these days. Mm. That's a surprise tool that will help us later. Oh, right. You want to say that you have voice activation that actually works? The blue mater looks like Steve Harvey, I'm sorry. It literally looks like Steve Harvey. Aye, aye, aye. Steve Harvey? <laughs> what? What are you doing? The disguise won't calibrate effectively without a smooth surface to graft on. You get them dance buff, pulled, filled, or painted by nobody. They way too valuable. I come by each one of them with my best friend, Lightning McQueen. I don't fix these. I want to remember these dance forever. You were being serious in Paris. McQueen isn't just part of your cover. Oh, are they finally going to figure out that they're dumb as fuck? They're finally going to take an IQ test and realize that they got negative I numbers. You look a little light on weapons. Like, M Mater was des- like, it's almost he was desperately begging them, please. I'm a fucking- I'm not a spy, you dumb fuck! <laughs> <laughs> he was- he, Basically. He was like, no guys, re he's really my friend, like, I'm really just oh, a tow I truck, know, guys. I know, I know, I know, I'm really just a flight to- No, you bitch, I'm literally a tow truck, you damn it, damn it. Oh my god, the car pope! Car Jesus or something? I think there has what? to be. Like, there logically has to be. If, there, if there's a car pope, there logically has to be a car Jesus. So, how did they car <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Don't. Yeah, in the name of your lord, I hope that you give us all rooms for years to come. Please bless my oil. If you're worried about your fuel, man, don't. It's perfectly safe. That's a surprise tool. Help us later. I, I love how yeah. on the main poster for Cars 2, McQueen is the most prominently displayed despite being the least <laughs> important character. I've never seen the car. I don't know. What does the car suit poster look like? Uh, let me look at my wall and I'll tell you. It looks it's like... It's really forgettable. It's a generic spy poster. It, it's it's the globe in the background with the continents that are shaped like the different cars, and then they're all heroically driving towards the camera. It's on a, it's on a tilted Dutch angle. Mm. Yeah, of course it is. It's really, really basic. I, I like how no one even questioned why I even have a car suit poster on my wall. Yeah, I, we're you're, not. You're the picture guy. I, I just assume you have... Every movie poster in your wall. Wait, did you did you even say it was did you even say it was on your wall? I just assumed you Googled it. No, he, he said no, it was he on his wall. It was on his wall. Yeah. Oh. So I I didn't consciously choose to get this poster. It just I don't know if it was a gifted or if it was like a bonus reward for seeing the movie or if it was through Disney movie rewards or something. But through some means that were not. Why would this be a bonus reward for seeing? Was the that movie? was that a, was that a fan in the middle of the cliff? No, it was a car wheel. Like the, that that was a car in the mountain. Yeah, it's like it's like. Oh, I have a Hatsune Miku poster, despite the fact that I have no interest in Hatsune Miku. Oh no, it's just the, the car founding fathers. Mount Crushmore. She was talking to me, Ivan. Oh really? No, no, no. Don't fight over me. Yeah, yeah, uh, remember this guy's voice because they're not even gonna even attempt this guy's in me his voice to sound like him. Just apply the same level of dedication you've been using to play the idiot tow truck. Hey, idiot? Is that how you see me? That's how everyone sees me. I tell you, that's the genius of it. 
no one realizes they're being fooled because they're too busy laughing at the fool. See, this is what, like, the one consistent element of this movie is what they try to do with Mater, but I uh, see a lot of people dismiss it just because, well, Mater's the dumb comic relief character, so why do I care? It's kind of annoying. Okay, the mustache specifically makes it look like Steve. Oh, did they, they, did they not even tell the name of the guy who was supposed to replace? That seems like base knowledge I, to tell him. It might not be that I didn't tell him, it might just be that Mater's just not used to it, because, you know, he's not a spy! Yeah. When she yeah. tells you are them. a tow truck! You want the real American agent? You are a measly tow truck. You want me to stop talking to you? Right now. You are acting strange today. Yeah, no, yeah nothing like, suspicious like, about like, that. Yeah, like you have a completely different voice from five minutes ago. Very weird. It's starting to sound a lot more like a country bumpkin rather than a too intimidating crime lord thing. Wanted in all over the world. Okay, okay. Keep your voice down. You're gonna make me arrested. Don't mess with even today. He's in a bad mood. He's so good. So yeah, I, I, he's so good, yeah. He's so good, and I'm so uh, shit. Like I said, they made a movie where everybody around Mater was dumber than he is. Yeah, probably to prop up Mater. Isn't Victor Hugo a name of an Ace Attorney character? Victor Kudo, I think, is the name you're thinking of. Yeah, yeah, Kudo. Oh, okay. Close that's enough, close. though. That's very close. That, that's that's the birdseed guy, right? Yeah. Welcome, everyone. I wish I could be with you on this very special day. Yeah, see, the things are moving. So it looks like thought. But even the hood is the same tinted yeah, color. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, I get the towels, but like everything else that doesn't look like a towel is still the same color. This is a very stupid mislead. And that's where I draw a line of bullshit. Unless by the end, like they open the the thing and it's blue on the inside, then I'll I'll be uh, like, oh, all right, sure. Them, but the insults just give us strength because today, that all. Dun 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 dun. When life gives you lemons, I I, I don't even want to finish it. <laughs> what just happened? I'm working on it. They laughed at us, but now it's our turn to laugh back. I don't want to say this track is on par with Chronos Unveiled because nothing's on par with Chronos Unveiled, but it's it's <laughs> yeah, it's certainly up there. In a lemon, let it drive you. It's the camera on the tower. <laughs> Were they discussing this in broad daylight? But also, on THE tower. Yeah, you know, THE, ta the, the tower. THE tower! Which of THE tower? The one and only. The singular tower. The only tower, apparently. Oh dear. Oh dear god. It'd be hilarious if after Finn McMissile was like, that's the genius of it. No one realizes it. Everyone thinks you're just a genius. have some mad you know, can, no. can British cars just jump? They have a yeah. jump button. So <laughs> Lightning and McCree jump. Smart. Did you say Lightning McCree? Uh, you, know what? you know what? You know what, Brooks? You're right. Yeah, it's like Mario Kart, just jump on. Okay, so this shit right here, um... Oh my god, yeah, how, how, how? 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 What? How? It makes no sense! Also, yeah, yeah, how did they know and how did you not see how could? That? How did you oh not god. see right. or hear the helicopter? Today, you will never again be ashamed of who you are. No, live lemons! Oh, no! Long live lemons. Long live the lemon. Bro, why didn't they just cancel the race at this point? Spoiler alert: They yeah, they do cool. actually. They're about to like they 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 do contemplate what to do after this is over. After I the first. I can't believe you spoiled cars too. Oh my god, you spoiled cars. A after the first race, I think it's reasonable to keep going because it's just a freak accident. It's like it's hard to yeah. consistently nail down as the root cause. But after this race is when you start having conversations, and they do have conversations. They're arguing with each other. Completely unaware of what happened. Yeah, they're too busy racing each. Other. Sir Axelrod, is the final race in London still going to take place? No. The show must go on. <laughs> I can't. require all the racers to still run on all of those. I cannot, in good conscience, continue to risk the lives of any more racers. I don't understand your fucking plot! Why? Why? You're only proving that your own, your own fuel is bad! No one else's! It's like completely two different characters they decided to fuse in last minute. That's what it feels was like. no <laughs> one keeping an eye on Ivan? Yeah, I was about to say that. I guess they just didn't bother. Like, the moment they see the real Ivan, that's that's when you, all your stunt has been... Yeah. Oh, and then there's this that I just... Hmm. All in all, my friend Fillmore says the fuel's safe. That's good enough for me. I didn't stand by a friend of mine recently. I'm not gonna make the same mistake. Would they even be allowed to choose their individual fuel? Like, wouldn't everyone be yeah. required to run on the same fuel for fair That's start's sake? That's a great sake? question. Yeah, exactly. Like, what the fuck? Alright then. Must be finished for good. Lightning McQueen must be killed. No! Good job! Uh, so convenient! Uh, That's how uh, that works. Uh, uh, uh. 
Oh my god. It's the American spy! It's the American spy! I told you I'm just a tow trick! I like how no one shoots him even as he's pulling out two really? Gatling guns. No one, no one. Yeah. yeah, that was like yeah. 10 wow. seconds of not shooting. 10 seconds of not filling the air with Also, oh, when did they install that? Oh, and also, Dad Gum pulls out the guns. Just. <sighs> I didn't mean that guy to shoot. Oh my god. What? This is so dumb. Uh, wait, this wait. is so stupid, uh, dude. He's like, shoot, not that shoot. Okay, there's too much shoot. happening at once. So, like, Barrel do I even need, Like, my, like... How, what? Do I, <laughs> but there's so much stupidity on my screen right now. Can I just uh, tune out? Uh, so you just grappled hook his ass? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 100... Okay, hundred oh, percent of my screen real estate is being dedicated to shenanigans right now. Do I even need to say anything? Do I complete need... wacky hijinks? Yeah, try, try to rectify, to try to rectify what just happened. I, I have no idea. What the fuck is this? Oh, yo, Trevor, I was not using audacity. You fucking muppet. Well, here's the good news, Brooks. You said almost nothing, so it, sh it should be easy to parse out the Discord audio for you. Alright, I'm starting it now pretty late. We still have roughly half an hour left. I, I also like how it just seems wildly inefficient for the only means for which you can fire the bullets out of the Gatling gun is to just say shoot, and then it's a binary state of whether it's firing or not. I'm sorry, no. Completely different color. Come on. I. Hey, this fucking parachute tow truck tow cable. <laughs> I, love, I, love, I love the thought that a parachute's able to lift a fucking tow truck. What is this? It's like you just you have like two hot air, you have two like fucking helium balloons lifting a fucking school bus. <laughs> it makes so little <laughs> sense that I that my my voice went ten pitches higher than it normally yeah, you're, is. I, yeah, I heard OJ's voice do things I've never heard it do before. They went up like five octaves. So do they breathe air? Stop. I guess so. Cars breathe air. Did you not know that? Who knows? They I mean, speak so air! I'm not gonna question the biology of cars. It, they, they, we it's can not see them biology. Ex what do you think goes into no, your I'm, radiator? No, 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 no in Neil. your air ne filter. No, Neil, I, I'm, I'm saying I'm not going to bring it up as a point against the movie because diving into the actual anatomy of the cars isn't something I feel particularly interested in doing. This fucking scene, dude. I want to see all the biology of cars. So, like, this is his nightmare, so is just, is, is he just imagine all the, those people laughing at him? Like, did he know that there were people behind him and just didn't care before? But this, uh, I still, I'm still not a fan of, of this. He, 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 also, he also knew that, he, he knew exactly what McQueen and his friends were saying, even though they were way too far away from him for him to have understood that. Exactly. This is where Cars 2 goes Oh from, my god. This is where Cars 2 goes from great to top tier. <laughs> what is this? Is the clock gears, dude? Yeah, also, let's go! Why the fuck do they bring them to London? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, is that a talking bear in the background? Well, if they want them to die, why bring them to London? You're know my fault. Don't be a fool, mate. But I am. You said so. When did I... Oh, I was complimenting you on what a good spy you are. I'm not a spy. I'm not a spy. Oh my god, we're really- this is where you, how you find out? Dude, imagine- imagine they're- they're- how they must feel they realize that they're a fucking idiot while they're about to die. Yeah, Mater, you really have been trying to tell them the whole time, they just haven't listened to you until this moment, arbitrarily. As for the whole bringing them to London thing, you could argue that they need Mater here because he's their backup plan, but also, I don't think you do need uh, Mater here because it- What's his- what's their backup plan? But, but that means that they planned for him to use a fucking Gatling gun to set him free, and then not- not immediately fall to this. Yeah, like it, it's it, it makes way more sense to just plant the backup plan in the pit. Oh, oh my God, Trevor! It's Amazing Spider-Man too. <laughs> like, so I, I don't think I don't think they needed to bring. Like, there's no reason to keep them alive, and there's certainly no reason to. If, if you want to keep them alive, then you definitely don't need to bring them to the site where you're about to finish your evil plan. Because after Italy, I was finished. I don't understand this man's plan. I hope you win today. And you show the world that they've been wrong about all in all. Yeah. I totally don't have an alternate like, agenda for this. Like, uh, really, like, what, what is the point of coming here? Because, I don't know, because What Ben's is here. the point of your entire plan? Is it like to, for, for the media to think that he was paying him off? Is that is that what he's trying to do? No, the only reason why he does it is to try to fake out the audience. That's literally it. As if... Also, fake out his friends, too. I don't think they needed to be faked out because they don't even think there's anything nefarious exactly. happening here. It's only Ah yes, the, the flag that pisses me off because it's not symmetrical. Oh, this. Well, th this, I'm willing to let this slide. The reason why this doesn't work, I think, does make sense. We go to the backup plant. 
Backup plan. We snuck a bomb in McQueen's pit. This, however, that, I have. I love, I love how he sneaks a bomb into him, and he's like, "That's the backup plan." We put a bomb in the pit. Yeah. No, great. No, no, no. P putting the bomb in the pit is would make a lot more sense than what they actually did, which is exactly. But also, so just logically speaking, if the whole point is that you need you need it to look like all in all is what caused the death then what does blowing him up with a bomb do at that point great question why don't you ask the they movie they can't trace that back to all in all anymore what 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 yeah no, don't, uh, don't, 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 don't look, just don't don't even late in movie <laughs> If they planted the bomb in the pit, then you could argue that the explosion would trigger the all-in-all -all somehow. But binding it to Mater, that explosion can go off anywhere. You could have put the bomb inside the all-in-all -all container. It, it, just don't put it on Mater! Jesus! <laughs> and this shit! This shit! Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Why is yeah. the spy so stupid? Right there. God, I, it sure is a good thing they weren't tied down facing the other way. Yeah. Holy shit, dude. And now, and now it's going such along. This is Mm. Well, they're still dead, though. No, because on the other side, there's another convenient tool. Oh, no. Completely British accent. Well, I mean, Michael Caine is British, I believe. Now, the oh. <laughs> Brace yourself. Oh, this. <laughs> like the Mario Kart glider. You, you know. As they do. Oh, yeah, standard for someone that doesn't even go on field missions. Oh, my God. Why did you? Is this cake is too easy? Yeah, yeah, he just gave up to Jesus Christ. untie himself and then like somehow you can fly managed the to not time. get crushed to death by those fucking gears. It was too easy. That's all you got. Oh, so they really just let him Such go. Such shit security. I can't speak to the what it feels like to be a car, but I feel like this would be akin to if someone replaced your nose yeah. with a bomb. If someone replaced one of my organs, I feel like I'd notice. Wouldn't this feel different? Yeah. Are you okay? Oh my god, why is everyone in this movie stupid? Damn, Mater. This is so contrived and stupid, I want to die. He just told the other Radiator Springs crew a second ago that there was a bomb in the pit, but he doesn't tell McQueen and that he has a bomb on anything. him. Stay away from me, he shouts. Just tell him you have a- Also, tell there's, him. There's, there's absolutely no way Mater uh, is outrunning McQueen. Yeah, yeah he's backwards. not outrunning McQueen. What happened to the race? Especially not while driving backwards, like, come I mean, on. I mean, Trevor, you're really underestimating his backwards driving right now. He's the king of backwards and, okay look, and also the fastest gu guys one. what why are you at this point blowing up the bomb isn't gonna do oh jack God. shit you are the bomb you always be it will be the bomb i'm the bomb tell the bomb. there's a bomb on you but also again at this point you are so far away from the pit you cannot tie it back to all in all at this point blowing the bomb isn't gonna help you at all and this sh fucking- Oh my fucking god. Get, get me away from McQueen, this I know! Rocket so Jets! Stupid. Of course! Uh, is Why is no one questioning anything? I'll, I'll, I'll give the movie the benefit of the doubt on this one. Maybe he didn't realize, like, something was wrong with his nose, like, the bomb, because he already knows he has, like, a Gatling guns inside him, so maybe just another gadget. However, he couldn't have they couldn't have installed any new gadgets while he was knocked out. He already would have had all the gadgets back on the train. Like, it's not like they installed any- I them. hate this movie! It, it, it's, it's, it's not like- drove down it's, it's, you're, you're not, you're right, you're right. It's, it's not like they could have installed it while he was asleep. This movie is fire, man. <laughs> no, no, you're kidding me. This is the greatest movie that's ever this been made. This movie. is fucking this amazing. Movie, this is the movie of all time. Like, come on. It's how, do you, how do you not love this? Like, this is amazing. <laughs> what is like, that? Like, I, I, that one kid who had the birthday party, he was missing out. This is not, this is not even, like, top five wars. <laughs> God, this movie doesn't deserve you. I like how Zundup had like all the time in the world to detonate the bomb while they were sitting in the pit and he just fucking didn't. Yeah. Because he wasn't close enough to McQueen, it would have been obvious if they Plot put the camera on, I bet. the movie. Wait, what works? I think it would have just been obvious if the camera, I mean, they would have seen in the cameras that Mater exploded and not McQueen. And they wouldn't have seen that when he detonated it further away from the pit? Because the cameras were following them throughout the whole race. Like well, yeah, but I don't know. Maybe, I don't, because the cameras were going fast and all that. I think he was just waiting for a better shot or something. I don't but know. But how would he, like, they, they, they were right next to each other in the pit. All he needed was before. Yeah, not close enough, though, I don't think. They were close enough. Oh, look, another bomb. That was a very long oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no one noticed that at did all. No, yeah, yeah listen, did no one yeah. see that? Hey, did you guys hear an elephant earlier? Also, I just, I don't even. Did you guys hear something that sounded like a bomb going off? How the fuck do you, uh, you know what, spy. Okay, zoom in enhanced vision, zoom in enhanced vision. Oh, there, yeah, yoink! 
ye left Dang. turn in. Hey, look, brave. Brave. Ah, right, right, uh, right. I'd be rather watching that. I no, right no, 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 no. I would, no, I would much no, rather watch Cars no. 2 than Brave. Are you kidding me? This is hilarious. I don't speak yeah. bear. Yeah. <laughs> I actually like Brave quite a bit. So. Dude, you Brave is, Brave is, I'm sorry, Brave is underrated, Brave, man. Turn off the bombs. It's voice activated. Everything is voice activated these days. Deactivate. Voice denied. Oh. Plot tried what, this. What, what happens if Mater discovered this in the in the tower and tried to deactivate? and activated the time before he was able to reach McQueen. After all, everything's voice activated, right? Anyone else like to try it? <laughs> what do we do? It's very simple. What? Wait, wait <laughs> Yeah, you blow up, we say, as we they go closer to in. you. <laughs> yeah. Very smart idea. Nothing can go wrong with this flawless yeah, idea. Yeah, blow up while I hug you really <sighs> How you holding up there, FG? Questioning my life choices. Oh my god, what, um, uh, oh my god, Where did you come from? I, I, that's some powerful water. Teleportation also, is okay. my favorite. Damn. All of them, to? you're all Where fucking you incompetent. You, you're, they're attacking one by one. They're just fucking oh. sitting there doing, what the <laughs> fuck is wrong with you? Why are you standing there? You get they're literally attacking one by one. Wait, what are you? We Holy shit! Mater did say he knew karate earlier, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, I know some karate. He calling the fucking military! Oh my god. None of his wrenches fit the boats. I get it. I get it! I know what needs to be done. He caught it. He caught it. You know, somehow. You know, guys, I think I don't really think you have time to be dicking around right now. I feel like the Just go get the Bomb this arm! They're trying to have this really heartfelt moment where there's just a bomb picking on Mater. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no, don't mind the bomb straps. <laughs> Go fucking the song the bomb! This is really eerie to listen to. That that took one Jeopardy song too long. Yeah. Yeah, they're like, oh, I, I, I'm sorry yes, for what I did. Like, There's a bomb on you, dude. Again, the computer was always listening and interpreted, get me away from a queen as summon my fucking <laughs> rocket jet ass blaster <laughs> thing. You want to cut it any closer, maybe? Look, like, look, look at this shit! <laughs> What is- I, what is I, this I, freaking top of the Like, what the fuck? Hey, are you- It's so good! It's so good! It's so good! It's so good! This is the best movie Pixar has ever made. There's ever absolutely ever. nothing wrong with this movie, guys. Come on. This honestly might be my new favorite movie. Oh my god, and then- and then- and then the amazing deduction that fucking Mater does that totally this makes fucking sense. <sighs> it totally makes sense. <laughs> it's okay! He only has a bomb on him! I'm glad Cars 3 is a normal movie because my throat is already dry from laughing. Laughing too much. Oh, wait, your majesty. Boom! Mr. Boom! He can't disarm it. Mater, I don't know what you're doing, but stand. No one knows what he's doing. No one knows what they're doing, let alone yeah, what they, he's they doing. Yeah, they're also like, who, who are you right now? Look for the agents. How did they figure- how did he figure this out? I'm, yeah, I'm honestly confused. Yeah, you are crazy, it makes no fucking sense. Y'all attach this ticking time bomb with Whitworth bolts, same bolts, and hold together that old British engine from the photograph. Then I remembered what they say about old British engines. If there ain't no oil under them, there ain't no oil in them. What? How did Too you- Too many things. Like, that, that no. clearly wasn't below him. It just so obviously wasn't. Like, the, the leap in logic that Mater has to make for any of yes. this. Sir Axelrod created the race, Mater. Why would he want to hurt anyone? Yes! Make all and all look bad, so everybody go back to using all. Then why didn't he just keep using oil? I hate this movie. Going nowhere fast. We really should go, Grandma. I'd like to see where this is going. The, where this is going? This is going kaboom! Fucking get out of here! Did somebody say boom? Man, it's so bad! Maybe if there were another alternative fuels currently in the fucking run, but there aren't. He's the first guy. What the fuck are you talking about? There's even a line in the first movie where Lightning says he's never heard of alternative fuel because the government's in the oil business. It's not even remotely a possibility that that's gonna happen. It's so Fucking stupid. Well, also, like why the... would you have the fucking? Why name would you have it name? say your Ooh, name? Why are you like? Why this? is every? Why is Mater literally actually just smarter than everyone in the movie? Wow, see, different fucking. Like, dollars. come on, come on. Is it over yet? What the fuck is this movie? It's a perfect match except the fucking color. Yeah, that's the thing. Oh my goodness, I love this movie so much. <laughs> yeah. Cry. We all met each other. Queen, McQueen, McQueen, Queen, McQueen, McMessel, McMessel, McQueen. Stop. Oh, wow. Take me back. I've never been so happy to see Radiator Springs. Me. <laughs> 
I'm so glad we're back in Radiator Springs. Remember, remember when things were normal like an hour and a half ago? Man, how, it, it's, it's all, how has it been an hour and a half? That flew by. <laughs> Time flies by when you're watching a good movie. Come on, guys. None of this happened. Rocket jets, flying spy cars. No, you're quite right. That, that guy's all of us. Man, you, you, you're you quite the secret agent to, to fly right in here. Yeah, it's so secret. Yeah. Fuck this, fuck this ending, fuck this movie. Let me out of here. No, we still have to watch Scar Street. Yeah, get me out of this chair, Trevor. Like, How did that actually in. happen? Alright. Yeah, like when... What, whatever. Where, yeah. Like, there was no development between the two of them. I keep my dent. During the whole movie. Also, I feel like if you actually go back and look at that scene, I don't know that that dent is gonna line up with where she swooped in. Nah, uh, I don't think it does. Why didn't I, you know, explode in a fiery inferno? Oh, yeah, this stupid ass thing! Well, I forgot, this is how it ends! Uh, I think this part tracks. This makes well, sense! You said my fuel was safe. If you're implying that I switched out for alternative fuel with my all-natural sustainable biofuel just because I never trusted Axelrod... Why didn't you speak up at the beginning of the movie, then? I, I feel like it would track that, that he would be suspicious that. that tracks? That. But why didn't you speak up at the beginning? Maybe if I heard, like, more of him not trusting Axelrod. McQueen. But that's, yeah, but that's implying they actually fought about Axelrod. I do villain, genuinely uh, like the race at the, the end. Movie. The thing I like about this is that this is, like, reference to the Cars video game. The very first race in the Cars game is the Radiator Springs Grand Prix. I think I've played the Cars video If you haven't, you're missing out on peak. The first Cars game is absolutely amazing. Also, the underrated heroes of these movies are the, the people who animate all the crowds to make it look like they're actually alive and talking. Ah, yes. I agree with that. We're almost done. In just a few more seconds. Uh, minutes. I don't know. I thought that was a good movie. I don't know. I think you guys are smoking something, man. Yeah, FD, you're not getting out during the credits. You're just watching the credits. I have to watch the credits? Yes. See? This ending sequence is cool. I like the ending. You're telling me you didn't like the spy flying cars? Experience? I just wish they actually kept the ending consistent in Cars on the Road. But oh well. What happens in Cars on the Road? Never watch Cars on the Road if you haven't already. Unfortunately, I forced the majority of the people in this call to watch it with me. Here's the thing, Trevor. No one was planning on it. People don't even remember Cars on the Road existed, all right? Oh, well, I'm gonna remind people. I'd be surprised if there were 3,000 people on the planet who have seen Cars on the Road. <laughs> It's part of the reason why I want to make the video, because I just feel like nobody even knows it exists. And those who do have probably already forgotten it. Or they like it for some reason. Well, if you look at the Rotten Tomatoes score, apparently people love Cars on the Road. Apparently it's... The fact that Cars 2 is like 30% of Rotten Tomatoes and Cars on the Road has 92% is just not fair. It just is not fair. It's definitely the best TV show with talking cars in it. I like that Mater gets to keep his rockets. Might be a bit irresponsible, yeah. but... Eh. <laughs> The wink, what was that? What was the wink for? Oh my god, we made it. Then that's the story of how I went to the moon. Can you even imagine watching this movie and not absolutely loving it? Like, I can't. Yeah, yes! Never, never, never. No, okay. I couldn't. That was the best movie okay. I've seen. Everyone's gonna give their thoughts now. Alright, right. not the best movie. Okay, guys, come on. It wasn't that bad, bad. I enjoy this more than I enjoy the first movie. I'm still gonna give it a lower score, but I enjoy it uh, way more. This movie was abysmal. 10 out of 10. Gas toast? Alright, actually, uh, never mind. I hate this movie. Ugh. What? It's a pun for the restaurant from uh, Ratatouille. Instead of Gusto's, it's Gasto's. Oh, it's Gasto's. Genius. Genius. So I, f I feel like Neil's just been silently disagreeing with us the whole time. Yeah. It's not that. I, I don't know. I can't explain it to you guys. So. I'm just not going. Dude, I'm with a Neil on this one here, man. Not a horrible movie. I'm gonna be honest. Well, uh, like, I'll give it a four. It's not awful. Out of five? Yeah. Nice. Maybe a five. I don't know. I give it a five. It's it actually not as bad as I remember. Yeah, if we're if we're rating it out of ten, that's like a seven movie right there. It wasn't like all. No, the movie. first one is a seven. It, it not wasn't seven. good, this is a but five. like it was, it was I'll give it a really five. enjoyable. Hey, hey, uh, news news flash. If it's above a six, then generally it's considered good. Uh, six six and a three quarters. It's a five, but a seven for enjoyment. It's like simultaneously a zero out of ten and a ten out of ten at the same time. I'm a firm believer that if you enjoy a movie, it should be. Rated. 
rated it higher. Yeah, I'm a firm believer that you're wrong. I kind of disagree with how movies are like criticized. Like, yeah, it can like be fundamentally bad, but like if you enjoy it, you, you don't go to a movie to hate on it. You go to a movie to enjoy it in some aspect. You know what I mean? That's gonna be down to the individual person. For instance, Blue's Big City Adventure is like a 10 out of 10 movie personally for me because I just that's one of the most fun movies I've ever watched in my life. But but when you you should, you should average it out then at least like. I don't know, if you're gonna rate it a 5 and you think it's a 10, like, just give it, like, a 7.5 or something. Like that. I mean, I, it's, 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 we're measuring two different things. We're measuring how, how well we think the movie is made versus how much we enjoy it. For, for instance, I can do it the reverse as well. The Shawshank Redemption is a very well-made movie. Probably one of the greatest movies that's ever been made. But I don't care about it at all. I didn't particularly enjoy watching it, and I don't ever want to watch it again. So that's... Uh, if that was the case, like, if it's a good movie, but I don't enjoy it, like, I'm not gonna read it high. Additional story supervision, Josh Cooley. Josh Cooley, let's go. He's he was he was granted as additional story supervision. I do, I do find that interesting. Wait, who was? Josh who Cooley. Was? Josh Cooley, director of Toy Story 4. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who's directing Toy Story 5? I don't know, but I don't care so long as it's no. not him. I'm directing it. He's gonna stop making the animated Transformers movie to go back to Toy Story. No, it's going to be Josh Cooley and the writers of Stranger Things season 3. Since Toy Story 5 literally cannot be worse than 4, I am ex so excited to see what the fuck they can possibly do with the story. You guys, you guys hate on Toy Story 5, man. I'll never understand it. I, I am actually expecting Toy Story 5 to be good, or at least better than Toy Story 4. I'm not hating on it at all. In fact, in fact, I actually surprised a lot of people. The comments on my Toy Story 5 video are 50% why are you using so many Owl House clips, 50% I don't know man, it can always get worse. I can't share your optimism for this movie. I'm in the middle, I'm in the I don't really care camp. Oh my god, yeah. Trevor, Toy Story 5 is gonna end up being a spy movie. Uh, <laughs> honestly, gimme, sure, let's go. If it's as good as Cars 2, I'll take it. I I, I, will, I would love a Toy Story 5 that's as good as Cars 2, yeah. gimme. Yeah, I, I think flying with, falling with style is a bit far-fetched. I, I just imagine Woody and Buzz flying around like they are at the end of Toy Story 1, and they're just battling like a giant robot thing. And they summon Professor Layton out of nowhere, and they solve a random puzzle that is completely unrelated. They just go to Kingdom Hearts 3, get the cutscenes of the Toy Story uh, world, and that's that's Toy Story 5. Still better than Toy Story 4. So I guess I, I didn't mention the, the music, but both Brad Paisley songs that play during the credits are great. Collision of Worlds and Nobody's Fool. Clearly, FG is not a fan of this. <laughs> At no, all. she loved it. I'm not. <laughs> Completely understandable. I'm so surprised how aside of the spy stuff, there are some of the some of the non-spy stuff is actually alright, and I didn't didn't remember that. So uh, bonus points for that. But everything else is bad. What did you guys not like about it? Well, I'm kind of kind of having a hard time here. I, I, I feel like I've said this too many times and it keeps not being received by anybody. I don't dislike Cars 2. I love this movie. Well, what's what's bad about it is what I'm trying to think. Like, what do you... Because clearly you wouldn't give it a ro low rating if you didn't think something bad of it. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I feel like we did a pretty good job calling things out as we went, but basically just... The convoluted plot. The, all the action scenes are completely outrageous. It's just like... Well, I mean, it's, it's a spot. Mission Impossible Falls action scenes are not outrageous, but that is also a spy movie. They, I, I'm gonna be honest, like, they're cards, man. It's, it's kind of hard to make that work. Well, they, they did it in some aspects. You know, you're right, I do agree. Making a car spy movie was a terrible idea. They <laughs> shouldn't have done it. Dude, it was... Glad that we agree. I feel like, I feel like they executed it well enough. It's not great, but yeah, like, well it could enough, have... you know, five out of ten. That, that's that's well, that's well enough for some people. If I have to list three things, like the top three things about this movie that I that are really jank, it's Finn and Holly at no point until the very end figure out that Mater isn't actually a spy. That's one thing. Oh yeah, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> that was... Guys, I ain't no spy. I'm not a spy. He says, "No, you're totally a spy." Wait, you guys are spies? Like Wait, secret you agents. mean secret agent? You guys are spies. Yeah, a, a mayor being treated like an idiot, and then you have all the characters around him being even bigger, even idiots. dumber than that. Oh, yeah, for them being an intelligence agency, I don't know, man. My second problem is everything to do with their plans, and I think it's most clearly highlighted in the final section. Like, that- it doesn't make any sense what they try to do with that bomb. It- nothing- what they want to achieve is in no way supported by their decision to plant a bomb in Mater's air filter. I feel like that can be justified, to be honest. Like, All right, I don't- go. I think- I think there's, like, enough points- it makes sense why he didn't blow up the bomb. Because it would have been too obvious, like- it, it might have made more sense if he blew up the bomb when he was, like, driving. 
and stuff. Like, the second he activated, like, the thrusters, like, the cameras aren't going to be entirely focused because they're not expecting him they were. to pop some thrusters out his ass. Yeah, but they're, unless they're the greatest cameras of all time in, the, like, we in 2005, them. like, I can't imagine them being able to focus on that as well. But, like, they did, though. We, we saw... But we, you know, we literally saw the news broadcast. It literally had the, like the, the 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 news UI though. Yeah, but like it's definitely would have been harder to determine the where the explosion came from if they're going at jet speed. You know what I mean? But assuming that is how focused they are, I mean I can see why the car would have thought that. I don't know. If I was gonna blow up a bomb and make it look like it happened to someone next to them, I'd wait for them to go. You know, jet but the speed. Thing is, he pressed the button happen. and it wasn't working. Well, yeah, because he, he was too late at that point. Like. By the yeah, time he's like, like that, oh, that is, this is a good really time what we're to do it. We're criticizing why it didn't blow up, you know, right there. Well, because it would have been ob- more obvious. I feel like yeah, I, 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 I mean, I partially plot, that, yeah, because, definitely you know, for it, plot, were, obviously. They were right next to an all-in-all tank. Yeah, supposedly, in fact, so. it because remember, it's, yeah, but like. They would have just seen the explosion came from him because they had cameras on Mater. And since they're standing, but, like they still, also had cameras on them during the chase. I don't understand why that's. A- well, yes, but it's harder. It's I feel like it would have just been harder to determine that the explode the exact pinpoint of the explosion. But that's like, but it no, could have no, happened Brooks, because he was no, you going. You say that, fast but he was going to detonate the the bomb while Mayor and McQueen were at the pit. Yeah, like that that was going to happen. He just well, took yes, his sweet yes, time, it, it, and then Mayor ran away. So. If he was gonna, he wanted to do it. Should have just done it faster. It like t- t- it takes like ten yeah, fucking just, seconds. There's, there's two things I want to call out there. First being that it is, it clearly was his his int- the villain's intention was to detonate to detonate the bomb while they were both in the pit. The only reason why he didn't is because he waited too long and Mater was already out. Like we see him slowly moving his tire down to push the button to blow him up, and then the Dale Carter comes over the newscast and he says, "Hold everything! A tow truck has just raced onto the track and he's driving back." Then he stops the. He stops going to push the button because he took too long and he knows he can't hit it anymore because he's too far out of range. So he should have just hit it a lot faster than Uh, that. But I I think the more important thing is that, remember, it's not just that he wants to kill them with the bomb. It's that he needs to make it look like all in all was what killed them. Well, yeah, that's what I think. That's why I think he might have waited. But I don't know. It doesn't make sense why he waited in the pit then. Yeah. It just wouldn't have, if he did it in the pit, though, it would have just been obvious that Mater exploded because they can just replay it. You know what I mean? Like... And they would have been like, oh, it's actually the tow truck. You're right. It doesn't up. make sense to put the bomb in him at all. That's a separate issue, though. But if, if your choices are in the pit next to the all-in-all tank or out on the street randomly, in either case, your cameras are going to see that that it's the tow truck that blew it up. But there's at least a case to be made that in the pit, it was somehow linked to the all-in-all tank because he was literally right next to it. I don't know. If, if it were me, I definitely would have done it when they were going jet speed. I, I feel like it would have been harder for the cameras to focus in on it. The different issue would be they would just be out of range, which is what happens. Uh, he didn't know it would be out of range. Uh, I don't know. If he knows anything about how his how the equipment works, he would know that they have to be in range. And he also could have pinned the explosion on the jets, too. Like, but that wouldn't... Well, he, did he even see the jets? I, I, that I don't think he did. And, and again, was... pinning the explosion on the jets doesn't help him, because it has to be all in all. Yeah, but I mean, if he's gonna pull the bomb anyway. Like, but it's, No, but so the reason... It doesn't make sense for him to have done it outside of there unless... If for the all-in-all all case, he would have just blown him up. Just the reason to... why he was doing the, the camera strat the whole time is because it, it was completely inconspicuous. There was no way they could possibly trace it back to the camera because to everyone else it just looks like a camera. So it seems to the innocent bystander that the fuel is just causing the engines to spontaneously combust randomly. Which doesn't really line up with trying to make it look like the thrusters on Mater's back are somehow triggering the explosion in Mater in Lightning McQueen's fuel sign. Because at that point, it's not all-in-all's fault because any any car filled with any kind of volatile fuel would have exploded just the same. I guess. It also could have been like, you could have pinned it on the thrusters activating the all-in-all. But again, that wouldn't matter because if it was gasoline in his tank, that would have happened anyway. Exactly, yeah. Good point, yeah. Uh, why is this movie like? Because it is movie. the way it is. I don't know, but like... So yeah, so pro- problem one, problem one was Holly and Finn. Problem two is the villain's plan. Problem three is just the out- action is completely over the top and outrageous. But I, I, I really don't... I cannot bring myself to hate this movie just because it's so much fun to watch. But the plot makes sense, though. Like, I don't understand how you guys don't understand the plot. I, f- I feel like we just went over it pretty extensively. Unless, of course, he's talking about Exoron. No, like, the, yeah, the, 
so I don't know. Someone said they didn't understand the Axel Rock plot, like why he's doing it. No, I understand. I said I understand. I understand why he's doing it. He's just going about it in the stupidest way possible. Plot definitely has some like plot armor going on, but like I don't think it's enough to say it's like horrible. And I'm not saying it's look. I don't think anyone here is really saying it's it's horrible. It's just bad. There's a, there's a, you know there's a gap between horrible and bad. Horrible is like a two. I, I think it's like. Not the bestly constructed, but I wouldn't call it bad. Bestly constructed? The best construct. I don't know, man. Come on, you gotta cut Brooke some slack. What do you mean cut me bestly some slack. constructed? Dude, we went to we went to high school for four years. You should know this. You gotta cut me some. Dude, like I want to watch Cars three because I haven't watched it, but I feel very carsed out. No. I feel like I'm on all in all, and someone's pointing the beam at me right now, man. One more movie. One more movie. I, I gotta do something in between. <laughs> Does anyone have any final thoughts on Cars 2 before we wrap this up? Best movie in the trilogy. Never make me watch this movie again. Neil, anything you want to say before we wrap up? No, I'm, I'm tapped out. I have, I, I can't, I don't, I don't know. I'm outnumbered. No, no, no one's gonna prevent you from saying things. Well, I'm not gonna say things if no one understands what I'm saying. It's fine, we could just move on to three. One thing is for sure, if you if you don't say it, then we will not understand regardless. It, it, it's it's fine, if he yeah, doesn't want to talk it's about it, it's a movie, who it's... cares about a movie? You're right, I'll be, I'll be leaving the call, I don't care about movies. Alright, two down, one to go. The grand finale of the I, Cars I, I, trilogy. From what, I, from what I've seen, I remember Cars 3 being my favorite, so. I guess we'll I see. Actually, I've, heard, I've heard good things about Cars 3. I've heard good things about Cars 3. I mean, it's rated Are you also about seen that? I also, I've been thinking about it. I think I may have actually watched this already. But she's not sure. Uh -oh. I'm not uh -oh. sure, but the more I think about it, the more I'm pretty sure that I actually sat down and watched the whole movie. All right. Cars 3. Here we are, one and all, the grand finale of the Cars series, because nothing happened after Cars 3. Yeah, this is yeah. the definitive conclusion of Lightning McQueen's story. It's the best way they could have possibly closed things out, but before we get this started, what's everyone's intro preamble thing for Cars 3? Let's go, you know what? Let's go right to left this time. Let's mix it up. OJ, go. Wow. I know even less about this movie than the first and second one, only that this movie exists. Good movie. I would say it's... I still like Cars 1 the best, but Cars 3 is pretty good too. Ah, uh, who's next? You. Me? <laughs> oh, uh, I'm still unsure whether I have seen this movie or not. I'm starting to lean closer to yes, I have seen it. But I'm excited to maybe see this for the first time and maybe see it again for the second time. We'll find out. I've never seen this movie. I know how it ends, is in the thing that happens, but other than that, completely new to me. Well, I guess I also know that kind of the inciting incident, I just don't know how it happens. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Brooks. 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 I ain't never seen no movie like this before. Dead gum. Did someone turn you into Tall Mater? Who ran down to Tall turned you into Tall Mater? I ain't never seen no Cars 3. Alright, saving the best for last. Um, I, I recall Cars 3 being my favorite of the three when I did my Pixar marathon watch through last year. Also worth noting that unfortunately we have lost waffles. Maybe we're we're, we're getting so many casualties. We're like Cars 2 right now with all these casualties. Maybe he'll randomly pop back up halfway through the movie. And start For rambling off seconds. about something. Let's get this started. On go. Three, two, one, go. I honestly don't remember if I've seen this movie already. I know that when it came out, I don't know what other movie I was watching in the fears. No idea. But it, when they show all the, the trailers and like the, here's what to do in the fear or what not to do or whatever. Like half of it was just Cars 3. It was very annoying. The thing is, Cars 3 came out in like the, the couple year period where I didn't watch Pixar movies, so. I actually was very pessimistic heading into this movie. I didn't. Why? Gee, I wonder, I wonder why you were pessimistic going into Cars 3. It, it wasn't because of Cars 2 or anything. It was just because I, I I found the, the just the discourse around the movie somewhat pretentious because of the teaser trailer they released where right. people, people were like, oh my god, it's gonna be Pixar's darkest movie yet, Lightning McQueen's gonna die, and I'm like, oh my so god. Fu so fucking stupid. You melodramatic zebras, what are you talking about? <laughs> zebras. But I ended up coming away really pleasantly surprised by how, how it ties everything up. What I don't like is how they use Mater. 
Or I guess rather how they don't use Mater, because... Oh. Yeah, well, he, they used them last time. Neil, you mentioned that you were surprised when I said that Mater, a lot of people don't like Mater. Yeah. I, I'm pretty sure, like, the reason why in Cars 3 Mater doesn't get a whole lot to do is because they just hardcore course-corrected for Cars 2 and yeah. kept him as far away from the main plot as possible, which I don't like. I don't like that he's barely in this movie, but I think that's just, it goes to show that for some, for reasons that baffle me, Mater is like reviled by a lot of Pixar fans, which I kind of sucks. Ah, that's why Cars on the Road exists. Anyway, that was a really uh, good tribute to Doc. Th this whole movie is a great tribute to Doc. Yeah, they're Pixar just flexing their muscles here again. Best friend coming through. I also like that the this opening evokes the same feeling as the first yeah. movie without feeling like a direct ripoff of it. Yeah, it's more like uh, uh, like we're back, except of a. Uh... Hey, remember? Yeah, it would have been better if this took place at night, though, I think. I, uh, I've seen this movie before! Alright, I'm glad it took us the whole three minutes for us You're to come thinking back. of the first the movie. freaking stupid big comeback couch jokes are throughout the entire movie. They are not. They are condensed into a five-minute period in the opening, and then it comes back again once at the very end. <laughs> I watched this whole movie all the way through because that was the only thing I could think of for like half the movie. Good comeback, Cal. Also, because I spent like the entire movie trying to figure out if that was the Dinoco car from the first movie. I legitimately did not know that the king was in this movie when I saw it for the first time. He, he seems prominently displayed there as the crew chief, but I just wasn't. I was just looking at Cal, not the chief. Oh, also, wait, he is. This oh, is oh, he's, he is. Oh, I didn't see him. Yeah, it, it's oh, he exactly. Is? I'm not alone. Other people didn't know he was here too. Also, he's not voiced by Richard Petty anymore, so it's doubly hard to recognize that that's him. I also love how well they all get along. But the thing there is kind of what is what I wanted to mention in Cars 2 is that the camaraderie that McQueen has with these two guys is great. However, it's only in the first 10 minutes of this movie. A lot of the emotion hinges on this group of old-timey veteran racers slowly fading out of existence as, as rookies replace them. We don't know who these characters are. We're only introduced to them right here, right now. And this just comes back to Cars 2. I really believe it would have been much better if Cars 2 was actually the second chapter in McQueen's story, and the Cars 2 we got was a major spin-off, so that you could really zero in on fleshing out those characters, so that the emotional beats they go for in this movie can hit even stronger than they do. Yep, that's true. It's, it's kind of like a Halo Infinite situation. You have a great first entry and a great third entry, and then the middle is made everything completely disjointed, so where the trilogy doesn't have one single overarching focus anymore. Like, Cars 3 feels very much like a direct sequel to Cars 1, that just does- it. Just, this, this movie doesn't even pretend that Cars 2 is a thing. It's like, nah, this what, you thought Cars 2 was a movie? Pfft, you must be imagining things. The first time that John Lasseter isn't directing it. A lot of people say, dude, why did Jackson Storm wait until the very end of the race to make himself known? And a lot of people cite that as a, an inconsistency, but I think it perfectly fits his character to wait until the absolute last possible minute to make his entrance the most. More people are going to yeah, remember still you. Yeah, the spotlight. Yeah. yeah, if you blast past everyone, because he, he that, that's the thing, he knows he's fast enough to be able to do it. So he waits till the last possible second to blitz past everyone and really grab your attention. I think that's perfectly in line with who Storm was presented to be throughout this movie. You have no idea what a pleasure it is for me to finally beat you. Who voices this guy? Uh, guy, we'll find out for you right now. Hey, guy. Jackson Storm is voiced by Army Hammer. Who? What has he done? That is that 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 name is familiar. He's in the Social Network. He's. Uh, huh? I'm not sure if this name description is a spoiler or not. He plays Winkle Boss. I can say that much. Oh, so this is what I said in the Toy Story 3 commentary. Spider-Man Homecoming is a phenomenal movie, but fuck Spider-Man Homecoming because it's because of that movie that they couldn't get Michael Keaton back to voice Chick Hicks in uh -huh. Cars 3. Chick Hicks is not the same without Michael Keaton. Great yeah, movie, this is like you for what you did. <laughs> can we have Chick Hicks? We have Chick Hicks at home. Chick, Chick Hicks, Hicks at, at home. home. <laughs> like, Michael Keaton was that character. You, Chick yeah. you don't have Chick Hicks without him. It'd be like trying to have Buzz Lightyear without Tim Allen. <laughs> Hopefully Pixar's never dumb enough to try that. Downforce, weight distribution, aerodynamics, and next gens like Storm are taking advantage. If I'm certain of anything, Chick, it's that this season is about to get even more interesting. I love how her name is Natalie Certain. <laughs> Ace Attorney name. At least it's not Evelyn Dever. Right, yeah, well, uh, Every lawyer needs to have an ace attorney name, that's just a rule. The only, only way to make anyone not think that she's evil is by not changing the name in, in different languages and then people not noticing it because of you watching it in a different language now. I even got comments of people saying that I didn't know I didn't recognize the name pun because it wasn't translated from my language, but I still knew she was evil because everything about the everything about the movie just 
li lines of support that in a not yeah. so well, subtle absolutely. way. Yeah, what well, well, I wasn't sure if it was if the, the brother wasn't on it. Yeah, same. Pistol Cup winner Chick Hicks here with the racer taking the circuit by storm. <laughs> he has to mention he's a Piston Cup winner. Yeah, because that's, he won the Piston Cup. Because it, it's the only he thing he's, he's ever done in his life. Totally fair and square. Totally didn't set the world on fire when he did that. He's just riding that, that glory for the rest of his life, even though yeah. he knows in the back of his head that it's completely undeserved. Okay, I think this Lightning McQueen design is my favorite of the three movies. I don't notice any major differences in their designs. The, the, so Rusty's, the Rusty's logo. Oh, okay, that's what you mean. Uh, yeah, def yeah definitely Cars 3 is, is, that, is the best for that. You know, I asked my uncle once how I'd know when it was time to stop. You know what he said? The youngsters will tell you. They had some good times together. I'm gonna miss that the most, I think. See, like, we just met this guy, but imagine if he had been a consistent character throughout the trilogy that we could have really... They could have yeah. really hit you hard there. It, it still works a little bit. They, they try. Context of story, we at least get the basic, but yeah, it would definitely be a lot better. Wait, you're not Bobby. <laughs> name's Danny, bro. Name's Danny, bro. Danny, bro. Danny Don't you bro. know my name's Danny? Don't you know my name's Danny, bro? Uh. Hey, bro. Yeah. I kind of wish they saved the Motor Speedway of the South for this race. Although, actually, is it? It might be the Los Angeles International. Oh, okay, never mind. That, that works better. It's... What the fucking what? No, I didn't ask special for Special guest appearance. Are you replacing waffles? <laughs> did, did you hear that through the microphone? I did, I did I... hear that. Was that like an Alexa or a Google Home? It was, something? yes. Oh. I don't know what the hell I, I- I don't know what the hell I said to activate her, but what I was gonna say is- Is, is Alexa- is Alexa gonna be replacing waffles today? <laughs> I'm glad they saved the Los Angeles International Speedway as the last race for this montage. And they saved the Motor Speedway of the South for first, like they was in the first movie. I'm glad they also kept Guido's pit stop speed consistent throughout the series. Listen, don't you worry, pal. You had a good run. Enjoy your retirement. Unbelievable! McQueen is fading! McQueen is fading! No! 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 So, I don't know if this is a controversial position to take or not, but I have said ever since this... <laughs> Excuse me. We've been recording for way too long. I've said since this movie came out, they should not have shown this in the trailer. Oh, they definitely should not. I I hate that because hey, it's only the beginning though, so it like, doesn't matter. It's, it's, no. like it's, it's something very shocking, which is why they decided to do it. Can, can you honestly tell me that? Did. Can you honestly tell me that this wouldn't have had a significantly stronger impact if we didn't see this? a year in advance in the very first teaser trailer. Oh, I don't know. I kind of forgot it even happened. <laughs> it's clear that, that knowing how Cars 2, what, what people think of Cars 2, they, they want, I understand why they wouldn't want to show that. Yeah, the they'd want, yeah, you want to show that this movie doesn't fucking suck. Compare the two timelines where you know in advance that that's going to be the big exactly. thing versus a timeline where you go in completely unsuspecting and then you see Lightning McQueen get eviscerated and just torn across the the speedway the same way the king was in the first movie that would have just destroyed people dude it actually looks so much better than the other movies yeah time will do that yeah yeah that's, that's what happens 2011 when... 2011 verse 2017 to 2006 verse 2017 yeah it's also great that they can make things look older and worse and still look great. But like the background looks like real life. It's actually crazy. What I was gonna say about that moment is that it's not to say it doesn't still have its impact because it still does hit you, but I'm more emotionally hit by the zoom into Sally's face than I am by the actual crash. Because the crash I know is coming, but seeing Sally react that way, because crashes McQueen said it in Cars 2, crashing's a part of racing, but to that effect, to see that, because Sally would have seen plenty of crashes and plenty of accidents and during Lightning's career on the track, but for her to react to that extent for something like this is when you know it, like, this is serious business. Hey, stickers. I wanted to mention this in the first movie. Chick Hicks has, like, a thousand more stickers than McQueen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want what happened to Doc to happen to me. I can't go out on the track and do the same old thing. It won't work. And change it up. Try something new. I, don't fear failure. Be afraid of not having the chance. You have the chance. You can either take it, or you can do what you've been doing. Sitting in here for months. And by the way, I love what you've done with the place. It almost kind of seems like they've turned Sally into somewhat of the comic relief, more so than made her. Because they just wow. really want you to forget about cars, too. Yeah, like, wait, what, what, what flying cars again? Hey, did it work, Miss Sally? Did you set him straight with your lawyerly powers of persuasion? Yes, Mater. I am. 
<laughs> but I got an idea, and I'm gonna need to talk to Rusty and Dusty, all right? I'll get him on the horn. <laughs> get it on the horn. Dude, Mater is even worse than I am. <laughs> that gum, I lost it. Hey, I'll see you float. <laughs> Uh, so, dude, uh, that, that joke was really shoehorned in. I was actually gonna say, I kinda feel like Mater's humor also falls a bit flatter in Cars 3 compared to how it did in the first movie. Yeah, but it's not, like, unbearable, but they did. The, the, the sneeze joke did waste a bit of time. How do you even build a payphone? Like, what the fuck? I don't remember that in the first two movies, that's a new thing. Meaning that they would have to make it somehow in between movies, which- I, I need to go back a huge and check. Can of worms. Which is why I have an announcement to make. Sonic the Hedgehog is a bit- <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was referencing the Sonic uh, fan dub thing, but it didn't really work because I didn't know the exact lines, and you you did. Can you get the point? This just feels like by the books cliche sports movie thing where after a long time of thinking yeah. about it, I've decided I made a really hard decision that I am going to have my best season ever and that builds you up to thinking he's going to yeah. quit and then he just I'm like yeah. yeah I made a big decision I decided that I am going to do the exact same thing I've always done yeah. it's got all the fancy bells and whistles that the kids are training on these days yeah what, how did how, how did the cars build a training center it's it's a pay phone with video conferencing how well, it makes sense because they can't hold a phone well but they had phones in the first movie like uh Harv which by the way remember Harv he was a character was he was chatting with McQueen on the phone in Max uh, truck or trailer, I guess is the better term. Maybe he got fired. Maybe, maybe he just quit. It was. It didn't sound really interesting. Or maybe they didn't want to get Jerry Jeremy Piven back for reasons. What reasons? I think I think he got into some controversy a couple years ago. I don't I, I don't know exactly uh, what it was, but because I remember I was I was watching Wisdom of the Crowd, which was a great show that got dicked over because shows always get dicked over and canceled. Imagine yeah, imagine a great show getting dicked over like. Man, really? Imagine that. Imagine something like that happening. Good time. Speaking of evoking the same feeling as the first movie, without directly copying it. Yeah, the fuck was that? And something else I really like about this scene that I feel like I never see anybody point out, in stark contrast to the first movie, you can see him deliberately going along the back roads and steering away from main highways as much as you possibly can. Shows McQueen's learned not to always live life in the fast lane and slow down and enjoy the, the sights and that's, see a lot of really beautiful locations that he otherwise wouldn't have seen if he just stuck to the highway like the first movie. Okay, I think like the backgrounds looking as beautiful as they do is kind of to the movie's detriment because you have this like someone took a picture and slapped some fucking talking cars on it. I don't say that. Because that, that's, that's the problem I have with good dinosaurs that the environments yeah. are gorgeous but then you have this cartoon dinosaur design and the two things are clashing against each other. I don't think it's as bad here, but I definitely see where you're coming from with that. It's certainly an element of that in this movie. So, like, I understand that they're cards, but are they, like, hybrid living things? Brooks, what did, what did we say about talking about the world no, building like, of seriously, cars? No, seriously, man. Yeah, seriously, how, man. Did, how did know. the cars... So, I don't have the answers for you, Brooks, and I guarantee you the filmmakers don't either. I don't have any clue about the specifics of how this works. Some serious time. Hey, Nathan Fillion, also known as Buck from Halo 3 ODST, and a lot of other. Yeah, I, I I go out of my way to watch things that he's in. Nathan Fillion's Maybe. awesome. Oh, that's what I do for Jeremy Lee. For some reason, I know him more from Destiny. What else is he in? The, the Rookie, which is on ABC, that I, that's a show I really like. He's in Gravity Falls, of all things. He plays a pretty similar role there that he does here, honestly. Look, I'm not confusing him with, with anyone. He is in Destiny, right? Yes, he's K6. Hey, like, whatever you do, don't drive like my brother. Don't drive like my brother! <laughs> it's such a nice callback, but again, think of what it would have been like if we had another, if we had Cars 2 with them as well, and it was a whole trilogy thing. Yeah. I get that they wanted to ignore Cars 2, but, like, at the very least, they should have had Mater on call with Holly in the post credit scene or something. Anything to, sh to acknowledge that, yes, Cars 2 did in fact happen. <laughs> in order to make the jar, you have to, like, turn sand into glass, which I don't know how a car is gonna do that. So is this guy the villain or what? I wouldn't say that Cars 3 has a villain. Yeah. Would he be the villain? I don't know, I feel like Jackson Storm probably fits that role a bit more. Yeah. It's not really- I wouldn't say Chick Hicks is the villain of Cars 1 either. It's much more about the protagonist than it is more- The race more cars don't have blank callback. Yeah, race cars don't have phones, but normal cars do. 
I'm glad that the, they're supportive of him in this show. Not show, movie. They're not just like laugh you out the door. Cars built virtual reality. I don't even, I don't, I, 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 I Yeah, they <laughs> built this, they built this simulation. DL24 GTS. Puts fours in a shame, huh, Neil? Yeah, <laughs> okay. Relax. <laughs> I don't have millions of dollars for a simulator. <laughs> Nor do any of us have the room to actually <laughs> spit that thing in our in our homes. Pixar has a, made a huge missed opportunity of not making that an actual game. It is weird that they didn't even try to make a VR game for uh, for Cars 3. Although, I, I say that, but then I realize that VR and racing doesn't really... Uh... <laughs> VR racing sounds like a cruel way to punish people. Uh, <laughs> Two days later, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe now supports Whoa. Heavy and Lunabo VR! I am a fluffy cloud. I am a fluffy cloud. There you go! Here come the bugs, Kurt. You ready? I kept my eyes open this time. I'm sick again, Gabriel. See? Coco! I thought it was about to just be the music, and I'm like, bro. <laughs> Cruz. Oh, hey, Mr. Sterling! This better not turn into Lightning McCheats on Sally. I hope not. No, that's not happening. Shut up. I hope not. Why does the McCheats actually sound like a meal from McDonald's? Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. I'm cheating it. Yeah, I'll take three of the McCheats. I'm broken down. Hey! With flabby tires. I do not. Use that! Whoa! I call you. My senior project. You're what? Yeah, you're like a real- you're like a boomer. Have you considered that you're old? Have you considered that you're old? And four. And rest. It's like we fit. <laughs> measuring. 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 What? He's the- he's the- it's the Wii balance board. I was confused. I assume you never played Wii Fit? No, I did! I just was like, where was that coming from? Yeah, my aunt had Wii Fit, I would always go over to her house to play it. Yeah, a friend of mine st still has my Wii balance board. That's- that's a shame, because now I can't play the only freaking Wii game that's made for blind people. This thing's only going like five miles an hour! We'll work up to the higher speeds right after you take your nap! <laughs> you mentioned earlier that they have respect for McQueen. And then we look at this and I'm like, do they though? Do, do they, they though? though? It's just, it's it's hard to look at McQueen as an old guy when he looks exactly the same yeah. as he did. Yeah. McQueen is not impressed. McQueen's like, I'm going to literally run you over. Now my friend has some rockets strapped to his ass that might be useful in a second. Do those still exist? Do we know if they do? Well... Cars on the road would have you think that they're gone, but... Mm. Wait until you can handle it, please. There are no shortcuts. All right, my star racer is on the simulator. Well, let's see you take it out for a spin. Right oh, away, boy. Mr. I foresee this going only well. I don't know about you. I don't know about you. I agree. He's gonna crash in. He's like, scenario. okay. She literally was just like, fuck it. I'll prove you wrong. <laughs> sure, why not? Yeah, the walls may being made out of glass will surely not be an issue here. You have hit, you have hit a wall. You have hit a wall. Fine, Cruz, I can do it, okay? I don't believe you when you tell me that. I, I really don't believe that, you when you tell me that, McQueen. Cool. Have this going. A drinking fountain. Wow, they really worked a lot of the simulation. They though. really <laughs> programmed a murder simulator. You are going the wrong way. <laughs> it's it's, it's yeah. like in Wii wow. Sports Bowling when you throw the ball behind you. Oh, oh god. My. Goodness! That's a couple million dollars. A you couple have million crashed! Dollars down the You train. have costed our company a million dollars. <laughs> he probably has that just sitting around, let's be honest. No, reference. Actually, now that you mentioned it, I didn't see the A113 reference in the last two Cars movies. A113 is Mato's license plate. It's a car it, it was also on the train, I think? Yes, it was also on the train in Cars 1. Cars 2 is probably somewhere else on the I think it's on the tail fin of the plane. I also think it might be on the screen where they show off the engine for the first time. The mixer <laughs> Oh my god. We're the My Lightning McQueen Crocs. Lightning McQueen everything. I, I was about to say, I mean, really, is Lightning Mc McGrill any any less absurd than Lightning McLean that they were sold, selling in Japan? <laughs> it said Mr. McLean. Mr. Sterling, what is this about? I'm not gonna race you. What? Hold on, hold on. I'm not going to Florida? Lightning. I have no idea how excited I was to get you here because it's gonna be the comeback story of the year, but your speed and performance just aren't where they need to be. Your racing days are coming to an end. You've done the work. Now move on to the next phase and reap the reward. The racing is the reward, not the stuff. And I, I want to feel the rush of moving 200 miles an hour, inches from the other guys. That's the reward, Mr. Sterling. I'll train like I did with Doc. I'll get my tires dirty on every dirt track from here to Florida. I can start right there on Fireball Beach where all the old greats used to race. Sacred dirt, 
right? Okay, he said that sounded crazy. He said sacred dirt. There's tons of stuff like that in the real world where people will take little bits and pieces of things and it'll be like, the yeah. most important thing in the world because of the historic relevance they have. Yeah, exactly. Like, the sacred dirt is sacred. It might not be the best track ever, but at least it's dirt cheap. <sighs> but if I do win, I decide when I'm done. Deal. At least he was willing to give him a shot. More so just to entertain him, but he, he still Yeah, he's has... like, you're gonna lose, so I don't give a shit. He really only does cause, just because he's really confident that he won't be able to hold up his end of the bargain. Cars on the beach. He, she's so supportive. I mean, there's no humans in this world, so it shouldn't matter. Like, the pollution doesn't, doesn't affect anyone. The decision to have Luigi and Guido and not anybody else, I find that very strange. Well, they just wanted to get Mater out of the picture, let's be honest. Which I really don't. Like, I know why, but it's... Sucks. Knowing why makes it worse. Get what the fuck was that? The was that the PlayStation 2 startup sound no, effect? No, that was the Mac startup sound effect. Yeah, because Steve Jobs, Apple, Apple and Disney equally bad companies. Microsoft isn't much better. At least I can use Microsoft's operating system without wanting to kill myself. Fair enough. Try using a Mac without blowing your brains out. When I went to to my new school, I had to do a test to see if I was capable of going to that course, and it was on a freaking Mac because of course. They were. The main computers for our high school were Mac. Like yeah, they like Mac. Everything. The engineering room had Windows operating systems because, you know, the engineers are smart. The rest of the school was all Mac stuff. Yeah, but a lot of my teachers do have Macs, and I don't understand why. Aw, Cruz. Cruz isn't living up to her name right now. Cruz ain't cruising. She's cruising for a bruising. What? Damn. Oh dear lord. Oh, dear. A very clever way to make this a pseudo training montage. And ease him into that role. Out of range. Now what? I didn't want to hit a crab. You gotta be kidding. But there's crabs? I mean, it's a beach. Are they also cars? Or are they little I, submarines? I probably. Know. They probably are. The fucking flies Bruce, are cars. At what point will you learn to stop asking questions about this stuff? I'll never no. stop asking. What needs to be known, Trevor? The flies are cars. There's fly cars in this world that no one talks about. We need to pull a Pixar employee in here, man. Get Burke's answers. And yeah, you're right, Gagonic. It is. It's great that this scene doubles up its two different purposes, and it's a very, very gradual easing him into the role he ultimately takes up at the end of the movie. It's still not apparent quite where things are headed yet. The intent of that whole, that whole thing was just to make sure she could keep up with him long enough to actually track his speed. There's no ulterior motives for the moment. For the moment. That doesn't sound... Thunder Hollow, that sounds like a really happy place. If the press find you, they will be like many, many bugs on you. Paparazzi. Paparazzi. I am a master of this guy. Oh no, Don Paolo is here. Here's one thing about Cars 3 is that Brad Paisley didn't get to write any lyrical songs, but he did get to write two instrumentals. This, mm. and then uh, the thing they play during the, the next big event that's gonna happen, and he right. kills both of them. Okay, Trevor, we'll have to make uh, lyrics for this. Three, two, one, go. No, I'm too tired to do that. I, I think being tired will make you it make it easier for you to- I'm honestly to amazed I'm still awake right now. I thought for I'm sure I would fall asleep I'm amazed you're still alive, right honestly. We always let our guests start. Right up for dum dum. Oh, don't worry, you totally won't <laughs> die like everyone else in Cars 2. Did. Trevor, what, what is it with Cars and Nathan references? What? Because in Cars 2, you mentioned that the it was a latent oh. movie moment, and here is Don Paolo, Master of the Skies. Brad Paisley just kills it on the guitar. Give him a guitar and he'll dun, shred dun, 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 every dun, dun, time. Dun. No cursing, it's family night. Family night. Oh, great. No fucking cursing. This is probably my least favorite part of the movie, just because it, it feels very much like a random episodic adventure. I mean, it's still better than anything Cars on the Road gave us, but yeah. How many people did you make watch Cars on the Road with you? I forced Avert, Guganic, OJ, and Waffles to watch that pile of garbage with me. Damn. Trevor, are you really just confessing your crimes to FG? <laughs> just casually. Absolutely. Don't confess confessing. anything. Yeah, casually. Yeah, I tied him to the chair, fucking forced him to watch Cars on the Road. I don't know that there's anything major about my life I, she doesn't know about me. <laughs> that that was an interesting Candace laugh. <laughs> we need to know, what is Trevor's first name? I wonder. <laughs> what? You'll never crack that one. Get scared! Turn right to go left! Turn right to go left! That doesn't make any sense! Go right to go left. It literally doesn't make any sense. That is the main thing about demolition derbies, that it teaches crews turn right to go left is a thing. You didn't need to do that in a demolition derby. It's like still needs to be like entertaining for children too. You it's not a terrible part of the movie, it's just feels like it has the least- it has the weakest thematic link to the, their characters' journeys throughout the story. No, 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 no. 
Oh boy. Piss of blood out. Previously, this movie did not have as much death as Cars 2, so they needed to live up to it. They really did not sign up for no, this. No, not the stop sign. Imagine if all it took to beat him was just pulling up a stop sign, like bending in the ink machine, just showing the yeah, last stop. rail. Oh. Uh oh. Ah, there he is. Hello. Waffles came back. There he is. And now we have a full house until Waffles inevitably leaves in two seconds. Oh. Does that mean that cars ride inside cars to go to school? Yeah, so Trevor, so Trevor, this is what the school buses are doing when they're not picking up children. I don't even know the small cars would be able to fit inside that school bus. Don't think about it, please. I, I was wondering why my school buses are always such in shit condition, but like now I know. Because they're doing this on their off time. Oh. Uh-oh. And of course, it's used water directly at him. <laughs> directly at him. The car, the classic cars can be. Could not have been more perfectly aimed directly at him. Run, lightning, run! Well, run, the jig's bitch, up. Run. Well, that failed. That could not have gone worse. I guess they could have died, but other than that. Yeah, he could have literally came back in a peep of scrap parts. Why is that bad for his publicity, though? He wasn't supposed to get caught. Yeah, but why not? Uh, oh, Racer goes to Demolition Derby. He's totally not down bad. Comparing a situation where it's Lightning McQueen is training at the top of the line facility to become the best he can for the, his first big race versus McQueen is sticking around at a Demolition Derby <laughs> slathered in mud with a gear stuck in his tires. One of those looks much better than the other. Yeah. Well, yeah, but like, it's still a demolition derby. That, that, that's something. Something doesn't necessarily mean it's better than nothing. Okay, but in a demolition derby, at least he's somewhat practicing racing, so. What he's actually doing doesn't really matter compared to how it looks to other people. Yeah. Because his reasoning is sound, but it's not going to look that way to the rest of the world. And you can't put it back together because you have tire hands. It's making you wonder how they even put it together in the first place. Uh -oh. <laughs> exactly, but we don't ask world building questions, do we, Trevor? I, you know what? You're the one who mentioned the damn trophy. I was gonna let it go. I was gonna let it go, but then you opened the floodgates. I sure did. I used to watch you on TV, flying through the air. You seemed so fearless. Dream small, Cruz. That's what my family used to say. Dream small or not at all. They were just trying to protect me. But I was the fastest kid in town and I was gonna prove them wrong. When I got to my first race, I figured it out that I didn't belong. The other racers looked nothing like me. You know, they, they were bigger and, and stronger and so confident. That was it. I knew I'd never be a racer. I just left. It was my one shot and I didn't take it. Cruz very easily could have been a character that just slotted into the role of new racer looking to make it big, but they really put in the legwork to make sure she was an actual character with motivations and a backstory and... Not as complex a character as Finn McMissile, though. Who? Finn McMissile is my role model. He is my idol. Who the fuck is Finn McMissile? You already forgot. Forget I mean, she is forgetful gal, though. And a gradual escalation of her abilities and competency as a racer. That scene was really good. Yes. Like, that probably might be my favorite scene of the franchise up to now. Finding yet another way to embarrass himself at a demolition derby. Yeah, this is what I mean about optics. Like, looking at these pictures, especially when yeah, you're like, someone- Yeah, you're down bad. You fell off. I mean, Chick Hicks also fell off. He used to be Michael. And now, I don't even know who voices him now. Keiko Meaton. Even if he does race, McQueen's probability of winning is 1.2 per- Damn. Oh, I'll take those odds. So you're saying there's a chance. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, duh, he sounds exactly like him. It's, it's Bob Pearson, the guy who voices Mr. Ray in Finding Nemo. He sounds exactly like him. I also like how that person says numbers never lie, but 1.2% chance is still pretty good odds considering the position he's in. Yeah, like, I'd show up if there was some chance. Some chance is better than no chance, and right now, Lightning needs any chance he can get. True. Hey, it's the- it's, it's Why are the, 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 the icons picture? even there? How- how do they click on them? Yeah, I, how the hell did they do that? Also, shouldn't be, it be voice activated? Also, we apparently forgot that everything is voice activated nowadays. Maybe yeah, that's what I was, that's exactly what I just said. I, it Maybe. shouldn't it be vo voice activated. Maybe they've been scarred out of the voice activation since Cars 2. Yeah. Some people just aren't as receptive to new technology. I, 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 I still don't have a, a phone that has face recognition technology, and I don't really want to. I, I don't want to upgrade one unless I'm forced to eventually. I eventually upgraded just because my phone just like couldn't handle things anymore. I was forced to upgrade when I broke my- well, I actually upgraded- I told my parents I'd upgrade when I graduated, and then I was forced to upgrade again when I broke my phone. I have a phone with fingerprint recognition instead. Dude, that was a- oh. I remember in 6th grade when the iPhone 5S first came out, and the, the first kid to get that was was like the coolest kid in town, because he had a super secret spy thing where he, you could use your thumb to open up your phone. Whoa, oh so my god, cool. so cool. <laughs> So cool, dude! 
The iPhone 6 was the best. I was- I still have an iPhone 6. An iPhone 6 is the best phone. Is Neil the only Android user in this? Possibly. I got into my friend's phone at school by taking his phone, tapping it, swiping up, and say, Hey, look at this! And then he looked into the Face ID and unlocked it. Anyway, we kind of talked over, but I like that scene with McQueen and Mater. It, you know, it honestly sets up a better version of what Cars on the Road should have been, because him talking about how he can't do this to get forever, and what him and Mater are gonna do when he's not always out racing around the world. That could have been a lead into a Cars on the Road show where McQueen and Mater get to explore the world by themselves now that he's retired. The beginning of Cars how the hell did you is about a Cars on the Road. How the fuck did he fix the trophy? What? Stop uh, stealing my nines. I no, just no, no, said no, no, that. No. Of a I did not hear it. Whatever. No, I didn't hear it either. I'm just blocking Waffles with it. I like this too. I know he's doing the same thing she was doing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I yelled. It wasn't your fault. Oh, so I'm not tired anymore, killed. so now I can actually pay attention to, mo to the movie. Yeah, that's the most Canadian song of all time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wait, so is, uh, Hudson, is Hudson Horn it, like, dead or something? Yes, Brex. Yes, Brex. He's dead. Daddy finally Thank picked you. up on me. Uh, I didn't know. So how does, like, a car decompose? Does a car- do cars decompose? <laughs> does a car die? Will the car decompose? Like, how does it work? They were used for parts or crushed or used to- I mean, cars do wear out- Yeah, and eventually time. your car- your car's not gonna last forever. I know, but would it, like, just decompose or something? Like, what happens to the car Well, in Cars 2, they showed that one guy being put in, made into a box. Actually, that's kind of horrifying, thinking that pe that the dead parts of cars are just reused for more cars. I... <sighs> you know what organ donors are, right? Fine. Yeah, but point. that's like that's like a whole body donor right there. <laughs> well, it's obviously not body donated. So, so hold it's on. It's not no. body donation if the cars aren't used. So, or, donating organs is functionally no different than donating the parts of a car after a car de breaks down and doesn't work anymore. I mean, I guess if you consider the uh, so what's what's on the inside of the car? And that's where I am no longer useful to this conversation. You see, like, do they can they open their doors? What would be well, <laughs> just the front. The front, seat, the front seat has a drink holder filled with organs. Here, before I say this, I just want to draw attention real quick. This shot, not this one, but this one coming up where you can see them both whiz past the water. That is one of my favorite shots in the entire yeah. Cars trilogy. In Cars on the Road, you can see Mater open his own door, but you don't actually see what's inside. It's... Ugh. He just opens up the door and there's a bunch of organs. Hola, Smokey. So, like, would their brains fall out and all that? I, I'll, I'll take the human analogy. The human dies, and then they take the human, and then they just, like, build another human out of it. Like, the human's made of other- the dead humans. I think it's far more likely that if a car breaks down in this world, it's functions much more similar to the human world, where not every car is- they're not gonna- Yeah, like the new generation of racers, they're not using old car parts for that. If they were using the same tech from the old cars, then I think McQueen would stand a bit of a better chance than he does. But then there's the chicken and the egg thing, is who's manufacturing cars? Let's not. Let's just- I don't. Well, Let's I just think. leave it there. This fucking forklift killing it right now. Brooks, this is the spiritual successor to Lifty. Do you remember Lifty? No. How could you forget Lifty? Yeah, Who's literally, Lifty? how does Lifty exit your brain storage? Remember in Halo Reach, we got the forklifts in the last level and we got it as far oh as Oh the... my god, Lifty. How dare you forget the legend known I as Lifty. I can't believe I forgot about Lifty. Who's Lifty? A beautiful, beautiful story. <laughs> Makes me cry. When I played Halo Reach with Brooks for the first time, there was a forklift in, in the last level. We wanted to try to get it as close to to the end of the level as we could, and we almost made it as just one staircase that screwed us over. Should have thrown a grenade at it and seen if it had gone up the stairs. I don't care if it's destroyed, I just want his body across. Okay. Could have rocket launched that boy up there. See, I don't rocket... care if my kid's dead, I just care if it's there. But yeah, I, Doc died before Cars 2 because Paul Newman passed away before Cars 2. So he has a different voice actor in this movie? No, it's it's just recycled lines from uh, for the first movie. Really? One of yeah. those clips I did not recognize. Well, I should also say it's recycled from the first movie and also recycled from things that weren't used in the first movie. Uh, uh, kind of like Toy Story 4. Scenes. For Potato Head, except that it was, it's done significantly better here. Also, he did a flip that was cool. Uh, I wonder if that's gonna come back later. I wish I could have seen him like that. So happy. Aww. 
All right, so after this, we're watching Indiana. We're doing the Indiana Jones feature. So no, after this, I'm going to bed. Uh, after this, I got a stream. After this, it's no, Cars no, no. 4. You stay in this call. Yeah, Cars Four gets announced. Shadow drops <laughs> the day in the middle of the recording. <laughs> they start shadow dropping movies. <laughs> Surprise! New Cars trilogy out today. Yeah, Cars Four. Tonight. Cards 5 and 6, while you're sleeping. And 7 and 8. Joe will never go to bed. Anytime he tries to sleep, a new ghost comes up. <laughs> then one day, the letters started coming in, and every last one of them was about you. I loved racing, but coaching you? I'd never seen the old grump so happy. Racing wasn't the best part of Hud's life. You were. You ready to blow out a little carbon there, boy? Yes, I am. Too much trouble, you in the tunnel. You might want to take notes on it. <laughs> you got a lot of stuff, kid. I'm sorry, I don't like how how much detail they put into Lightning's eyes. It just Dude, do they have something one off eye about with it. two pupils? No, I feel like the moment this ruined, but I was gonna say that I actually almost got to your eye there. I was not expecting that. No, yeah, but look, no, but no, but actually about eyes though. Is it that they do have one eye with two pupils? Yeah, it's a Sonic thing. So does Sonic have one eye? Also, also, I just don't like how like how like their eyes have so much detail in it. It just. What do you mean by that? Like the irises? Uh, that's fine. I'm sorry. Just something about it. Just it, it, it creeps me out. I don't. It's just uh. the eyes creep you out. Yes. They, they look perfectly normal to me. I, yeah, I don't get it. Of all things I expected to talk about after that scene, eyes was not one of them. <laughs> no. Go ahead and gun it. Okay, maybe not that much. Go ahead and gun it. Explode. <laughs> Spontaneously combusts. He's drawn to the tracks. I can put you into the old folks' home again. What is <laughs> that? Well, she, she, <laughs> sure, she sure did take up the mantle of responsibility. She knows how to play the part. You know, training montages can often be kind of predictable and lame, but and I don't cheesy. know. Every time this movie does one of those, it consistently feels engaging to watch. There's always something else happening under the surface. Like in this scene, for instance, there's more going on here than just lightning trying to make his way through a herd of tractors that you'll see towards the end. Just to make sure it's not understated, the scene where lightning sees the impact that he had on Doc's life without him even realizing it is... Great. Phenomenal. Nothing short of phenomenal. Drafting? I've never had to do that. That's when you were fast. Now That's when you were fast, aw. The new you has to look for opportunities. You never knew were there. Yeah, okay, Boomer. Yeah, that one- Fell off plus three. Yeah, that was when you you were cool, but now you fell off. The window! When the window opens, take it! Yay, literal windows of opportunity, yeah. A window into the future. Well, it's not really like that. It's more like if an opportunity, or it's more like if an opening takes, you have to take it. But it, it works on both a, a surface level and a subtextual thematic level. I guess, yeah. Jesus. Just casual attempted murder during your training. Yeah. Yeah, that anchor. I was about to say, like, what if it just hit him? That he'd just die. Mighty McQueen dies during his training. He <laughs> fucking dies. Will not compete. <laughs> I forgot to mention during Cars 2, there was originally going to be a much darker opening scene. You actually see Leland Turbo get compressed, like Jesus. on on camera. And they took it out. Why? Probably because they didn't want to terrify children after the incinerator scene came out last year. When John Lasseter was going hog wild there. He was like, "Oh yeah." We're see, Le Leon Critch is like, "I don't care. Kids are kids are mature enough to be able to handle this stuff." John Lasseter yeah, is like, "Kids, kids, 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 watch The Shining." Let's take it back a minute. There's still gonna be death. We just can't visualize it. I like how it all tears off. I believe I can that, fly. That, that, is a, that is a really neat shot. Didn't he pull this when he was a rookie? This is my grandfather told me. See, lines like that make me question how old McQueen is supposed to be. My grandfather told me he was. Yeah. He, he, like, he looks and sounds exactly the same. Exactly the McQueen same. McQueen has to be like really old, not like sixty. I'd say McQueen's probably in his like forty. Like I just don't, I just don't see it. We need to like have a video on Mike McQueen's age. I am not making. A we are gonna find out. Bring the overtake map pat and make our own theory channel. But that's just game theory. Someone commented on the Blue's Big City Adventure commentary. 
that apparently MatPat actually tried to reconcile the inconsistency in Blue's Clues lore, that it Blue is an alien that was gifted abilities by the Magic Moon that was then teleported into a storybook that was then given to Steve as a gift for some reason. Uh -huh. It's like, oh, is that what happened now? <laughs> Are you sure? Okay. Are you sure about that? I'm willing to listen and hear him out, but I'd, I'd need to see the video. Which I don't feel like doing. Well, you can check out Style Theory instead. We can find out the secret to Hulk's past. Which is Spider-Man. Hey, uh, boss, it's time to hit the road. I want to thank everyone for the training. You'll be fine, I believe in you. I know how this movie ends. <laughs> I think everyone in this call knows how this movie ends. Yeah. No, I don't. Oh, uh, you're in for something. Refrain from spoilers. I, I, I literally, I, I literally said that I knew nothing about this movie except for that it exists. But the That's thing is that I did. Movie, okay, this, when, this movie is doing so, a miracle and making Florida look good. So everyone make it is, so Trevor can't talk. Yeah, so, Trevor did so, mention I, it before. I guess Trevor's just not allowed to say anything. One of the biggest things about Cars on the Road is that it completely nullifies this movie's ending. And I know I talked about that when, when I showed you guys it, but if you don't remember, that's that's good. That means you can experience the ending yeah. for the first time. I am Snail. I am Snail. Snail! I'll call you Snail. That's a Phineas and Ferb reference. <laughs> I forgot Sally was in this movie. Wow, nice costume. Come here, let's get a picture. She's not a fan, Storm. I heard you're selling mud flaps after today. I don't feel comfortable calling either Jackson Storm or Sterling yeah. a villain. They're more cocky. Yeah, they are very cocky. Before I would say asshole, but he doesn't really- He's nothing compared to Shakik. <laughs> I mean, it's funny because he's, he's acting like how Lightning McQueen acted at the beginning of the first movie. So my big prediction going into Cars 3 was that the crash would actually happen towards the end of the movie, and then Jackson Storm would get to do what McQueen did to him. Rectify mm -hmm. how his cocky behavior was throughout the course of the movie. But what they ended up going with was way better than that, so that's fine. In fact, it kind of just goes to show how unimportant Storm really is in the grand scheme of things. It's like Chick Hicks, he's, he's there. He's a plot device. He's the he's plot, a plot device. device. Cruz, what are you doing here? I was I'd like just you to head back to the training center right away. I want to stay and watch. That's not going to happen, Cruz. B but Mr. McQueen still has a chance. Just go do your job. Yes, sir. Take out that spoiler and those racing tires. You look ridiculous. You are a trainer, remember? Not a racer. She's not a racer. She's a traitor. The sad music. I, I say that like I don't like this sequence a lot. I wanted to become a racer forever because of you. Because of you. Everything she says is echoing, echoing, echoing. Oh, there's a crash in progress. Pay attention, Lightning. Pookie, I need Cruz. Call from Chester Whipplefilter. Chester Whipplefilter? Mr. McQueen? No, not me. Come on, guys, get her set up, quickly! Okay, Wait, what's happened? Are they cheating? No, you just have to have the number and you can go You up. know, it's like in football, right? You just change them up. Surely that's how it works, right? She's just a trainer! No, she's a racer. This took me a while to see it. That can't be legal! The rules only say the number has to be out there. Doesn't say who has to wear it. No, you... Is this legal? <laughs> I don't... Is this legal, actually? Well, Okay, in real life, no. As long as the rules are set as the way they are stated, maybe. Mater's only in this movie to annoy this guy. That rule wouldn't- should never fly, because if it is a- if all that needs to happen is that the number has to be on the car, then why wouldn't every team just have a second car on standby to sub in yeah. halfway oh, through the absolutely. race? It's- it's very- a very stupid rule. It also wasn't even set up. It's just very clearly, like, ADR- well, not ADR, but- It was a throwaway line to try it's to justify it. Definitely not legal. But what matters is that it works so perfectly for both of their characters. Yes. There's no other way this movie could have ended. Also, they're, they're using the, the music, the thing, remember. I can't wait, I can't wait for Cars 4 to come along and ruin this, even though it's already been ruined in Cars on the Road. They'll double ruin it. Any other ending they could have gone with for this movie would have felt like a band-aid solution and it wouldn't have really resolved anything. Yeah. This is the best way they possibly could have ended his story. <laughs> ended his story, <laughs> Cruz, what are you doing? Cruz, Cruz forgot how to drive. The stage fry and all that. The school bus of death is after her. What? No. Trust me. Tell her the school bus of death is after her. They sh they show very gradually that McQueen understands Cruz. He knows what makes her tick, and he knows what he needs to say to get her in the right headspace for this. I want to see if one of these cars put on that headset. Walk me through the process of how the <laughs> hell they get that on their head. I'm a fluffy cloud. I'm a fluffy cloud. There's something really satisfying about the animation of her loosening up. It's so seemingly simple, but it just really sells it. 
Tell her she's on a beach and all the little crabbies have gone. All the little crabbies have gone night night. <laughs> <laughs> like, is this guy fucking lost his mind? All right, walk me through the steps of how you put the uh, headset in him, <laughs> on him. Oh yeah, that's true. This is nothing like the simulator. No, that that's why the simulator is useless. That exactly. Wait, you mean to tell me that playing a racing game can't teach you how to drive? <laughs> you tell me video games don't cause violence? <laughs> well, it could teach you how to drive. Racing is a completely different thing than just like open track. Yeah, exactly. It's like riding an exercise bike and then using that to ride a real bike. It doesn't work. But I, as, as I told you guys already, I, I, I very much on purpose choose to not get a driver's license because I just don't want to endanger other human beings. <laughs> Oof. Thank you very much. My parents forced me to get a driver's license, so I only have my beginners, but still. Driving in Canada fucking roads is shit. In Canada, you have potholes. If there's not potholes, there's fucking shitty ass drivers, and then if not, there's ice, and if not, it's all three. Good luck. <laughs> 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 the, the hat trick of pain. Yeah, it's it's the whole it's the unholy trinity of bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I, this shot right here, I love. Oh, <laughs> it's it's not even about McQueen. It's that it's just that look of understanding between Sally and Mayor that they yeah. see they a sense of joy and purpose that they haven't seen in him in a long time. Ramirez up the four in four. Huh. His confidence is just slowly whittling down bit by bit. Costume girl! Don't listen to him, Cruz. You look good. You can play dress up all you want, but you'll never be one of us. Now let him get in your head, Cruz. And thus his fate was sealed. Listen to me. You got into his head. He would never have done that if you didn't scare him. He sees something in you that you don't even see in yourself. You made me believe it. Now you gotta believe it too. You are a racer. Use that. I actually forgot how emotional I get when I see this ending. I really wasn't expecting to be this good. You know, Trevor, it's very refreshing to do a, a movie marathon and and have the f the final movie be the good one. Come on, Cruz! Oh, no. Not winning this. Ah, uh, you're angry. I said I'm not angry. Oh, I don't think so. No. Ay, um, ay, ay. Right here, coming up. You don't belong on this track. Yes, I do. The flip. Oh my god. Here's the shot. Now she yeah. is. Okay, you how did do they it, make Chris. Hey, How do they make fireworks? How do they set off fireworks? What the fuck? Y you are not ruining this ending by making me think about I how- I am ruining- I am ruining the ending for Avar, you. Can, you, can I help you ruin the ending? What do I have to make him think about? How? Not anything. Hey, how about your statistics there, Miss Certain? Hey, at least she did give- they give the 95 team a 1%, you know? You no, know, there was still a chance. More like uncertain, am I right? Go ahead. Give me some smoke. Don't suffocate yourself, Cruz. You just made it to the end. Cruz! I knew! Uh -huh. Cut Chiga. Ah, <laughs> yeah, about that. Ah, 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 oh, you are, you have been my best friend. I knew you since before you were cool. I would be tickled pink to have you race for Team Dynaco. We have a long history of great racers, except for Cal. I'm still here! Yeah, remember that joke they made all the way back at the beginning of the, the comeback thing? Well, here it is. Hang on, there's someone managed to put a TV up there. Oh. I don't know how they did that. Someone put the TV up there. I don't know how they made the TV or put it up there. If you break down the logic of precisely the circumstances that allow this switch to happen, it doesn't. It, it, this could never no. have actually. No, absolutely not. But it's uh, so good. It's worth it. It's what worth matter? It. What matters is that it's the. Oh, and this. I'm, I'm just gonna let you enjoy this for yourself. Kid's got a lot of stuff. Hey, Doc. Uh... <laughs> You're, you're allowed to get away with a few logical issues if the core of your characters are oh, strong. Absolutely. And the core of- the character's core for this movie is stronger than they've ever been. But their real core is full Damn, of- Damn! Look at that Dynaco. <laughs> Dynaco and Doc's number. Eh. It was McQueen's idea. He felt HUD would've wanted you to have it. I love it. It's very old school. Somebody say old school. Damn! <laughs> 
the fabulous Lightning McQueen for Doc Hudson. Resties. Nice. Maybe it's a little on the nose. Yeah. It's, it's, I think I like that it's on the nose. It's super, super over I feel like this movie deserves for it to be on the nose at this point. I sure hope he keeps that paint job forever. So what I'm hearing is that I shouldn't watch Cars on the Road. Don't ever fucking no, watch Cars no. on the Road. No, Never. <laughs> What an amazing movie. What else did Brian Fee direct? Cars on the Road! How the fuck? <laughs> oh, I remember now. Bullshit. Whoa, they have little car children? Why is John Lasseter still in the credits? Look at all Cruz's trophies. Did Disney, like, force him to keep him being a racist? I don't know. So, now that we've finally come to the end of our Cars Marathon, what did we all think of Cars? I, uh, I do want to give it a bit more time because I might I might be getting recency bias, but this might be my favorite one. I like this one the best. This uh, this is definitely my favorite. This one. one's an eight point five. I'm still putting one ahead. Also, apparently, while we were watching this, someone named Ricky Stenhouse Jr. snapped the 199 race winless streak at the the, the the Daytona 500 today. Wait, what happened at the Daytona what? 500? The racer who won snapped a 199 race winless streak. Oh, cool. So this is still my favorite out of the three. This is my favorite too. Oh yeah, Trevor, Trevor, I, was, I know I was gonna ask you. Uh, what are the IMDb scores for the three Cars movie? From memory, I think it's 7.1, 6.2, and then 6.7, but I'll check again. Cars 1 is 7.2 out, out of 10, Cars 2 is 6.2 out of 10, and Cars 3 has a 6.7 out of 10. Uh, no, 3 should be way higher. Uh, yeah, Cars 3 doesn't cars even two, have a just 7. Just a little what? bit lower, just a little bit. Wait, why doesn't Cars 3 even have a 7? It's a Pixar movie and also like a crowd-pleasing movie. I don't see how someone could come out of this movie. I, like I, I guess it's kind of like Sonic. Uh, Cars has got the, its repetition ruined, so you're allowed to just treat everything like shit. So Neil, are you still partial to the first movie, or is this has this moved up your? I'd rankings? have to say they're. It's a pretty close tie. I mean, I like the first one because of, you know, nostalgia, but this is a pretty good tie. I think what I'd say is that Cars 3 is probably the best of the trilogy, but I, my nostalgic attachment to the first one will probably keep that as my favorite of the bunch. But what, what Cars 3 does for McQueen's character and how it brings everything to such a perfect conclusion cannot be overstated. It's magnificent. Yeah. And they did a really good job incorporating, like, Doc back into it. Because I really miss Doc. And it's cool how they did it, like, correctly. Like, bringing the character back correctly. Doc and the Rusties, guys. I just, I wish they had more time than what they did for it to really hit home, but they still made great use of what they had left. Biggest problem with the three Cars movies, though, that runs through all of them, is that the world building is fundamentally flawed. And even though the writing is really yeah. good in the third movie, that still doesn't change the fact that how the fuck did the Cars build Okay, this? but how who cares that, about know? the world building? It's a movie! It's not real life! Who cares? I don't care. I don't care about your not real life bullshit. They should have put more thought into it. It's fine. That movie's still good. You can't, you can't acknowledge these flaws. These glaring fucking flaws like they're talking the cars film. they're talking cars it makes it literally doesn't make sense but it works trevor when you get when you get 10 billion subscribers you need to invite a pixar dev to get brooke answers <laughs> to his questions man. i'm telling you they wouldn't know i need answers as to how they make car babies Ex what i don't okay. want okay. to know is i want to know how cars fuck What's going on? Oh my goodness. No, you don't. Oh, no, we don't need to know that. Some world building questions are best unanswered, okay? If there was ever a person on this know. planet who would want to know the answer, it would be you, you, No, I want to know too. I don't want to- I don't want to see carhub.com, but I just want to yes, know. I, I just want to know. Vroom hub. This- I want to visit carhub. This took a turn for the worst. As I was saying, Neil, there's something with something like Toy Story, you know how things are built because there are still humans in the world, right? So the toys, though there's not many world building problems because, okay, the toys are alive, 
Sure, there's a consistent rule to that. With here, I have so many questions because there are no humans in the world. So meaning because the cars, the cars are the humans. There you go. The cars turn into rolling anything? humans. Literally, how is it possible to build all this shit? The humans made sentient cars, and then the sentient cars killed all the humans. Okay, that's a great theory. That that's your answer, bro. No, but there's still stuff being there's still stuff being built even after the humans are gone. So how does that work? Do you th you do not think the cranes and stuff are sentient? If the planes, if there are planes that are sentient they're probably dump you saw you saw a huge ass dump truck that was sentient in the cow tipping okay so why why can't every other he heavy machinery be sentient why are the tractors more Bro, animalistic they literally had bugs that were cars like the cars that the the fact that the cars and everything is sentient isn't my concern here my concern is how they built stuff like when they don't have okay eyes, okay guess what tires. the crane now has it eyes and a mouth that's crazy. I, I, th I think you, you need more than that to be- Okay, so are you saying that Lightning McQueen got his headphones on because a random crane teleported onto the scene? Oh my goodness, who cares? Guys, if you want to copy MatPat, go for it. Do your own research, okay? Right, Brooks, Brooks, Brooks. Can we make a theory on how the cars are made? We, we should do it together. Please, please make a theory on how the cars are made. All I'm saying, I want to I wouldn't know why there are children cars and why they're smaller. If we don't it do it again- It doesn't make sense because it's not supposed to make sense. It's not supposed to make sense. Oh. Neil's got a point here, bro. Like, it is so stupid. You shouldn't be asking that. I'd like to ask it because it's funny. But, like, in the end, man, like, it doesn't matter. No. No, it matters. It, it, it definitely matters. It's hard to get immersed when you have these questions lingering in your brain. Like, it matters, but I can look past that, but it's still an issue. You can have the questions, but I don't think it's important to the plot. I'm pretty sure on the Cars DVD I have, it has, like, extras, and there were literally cavemen cars. The- <laughs> They're literally cave- Like, they're literally cavemen cars, okay? So it doesn't matter. There are no humans. It was after a war. <laughs> okay, so I got- The cavemen cars made, like, robot things that are like humans oh, to build God. things. <laughs> There's a part at the end where McQueen has the headphones on him. How did they put those on? A crane didn't teleport on him. I don't know how he put them on. Maybe he used the And we're saying that that is a problem. But it's fine. The movies are still good. Yeah, that's still a plot problem. That's less of just a random thing. That's like actually a problem. That The movie continues because of that. Exactly. Car Jesus. We know there's a car. Oh Jesus. my god, yeah, obviously car there's Jesus. a car Jesus. We saw a car Pope. We saw the car Pope, okay? So wait, wait, wait. In Cars on the Road, there was oh a car god, angel. There is a car angel in Cars on the Road. Oh my god, fuck you. That must mean road. there's car religions. Exactly. So there's <laughs> car Allah, this, this car Buddha, car Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> the longer I think about this dumbass series, the more my brain melts. Are there car fish? Are they submarines? Yes, yes. I, okay, and that would make um, sense. Yes. That would make sense. Submarine car fish. And are planes right. birds? We had a whole planes movie. Oh my goodness, oh my. But they can talk? Birds are cars, but planes are planes. <laughs> okay. Are the larger cars more intelligent? Because the smaller ones are crabs and flies, which are probably not intelligent. If we're done, I need to go. You're if not you leaving. listen to us crushing the world. <laughs> oh, no, we're figuring this out. Hey, hey. 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 hey, 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 how about we all take a chill pill for a moment? No, no, I will not chill, Trevor. I need to know. I, I really need to know what's going on here. Forgetful guy, thank you very much for accompanying me. And Wait, so are we, I just Walt, left for a moment. Please, 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 I want to talk about car please Jesus. Shut, shut up. the fuck up. I will run you I over with the car, car waffles. Forgetful gal, thank you for joining us today for this recording session. It's been a blast. Did you enjoy yourself? Yes. That's <laughs> And now great. I'm going to go take Do a you want to see my theory on car Jesus? Um, yeah, no, I'm good. Okay. I, I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll, we'll wind this down somehow. I'll see you No, soon. we won't. Okay, bye-bye. Good. Let's have fun with your car today. Bro, we need to see let ya. this man get some sleep. Okay. No, he does. He does not need sleep. You know what? You're right. I I forgot you're his doctor. I forgot you're his certified doctor and therapist, telling him he doesn't need sleep. My bad. No, if you sleep, you're weak. How about we just end it on this? It seems that we're all in agreement.
that the world building has plenty of questions. What we where the difference lies is whether or not we actually think it matters. So how about we just say this? Clearly the Cars universe wasn't very well thought out by the writers in terms of how it all was constructed, but there's plenty of other elements there in terms of the character writing that are what propel the movies up to the level of quality that they're at. You are more than welcome to take issue with the world building, and you're also more than welcome to not take issue with the world building. I don't particularly care either way. So how about we just call things off there? And conclude that there's a car, Jesus. Does a car fish know it's underwater? Jesus Good point. Christ. Two closing thoughts. One, everyone needs to comment room in the comments. And two, this series gives a whole new meaning to car sex. All right, Trevor, you make it. <laughs> okay. What? I. Uh, <laughs> So, thank you to all of you for watching this triple feature with us. Thank you to all my fellow co-commentators for joining me today. Neil, how did you enjoy this experience as your first time joining us in one of these commentaries? It was fun. It was chill. For the most part. For the most part. Except the last part. You know, the last part, I don't understand what Brooks is doing. Man has taken a little too many crazy pills. I think we need <laughs> to get this man some pills. I don't know I don't know what he needs, so we'll get him everything. Do cards take pills? Okay, oh, Brooks. <laughs> <laughs> Brooks needs some pills, Trevor needs some sleep, and Waffles needs some duct tape for his mouth. The end. We're done. Well, Neil, you are certainly more than welcome to join us any time in the future for any, fo any future commentaries. That's uh, your own peril, man. I will be happy. Brooks, thanks as always for joining as well. You never <laughs> cease to, uh, Light, living things up somewhat, I guess I'll uh, say. I, ho I hope I made it better. All right, that's the fact I that we got all three people for all, uh, almost all three commentaries is like a miracle. That's a success. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly very happy with how this went today. Thank you to every single one of you for joining for as long as you did. Even if you were in and out, this has been a blast. I've had so much fun recording today. I'm also dead, dead tired. I need sleep. We saw Car Toy Story. Does that mean child cars you gotta play go. with toy <laughs> <Yeah>. cars? <laughs> car it was actually the best one. Ever. Yes, they I'm do shocked. play with toy cars. There were literally toy cars in Tokyo. Okay? Is the recording still going? Yeah, give- I, I guess that's your closing sentence then. Alright, my closing sentence. God, Jesus. If I ever see these guys in real life, I'm bringing the entire Walgreens. I'm giving them pills. They need pills. <laughs> <laughs> Do child cars check their closets for monster trucks? Oh, Good point. Jesus. Trucks. 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 It's a truck thing. What's going on, Chris? Oh, drive thing. Oh, you're just thinking that. Okay. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next time. I hope to see you all soon for whatever it is you decide to watch. Just near fun that is your death. Goodbye. Trucks. 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 Trucks.